Makers. Ah, it's Monday morning, brand, a brand new week. I'm excited. Did everyone have a lovely yes. weekend? Wasn't it glorious? Oh, doesn't it make it? Everybody, everybody smiles, everybody yes. feels better. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I was just chatting to, um, to Adam. Um, we were discussing how his lovely girlfriend, Ruth, loves to put a wash on and then get it out on the washing line. Absolutely. I was like, Adam, there is, I can, I, I'm, I'm being quite general here, <laughs> but for me, there is nothing more satisfying than putting your washing on Absolutely. the line. Absolutely, it's amazing. Isn't it's it? never gone out of fashion, has it? No. Just can, yeah, just your basket, hang yeah. it out, lovely. Yvonne, everybody. Good morning. Beautiful Yvonne. <laughs> what more could we possibly oh, want? Oh, how kind of you. Gorgeous but weather no, outside. Absolutely. And I, it just made, I, I was born for summer. I should live in a hot country, really, yeah. I think. What, uh, Adam saying, me too, have I. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get up to this weekend? Uh, well, we we travelled up to here yesterday yeah. uh, and then I was finishing off my... Um, Beautiful well, jewelry. I was doing my PDFs on Saturday. Were you? So you've been busy all weekend <laughs> been then. been busy, yeah. And um, we, we expect, because we come up from the southwest, we were expecting a much, much worse journey yesterday, yeah. obviously, with the weather being nice as well. But actually, it was very nice and we got here about three-ish, so... The dreaded uh, was lovely. M5. The dreaded M5, yeah. And we come all the way from Junction 25 oh, as well. That, that can, so it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that can get busy, can't yes. it? Uh, if, if, if you, if, from here, if you want to go down somewhere like Somerset or Devon, yeah. you have to go through some of the busiest parts of the M5, yeah, don't the you? Yeah, Bris Bristol is Bristol, one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it's lovely to see you. Thank you, it's lovely to see you too. And as always, absolutely incredible jewellery. I mean, I Thank don't know where you. to... Both your 9 o'clock and your 12 o'clock, Yvonne. Oh, I've been... So I am very, very lucky with the kits I get given to work with. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. I might I might go as far as saying, Yvonne, that your that necklace yes. is, is one of my favourite necklaces ever. Oh really? I, 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 I kid oh, you not. Oh, that's so kind. Thank um, you. Can we can we show Yvonne's twelve o'clock? Look at this, jewelry makers. <laughs> and I will go along go even further and say that the deal on this project oh. is possibly one of the best pearl deals ever. Oh, and I, I don't know that side oh, of it. Oh, it's incredible. Excellent. I mean, when was the last time we saw a Biwa pearl? Oh, a long time ago. Long time, yeah. and we know the situation of pearls. Absolutely. Um, that's coming up at 12 o'clock, but also we have a massive auction quantity on a huge purple pearl that goes on a heavyweight sterling silver chain. There's almost 300 of them. The, the pearl, I don't know if you could just turn, can you reach it that far? If you could just turn it towards, oh yeah, Dan's sorting it now. Yeah. Just because the pearl is absolutely it's amazing. massive. Other way, so, like, so, that's it. Lovely, thanks Dan. I think the chain's extendable as well. Really? I think so. So I mentioned this to, to Ross earlier on, the pearl is absolutely ginormous. The chain is heavyweight. Now I've just learned adjustable mm. as well. The deal on this project at 12 o'clock is unbelievable. Uh, oh, well, yeah, this again is a surprise to me because I don't know this information. Absolutely unbelievable. Quite possibly one of the most affordable purple pearls you'll, you'll, you'll really? have seen. Really? Yeah. Excellent. I mean, the, per like, the pearl on its own at this price doesn't make sense. So that's at 12 o'clock. Then at 9 o'clock... Yeah, we've got the bees, all oh, about the bees. Which goes hand in hand with your deal of the day. Yeah, the, be um, the beeswax, uh, the beeswax jade, quartzite jade. Quartzite I, jade yeah. in the beeswax colour. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, Yvonne. And we've got bees in rose gold, silver and, um, and the gold plated as well. Oh my goodness. And I do have to say, I was very naughty. I actually soldered one of the beads onto one of my pieces as well. I don't Cut think that's Cut off the naughty. loop and uh, it wasn't, wasn't its original intention. Oh, but, well, uh, you're showing your skills. <laughs> um, it is, it's, it's amber meets jade, isn't it? Perfect. If amber was in the jade, that's what it would be. Brand new strand and again, totally natural jewelry makers. And as I said, goes perfectly, Yvonne's projects go perfectly with your deal of the day today, um, which we are keeping to the B. It, it's just theme. like drops of honey, oh, what I you've got it. over there. I absolutely love it. 
Um, I'm making Dan work for his crust this morning. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Um, but check these out. So we've got a big bee pendant with a glorious amber at the bottom there. I mean, how beautiful is that? I've really got my eye on that. You I have love it. the bomb was yeah, fancy in that it. this morning. We've also got some lovely honeycomb bee um, sterling silver stud earrings. Yes, they are Which are lovely. gorgeous. And connectors like this. So imagine putting this oh, in a Vons project. And we've got Isn't it in funny how colours. we automatic? I, I've done the same myself. You go towards the hexagon, yeah. don't you? Yeah, because yeah. it's like nature, with the honeycomb, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got that in the gold plate as well, jewellery makers. And likewise with the earrings, we've got them in the silver and also in the gold. We've got the last few opportunities as well of the Alhambra um, amber piece that we launched absolutely stunning um so it truly is a monday not to miss let's go through the menu because in addition to your b deal of the day and your nine o'clock um beeswax quartzite jade uh, projects you've also got your little bumblebee charms um in this hour that you can shop ahead for so that's in the eight o'clock nine o'clock as we've just said beeswax court beeswax quartzite jade <laughs> it's a the mouthful, isn't it, it is yeah that comes with your instructions 10 o'clock is all about your beautiful um, amber collections and bees. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got the most amazing deal, which I love amber and pearls together. Yes, I think they're the just most absolutely. gorgeous combination. Got an amazing strand of white freshwater pearls going to the most unbelievable price tag. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, it's all about that natural purple pearl, both in the Biwa and also in that big pendant. So it's going to be a, a day not to miss. Do you know, talking of bees, Yesterday, um, we were out in the garden. We had our first barbecue yesterday. I know, a bit oh. late to the party, weren't we? Uh, my brother came up and um, I walked past our, um, our garage, which we've got kind of like glass French doors because mm -hmm. it's not like an external garage, if you like. So, And as I'm walking across, you know when you, in your peripheral vision you see something move? Yes. So in my peripheral, I was like, <gasps> I'm not joking. It's about that, it was about that big. A hornet. Oh, they are awful. They are Aren't so they? frightening. Aren't really, they? really frightening. And lo and like behold, them. Tiggy wakes up in an absolute having a nightmare mm. about bees. And oh. so bees aren't bad. Bees aren't bad. But this hornet was absolutely they are, they're massive. Huge. They huge. They frighten you to death. Yeah. And my brother's like, they're never alone now. No. So, oh, so now I'm thinking I've got a hornet nest. Let's I haven't seen any. They normally have a flight path, don't they? Uh, well, you you can get the. Um, I think it's the council will come out and sort it out if you've got. Yeah, one. but he's yeah. massive. Yeah, he they was are massive. Absolutely huge. Yeah, you, you have to watch where it goes and see where home is. Well, he was a bit sleepy, so like we obviously yeah, set him free, um, and he didn't go anywhere. So mm. as a. Yeah, otherwise I would have done, checked yeah. where I was going from. Oh dear me, love bees, not so much about hornets. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not so keen on them. It's all them. about the bees today, not the bees hornets. Bees are adorable. <laughs> um, now, another item we need to reference that's happening in the nine o'clock. Last week with Yvonne, we launched a brand new parcel of Amazonite, didn't we? Where we actually had 400 of them. Yeah, they were beautiful. Um, we have 100 left for today. And we're going to play the remaining quantity in the nine o'clock. Because also, can you imagine Amazonite with your beeswax quartzite jade? Oh, wouldn't that be beautiful? A lovely combination. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yes, big quantity. So we've got the final 100. It's one of the only faceted Amazonite strands that we've seen. 30 carats, totally natural. We had a, have 100 available. And we went to the most unbelievable, ridiculous launch price. Too low, in actual fact. Um, Ross is saying he's disappointed in himself. Don't beat yourself up about it, Ross. <laughs> um, we've got a hundred of those left, and they it, will all go. To it went nine. a long way as well. I got a lot of pieces you did, out of that You did because it was in strand. your projects, yes. wasn't it? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's going to be an absolutely amazing day, as always. Get your text messages in, jewelry makers. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you've been up to this weekend. Have you done anything nice? Um, what's your experiences on hornets as well? Because I'm not. I don't know what. To, I, I'm hoping I haven't got a nest. Um, okay, should we get cracking? Should we? Shall we start the week as we mean to go on? How about starting Ooh, with one nice. of Mark's? I can't pick this gemstone up without thinking about Mark. <laughs> he loves his onyx, doesn't he? He does. Um, <clears throat> but we don't often see it, and we very rarely see it in this shape. So this is your top drilled drops. I haven't you? seen top drill drops top for ages drill drops. as well. Do you remember when our Carol used to do the irregular drops? Yeah, yeah, she did. 
We don't see them, you're right. It was a great song she had too. It was, too. honestly. Move <laughs> over. What's his name? name? Name a great songwriter of our time. Paul McCartney, there we go. There we go. We got Buzzy B graphics. Bzzz. It's a burn. It's gone as well. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, that gone. was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? Very quick. Beautiful Jasper in your eight mils. Eight mils, yeah. There you go. Ooh. Again, these all work together, wouldn't they? These would be lovely with your courtside, yeah. Jade. Amazing. Oh, I love it. Of course, totally natural. You get little, wonderful little flecks of red in amongst your... The little beads are amazing. Aren't they cute, cute, aren't they? Yeah. Da, 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 da. It's a burnt. Yeah, they're all of natural tones, aren't they? That's yeah. why they work earthy. together. Yes, earthy, very earthy, earthy tones. Yeah. Moving on to... <coughs> Some, uh, let's get some Amazon light on here. But I've not seen these before. They're so sweet. Beautiful Amazon light. Natural. And drilled. Stars. You have to think of summer when you see Amazon light, don't Definitely. you? Definitely. And they are through drilled, so you can incorporate those into your beading designs. Brilliant. It's a pound. One pound, one pound. There's lots of you there. Um, well done, everybody. Next up. Blue Moon Quartz. Oh yeah, we haven't. Do you remember the launch of this? One of the most popular stones when we launched it. Yeah, I remember it was in that studio, wasn't it? Um, here we go. So, oh, look at those, aren't they beautiful? And they're calibrated as well. So you could easily use these in something like your gemstone setting. So you're getting five of them, jewelry makers. Plus you get your certificate of authenticity. How amazing are they? Let me just grab my tweezers a second. Because there's a couple of those, if I hold one of them up for you. Here we go. <coughs> How pretty. You see that beautiful, amazing bluish iridescence? Now, these close higher than what's on your screens right now, jewellery makers. And that's an already incredible deal, isn't it? Considering that you are getting genuine gem. Are they beautiful? Mm, amazing. Quite haunting, I think. Mm, fabulous. Uh, again, gemstone setters. These are your five by threes, I think. Yeah, five by three millimeter. Oh, six by four. I beg your pardon. Uh, Nineteen ninety-nine. That is an absolute bargain for blue moon quartz. Again, it absolutely flew. If you remember, it was uh, Jake Thompson who actually launched these on our screens. How about? No. We not a single blue moon quartz went to two pound each. But that's exactly what's happening right now, jewellery makers. Blue moon. You started that off, Adam. You saw me standing alone. How about five pound per blue moon quartz? Oh, wow. Way lower than the launch. I mean, where we started was lower than the original launch, jewellery makers. Um, you can use these in your gemstone setting. Yeah, that makes life, but particularly for be beginners, if yeah. you buy your your settings ready made yeah. and you've got your calibrated stone, it really is quite easy to set. Yeah, it's cradling the bronze. The work over, is in making it? the setting, really. Absolutely. And I'm fairly sure we have those on our website. Um, we're at £2 per stone, significantly lower than what they were on the, the original launch, jewellery makers. Um, good luck. How many do we have, Ross? We've got a hundred? Why on earth are they in our early bird deal? Why on earth? We've got we've only got a massive if we've got a massive quantity, why are they in this Oh you found them and you thought, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I wish I found like, things like, like why that. Not? <laughs> why not? I know Ross gets to see everything yeah. in the vault. Don't you, Roscoe? He sees everything. Little buzzy bees. That's a pound per blue moon quartz. That's crazy, isn't it? And it, 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 if you think moonstone, it's not moonstone, obviously. But clear. But yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, moonstone doesn't have the clarity no, that you no, would no. get with these. Um, it's a pound each, jewellery makers. Obviously an absolute early bird deal. We've got a hundred of them available within the vault, which is a good job because there's lots of you there as well. Um, do get your text messages in. What did you get up to this weekend? Did you do anything nice? Um, the other day, so you know we were with, we were with Linda the other day. Now Linda's quite good with her wines because that's what oh, her husband yes. does. I believe so. That's what her husband does for a living, and he, she was like, "Oh, have you tried Whispering Angel, Al?" 
I was like, no, I haven't. I have heard about Whispering Angel, which is a rosé wine. That um, sounds nice. What yeah, a lovely name. It is lovely, isn't it? Whispering Angel. Um, so I treated myself. It's quite expensive. Is it? It is nice. I have to say it is nice. She's got a so good I, taste, has Linda. She has, yeah. <laughs> Um, good job we're saving today then, absolutely. Because another minute clock, we're going even lower, jewellery makers. That was seamless, Adam. <laughs> seamless. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Four pounds and 99 pence. He's doing a little celebratory uh, sing-song in the gallery right now. Because his, yeah, but the, the link there was very good, Adam. From Whispering Angel wine being expensive to how much savings we're getting on show. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> um, we're at Paris per stone not stopping there hello Chantal and Linda Rachel uh, Michelle Hilda Janet Helen Sharon Maya Dawn Paula um, David in Cardiff David you know what I can't I, I have to tell you a story in a second um, <laughs> because I was talking to a, oh let's read the message first hello Miss Janet happy world B day lovely jewelry maker folk Aww. oh you gotta happy look B day to you too we, we, we had a little bumblebee on our doorstep the other day and oh. you know when they say for bees on the ground yeah. they're usually thirsty or hungry yeah so we put some sugared put water, sugar out water for yeah. him and literally sat there drinking and off he flew oh it does work off he flew yeah it was lovely it's like yay saved a you bee you did your bit that did day did our bit that yeah. day um two pounds and 99p goodness me Good grief Goodness me, that's amazing. Dawn's multi-bought, Chantal's multi-bought, Sharon's multi-bought, Paula's multi-bought. You get the general gist. Yeah, David in Cardiff. So last night, we booked our holiday yesterday. And before, as I was saying goodnight to my eldest, Willow, um, I was like, Willow, because we hadn't really decided where we were going. There was a few places in the pot. And we were like, Willow, where do you want to go? And she's like, um, of course, seven. Very, it, 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 very random. She was like, <laughs> Mexico, Poland. I was like, okay, interesting. What Poland? She was like, there's YouTubers there. I was like, okay, right. Um, she was going America, Cardiff. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so Cardiff made Willow's cut for our destinations. As I listen, I love Cardiff. Cardiff's a great city. Um, I can confirm though, we're not going on a holiday to Cardiff. No, she could go. We'll as go a on bonus. a weekend, especially as we've got family there. Anyway, um, well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Cardiff is beautiful, you know. Such a lovely city. It's an amazing city. My nephew was in university in Cardiff. Many a night out round Cardiff I've had. Okay, moving on. Moving on to B cups. All of these. Eh. That's a lot of bead caps. Oh wow, you've got loads there. Yeah. So look, two different sizes there. So you're getting four different can you see that, Dan? Sorry. But all these. So it's like four different designs, but you get them in different sizes as well. They go perfectly with Yvonne's projects. They go perfectly with your um, your early bird. Yeah, absolutely, because you've got little flowers. You have a little bumblebee in the flower. So, yeah, so all, you'd think somebody had thought about this, wouldn't yeah, it's you? It's like we planned it. <laughs> yeah. It's like we planned it. Do you know what? Do you know what? I, we're at twelve ninety nine, silver plated. Adam, do you know what I think we should have behind us? Hi, Wayne. Wayne, 23rd of, of August, please. Two weeks, please. <laughs> fucking your just holiday. Saying, yeah, just tell him, Wayne, that I'm going on holiday. Um, do you know what we should have behind us? A little bumblebee asleep in a flower just with his little fuzzy butt. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, all show, all show. Um, we were at 12 99 In total, you're getting what? Four, four designs, 24 pieces. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Wow! A bead cap transforms, doesn't it? Oh, they're so useful. You can do so much with them. I know we always say you can flatten them, but you actually can, and they—they can. they are very, very attractive. Whichever way you use them, flatten them, you, and they become like yeah, a decorative. Yeah, you can put them uh, either side a central stone to make it pop. Yeah. Uh, or loads of things. Yeah, you can I do mean, with a bead cap. I'm just reaching for this one because it's the only one I've got a stone that I've got loose, but. For example, I wonder if I can balance this. Oh. Oh, <laughs> almost. Seemingly not. Um, a minute clock. 
Okay, but you get the idea. So I've got a little pearl here. And they're it, the silver as then the silver, silver color as well. Silver, silver plated. plated, yeah. So look, here's one little pearl. <clears throat> if I just pop that there, and you get the idea, it goes like that. Yeah. Pop it with your early bird bee charms, and away you go. You've like got a really little beautiful ballerina design. skirt, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Almost replicates almost like a bale as well, I always think. Yeah, it's, it's really lovely. They um, are, they, they accentuate whatever you want to pop in your piece of jewellery, you can use those. Yeah, it draws attention to yeah. it. You can also frame as well other, bead, uh, other beads. Yeah. Um, we're at 4 99 less than five pounds. How many have we got? 60 available within our vault. And they are flying. They're one of the those little components that you could easily overlook, but actually they make such a detail, such a yeah. such a a, um, a difference. Um, Ross is asking the question: Where's everybody? We're at four ninety nine. We want to go lower. Tell you what we'll do. Another price crash. It will be day to day jewelry makers. Got to look after our lovely bees. Mm. Three ninety nine, but we will go even lower. I've only got sixty though. Only sixty available. You get twenty-four bee caps. We used to sell those in packs of ten. Yes, we did. Yes, didn't we? we? Did. Yeah. And you didn't get the variation of designs either. No, they are inc that's incredible value for for goodness sake. Yeah, three ninety-nine for twenty-four. Too. Amazing. And I imagine, say, I don't know, your quartzite jade. You could frame yeah. one of your quartzite jades. And or I think any doesn't Susie use them for tassel yeah, tops, tops as for well? Tassels. Mm. We'll go lower. We had 60. Susan's got two. Karen's got two. Christina and Veronica and David and June and Cheryl and Elaine. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Do you have a nice weekend, Wayne? Do you have a nice weekend? Yeah. We've all had a nice weekend, I think. Everyone's yeah. like thumbs up. Sun, see some sunshine. It yeah. makes all the difference. Yeah, I got the Barbie out. I had, had a nice couple of sausages and chicken on the barbecue. Mm, nice. Happy days. Two pounds and 90... <laughs> 2.99 that's ridiculous though isn't oh, it oh wow it's gone down again all joking aside that yeah, is ridiculous 24 for 2.99 yeah good great i can't even work out what that is no. each per b cap well done they are looking like they will be an on-screen sellout yeah. jewelry makers um congratulations to you all keep those text messages coming through what'd you get up to this weekend what'd you get up to did you enjoy yeah. the weather did you get the barbecue on did you go visiting do you know it's just lovely in this weather just to open the windows oh, and doors yes. isn't it yeah it's Let just the so breeze lovely come through the house yeah. Yeah. um hello Jeanette <laughs> hornets um are the gentle dopey giants of the buzzer world just trying to pollinate your flowers I know, I do get that Jeanette I do get that but they are quite scary aren't they so I, I didn't hurt it, I need to point out. We didn't hurt the hornet, we just relocated the hornet. <laughs> yeah. Um, because, yeah. So, I've also got dogs because they can be, they're quite aggressive, aren't they? I didn't think they were dopey. I thought they were quite aggressive. Yeah. I might be getting they've that got, wrong. They've got quite a loud buzz as well. Yeah. Because yeah. of their size, I yeah, think their yeah. voice is louder. They are. <laughs> I know they're pollinators. It's just I don't want one chilling in my garage. No, no, no. So I did relocate said hornet. Rather, you know, he wasn't hurt or anything like that. Um, I know. They probably get bad press because they're so big. Yes, yeah, because people, it's like, yeah, it's like anything. Big, big dogs also, don't they? Yeah, yeah. true. Pe that is people true. just nervous of... When you can see their facial features, <laughs> no, that's a bit scary. <laughs> and they, their facial features yeah. aren't exactly like. Mm, you can get those they? big dragonflies that you really can see, see their, their face. face. <laughs> yeah. If he was smiling, I reckon I'd like, I'd probably like him a little bit more. Um, well if he done, was more friendly. <laughs> yeah. If he had a nice little smiley face, no. I do know they're pollinators, and again, really good. So we didn't hurt him. We just relocated him. Um, okay. Right. Have I got what? Zarite. Oh, Zarite. Yes. Right. I have got Zarite. Surely this is one of the last Zarites, is it? It's the last Zarite strands we've got in our vault. Um, because we can confirm without getting too into it, we're not purchasing from this location anymore. Um, it is a one locational gemstone, which means, you know, for the foreseeable future anyway, um, we're not going to have any Zarite in our vault. And we don't see chips very often these very days, not. do they? No, absolutely. Do we? Um, it's just a real shame because it's such a beautiful gemstone. This is natural colour. It I forms love that under a, uh, a frozen lake. 
That's why oh, you get really? yeah. That's why you get this chatoyancy, nice. this like silvery chatoyancy within the gemstone. Uh, and I have to say, for thirty nine ninety nine, that's already an amazing price tag. Um, yeah, a one locational gemstones are right. Not found anywhere else in the world. This again with your quartzite jade, I think would be absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's such a neutral colour, isn't it? It yeah. goes with such a lot of things. Yeah, like a beautiful yellow tone sunshine. Mm, it's sunshine, sunshine isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we believe this is the only strand we have left, jewelry maker. So if you are a Zarite lover, um, Zarite, Sharite, sorry, very similar Sharite. though, aren't they? Sharite lover, then make sure you get it, uh, get it well during this opportunity because we can't bring you any more. Um, good luck, everyone. Again, beautiful intensity of colour. Chips, your Yvonne's right, we don't actually have in many no. gemstones either. Um, okay, so if this is the only one we have, Ross, how many have we got? 30 on the nose, okay. On the nose. Doesn't that look nice with with bracelets, oh, with your flouncy yes. clothes in the with summer? With your bee charms. Yes, that would be With your bumblebee nice. charms, with pearls that we've got coming up a little bit Absolute. later. Yeah, it goes lovely with those pearls you've got on the tea bar there. With amber. I have to say, it goes with everything. Yeah, this show, everything it's works a fabulous together. Show. It's a fabulous show, it really is. Yeah, everything will work beautifully together. So we've got 30 available. Good luck, everyone. One price crash. Quite possibly the final strand that we have in the vault. We're ready. With your little bumblebee charms. It's like a little bumblebee in something like wisteria. Wisteria's out at the moment. It is. We've got wisteria outside on, wisteria. on the front of our so house. So fragrant. Yeah, it really is. We're at nine ninety nine, and we're going even lower. Sorry, that is a price. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And we were talking about wisteria, so I was talking about that. I was thinking about that. We went to a garden centre on Saturday morning, and they had a wisteria tree. They look amazing. So pretty. Yeah. You walk I, past I think it. are they just normal wisterias which they train into a tree shape? I, I, I think have they might no be. idea of. I think so. It was so yeah. lovely, but you know when you walk past and yeah. you get that fragrance, don't them. you? So pretty. Absolutely love them. And of course these gorgeous purple flowers. Well, it's probably about four hundred pounds. Well, I didn't look. <laughs> no. Um, probably beyond my budget. Yeah. But it was lovely. Um, Helen, Jacqueline, Janet, Lynn, Lorraine. Susan, Deb, Sharon, Paula, Kerry, Lynn, Kim. Um, well done, everybody. That was my mistake. It's the only strand of, of Char, right? We've got in our vault. Sorry. Um, amazing. Right. We've only got two. Oh, these. Do you know what, Ross? These would be amazing with the Char, right? Don't you think? Yes, definitely. <sighs> think Lady Gaga and oh, the I cover like of House that. of Gucci. Look at look how white they are. Ross loves Lady Gaga. Does he? Is he your is is she is, is she your celebrity crush? You don't oh. have any crushes because you've got a fiance. Ah, oh, Ross. You do like Lady Gaga. He likes her. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, it's a, you can admire people's beauty. <laughs> Yeah, so that's fine. I'd <laughs> Just not a crush. <laughs> Sorry, okay, don't use the word crush. <laughs> you can appreciate you can appreciate someone's beauty. That's okay. Uh just like we're appreciating the beauty of these. Do you see what I did there, ads? Bringing it back to the pearls. Bringing it back to the pearls. They oh look my amazing. goodness me, they're incredible. That's just the right uh, neckline for oh. those pearls. Again, I mean, we know the situation of pearls, don't we, jewelry makers? We know they are literally unobtainable. I've got two available jewelry makers. Two. That speaks volumes, doesn't it? We look the oh, same. Oh, look. He's <laughs> <laughs> me trying to do the Lady Gaga thing. <laughs> that is that is a good pout. She has a very pronounced Cupid's bow, yes, doesn't she? Does. she? Very pronounced. Amazing. But again, um, it was, again, this film really, well, I'm not going to say solely, but must have played its part in putting um, fireball pearls on the, on the Oh, map. you would have thought so, wouldn't you? Do you know, the Amazonite would look uh, nice dotted, dotted between. between. Yeah. 
unbelievable i mean they are standard they're normally sold individually jewelry makers that's the reality very rare to actually get um full strands so on the poster where she's wearing the necklace yeah but the real lady gaga also wears them you could make those jewelry makers oh, easily super simple Maybe they oh La Maison Gaga. Maybe she actually has oh, her she own has jewelry a range. Range. range of jewelry, has she? Wow. Wow. Well there you go. So you could you could you mm. can challenge Lady Gaga's jewellery. Oh, I think we're up to that. I definitely think <laughs> you're up to that. Um, there's only two of these available. They're not small. Nucleated cultured Baroque pearls, but they're more fireball in my opinion. I think they're very fireball, yes. This one here is, is really grabbing my attention. Um, there's only two available within the vault. Again, this when you see standalone fireball pearls like this, that's like, okay, there's those earrings. There's yeah. that single pendant. Um, or you're going to go all out and put them in one amazing, fabulous uh, house of Gucci inspired design we're at 999 pounds they go up to 16 millimeters which is colossal for a pearl let's not forget how they form in an oyster so that's a huge size we only had 30 so it was limited from the very get-go I've got two of them left and four of you with it in your basket okay plus your 0% interest split payment so if you want to um, get it home in bite-sized chunks if you like we're already in a price that I don't think many places could actually rival. I can pretty much guarantee those earrings would not be £999. I can almost guarantee that. It'd be interesting to know what they are. Yeah. Oh, I have to do a bit of research I on do that have to say, I'd find it very difficult. I was just sitting here thinking, um, would I take one out and highlight it or what to do the whole strand but i think there's enough there to have both do i both? take one out and put it on a, a single chain a single pearl on a chain and then have the, and full, have oh. the rest as a full yeah uh, pick strand. your favorite yeah. we've got one left now jewelry makers well done even though the first one's gone we will still go lower look at the quality of those pearls heather janina lancashire that's one of the best deals for fireball pearls because I, again i saw these in tucson they were sold individually and they weren't far off that price tag in fact i think they were more than that um i've only got one available congratulations to you karen we only i mean again it speaks volumes that if jewelry maker who quite literally did uh, they've sold well done did set uh, we would spend millions of pounds on pearls mm -hmm. when we could we if, can't yeah, do that anymore we could. um well done now i do have one more pearl opportunity these are your ripple pearls which are one of the biggest launches in the pearl world um listed as nine to eleven but I... is it this one no, i was gonna say they're popcorn aren't they oh the parcel where it's on its way it's on its way okay I was gonna say because they're rosebud pearls these look like a Koya's these are the ones coming up in your 11 o'clock hour I'm intrigued Lauren oh my oh my days Lauren could you pass me a bus lovely oh my days there's four available thank you lovely are you ready Oh, that's a perfect bus for those. Wow. There are four available. These are insane. Look at how, look, look, even in soft focus, you could see the flashes of gold, couldn't you? I've got a feeling I've had the chance to work with those. Do you? Or oh, something very similar. You're a lucky lady, those. Yvonne. They are, sorry? You're a lucky lady. <laughs> yeah, it makes me sound greedy, doesn't it? No, not at all. That's your job. <laughs> yeah. That is your job. What a, how lucky am I? Oh, these are, there's only four available. And I have to say, even the price that we start from is incredible. Edison Pearls, really the only location that we can purchase pearls from. But the price has gone up. Massively uh -huh. gone up. 
Um, already, Heather in Hearts is there. What would you do with these, Heather? I'm thinking not them, and I'd put an 18 karat gold clasp on there. Definitely. Put That's a, what put I would do. Yeah. But Real like, quality you might be thinking, I'm not a gold person now. You could go with silver, you could go with uh, platinum, whichever you could wish. It goes white gold. It would go with white mm. gold. But look at how beautifully metallic these are, and they're totally natural. Again, I have to say it. Not to be complacent here, jewelry makers, even if we stopped at £999, we're not going to, but even if we did, that's an amazing mm -hmm. price. You know, you can't, we cannot buy them. We went to Hong Kong knowing we wouldn't be able to buy pearls for the first time ever. And we haven't raised our prices too no. much the new. Uh, well, no, we? and thank goodness when we when we were able to buy, we bought big, yeah. and that's what you're seeing on your screens yeah. right now. Yeah. And it is the prices from two, three years ago. £999. I've got four available with interest on the web. Okay, never mind comparing outside these four walls. We know that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Compare with ourselves. I remember when we first launched pills like this and the strand was 20 centimetres. Yes. Much shorter and they'd be more than that. How, how, with the situation of pearls, the way it is, are we bringing you longer strands, bigger pearls, at a lower price? Now, Heather, Janina, you've done it. I've got two left. Heather, Ooh. Janina, that's not your final price. You're actually going to get money back into your pocket, jewelry makers. I can't believe we're doing this. <clears throat> Genuinely, with the situation of pearls, the fact that we are beating our prices from three, four years ago, I find that absolutely amazing. It's incredible, isn't it? Maker on the phone line as well. We are going lower. There's only four available, though. Look at how intense. I know our graphics don't say it, but would we all agree? They're metallic, too. They're naturally metallic yeah, pearls. I don't think you could argue with that, could you? No. They're Look definitely this one metallic. Here. It's like copper. Yeah. It's like gold. The silver tones. Unbelievable. And they're all natural jewellery makers. Um, there's a conversation. Oh, there's two people on the phone lines, two people on the web for the final two. Nobody is paying £199 today. Those of you that have checked out, sit back and enjoy. I can't believe we're going even lower. Those pearls are jaw-dropping. They are, aren't they, Margot? At this, this price tag is jaw-dropping as well, Margot. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Uh, I, I, I know I personally have brought you strands of pearls that have been like that length in the past and it's definitely. still a great deal definitely i remember those days yeah yes like 149 for yeah. strands of pearls that length look 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 at look at the metallic beauty on those look at the luster on those you're actually getting a full 38 centimeter strand you'll see it at the neckline jean in essex you've got yours well done lovely they're absolutely stunning ah oh, and i know i've always said it i'll say it again this it is our greatest strength it's our greatest strength pearl buying. I genuinely believe that. But at the same time, it's something that we can't sustain. It's just not possible in the current situation. Jenny, I don't have six, darling. You need to check out your baskets to get the final one. Um, Tracy in Lincolnshire, you can get you can get the last one. Oh gosh, if you don't, I will. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable. Well done, everybody. I'm just going to scooch these over just a little bit. Um, okay. I do. Oh, are they South Sea? Pack of four South Sea Ooh. pearls. Creme de la creme. Um, now, the first price that you see on screen is actually the lowest price that they have ever been to. These are your South Sea pearls, your Baroque South Sea pearls. Um, they've only ever been on your screens at the price that you're about to see and then we're going to take them even lower um, Again in the world of pearls where you can get freshwater pearls you can get Edison pearls you can get uh, Salt sea pearls you can get different varieties of of course if you were to ask me the question What are the best pearls in the world in no particular order? I would say Akoya because they were the first mm -hmm. um, Akoya South Sea Tahitian Edison they would be the, having said that you get some amazing freshwater pearls But they're the big names these are South Sea pearls Today, you're going to get a massive closeout deal. We're celebrating their beautiful organic uh, um, natures. The first price, what? 
first price that you're about to see is the lowest price that they have closed previously. And then we'll go lower. Wow. Wow. Well, you've got to think about it this way. That's £25 for a South Sea Pearl. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? They're all so different, aren't they? Yeah. I love it. So your beautiful organic shapes of your South Sea Pearls. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to do a massive closeout deal, jewellery makers. So if you're, you've always aspired to own a South Sea, remember Dave uh, had that video when he was over in Hong Kong chatting to that pearl oh, trader? Yeah. And in particular, he was talking about South Sea and Tahitian pearls, and they were like tens of thousands of pounds. Is that the one, one where she said uh, she she made sure she mentioned they were metallic? Oh, Is that the one? That's a different that's one. That's a different one. But she does make, she's like, she oh, does, like South Sea. Yeah. So she used Yes, she did. As a reference, yes, she did. doesn't she? Yeah. Um, no, there's a gentleman, he's, and he literally sold individual South Sea pearls. I, I do remember that. I'm now, like, yeah. so I love those expensive. films. <laughs> the, yeah, me. The most expensive time for pearls is right now, unless, of course, you shop from Jewelry Maker. There it is. There you go. Look at the prices of them. 5,150, 21,000. Um, yeah. I know they're rounds. You've got some beautiful Baroques, which are all the rage at the moment. And today you're getting the most amazing 49 pounds and 99 pence or 16 pounds 66 on your split payment. Love it. You know, in the same way that we adore and celebrate Baroque pearls or your fireball pearls, you know, of course, that any location can produce those mm -hmm. sort of organic like shapes, including, of course, um, the golden oyster of South Sea. Um, never been anywhere near that price tag, jewelry makers. So that is a That's huge closeout deal. When you say closeout, how many have we got? 30. I think it gives them character when they do. I mean, it's lovely to see them all the same. Yeah. Um, but. That's, there's a lot more character in what you've got there. Well, you know they're natural, don't yes, you? You know absolutely. they're genuine. I mean, this one here is, I think, just crying out to be a pendant, don't mm -hmm. you? It's very like the one we've got coming up later. It is. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little belly button. Look how it's beautiful. It's like a little snowman. It is. <laughs> I'd just be popping that on a, on a peg bale and that could be... Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> well done, everybody. Congratulations. Look at... Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out. Um, five of... Oh, the rosebuds. Arguably, the rarest pearls that we have in our vault. Rosebud pearls were introduced to us here at Jewelry Maker um, in celebration of our partnership's birthday. So, oh, um, is that when they, we got them? Yes, when Gemporia celebrated their birthday in October. Um, it was 19 years, I believe. Have they got flat bottoms? They, some of them have. Yes, yeah, I like they, the flat bottoms. Where they've actually been sort of, where they form against yeah, the I actual like oyster shell. But a rosebud pearl, again, we've shown you charts before that illustrate the rarest pearls in the world. So you've got your Bahrain pearls, turtleback pearls, rosebud, also known as uh, um, popcorn pearls, but I'm not so keen on that description. You've got these really beautiful organics. Now, they are normally sold individually. So um, our pearl supplier was saying this might well be one of the one of the very few popcorn pearls or rosebud pearls strands that are in the entire business. Um, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so it's very rare to see uh, rosebud pearls in a strand. What I like about those is uh, they are a really nice size. They're, they are the size you could wear to the office. Or Absolutely. You, they're not over the top. No. Um, they would just light your face up, wouldn't they? They're yeah. beautiful. Unbelievable. Um, and because you've got because you've got such an abundance of nacre, because you've got these really beautiful textures mm -hmm. to the surface as well, they're full of luster. Again, it's so not all pearls are the same you know these are one of the rarest varieties that we've probably ever brought to air seriously 49.99 you know when you're talking about sort of pearls of the rarity that go alongside Bahrain pearls or turtleback pearls which are sold individually ordinarily it's madness to think that we bring them to you for 49.99 um did you say we've got four Five, I beg your pardon. Again, I've got a maker on the web and I've got a maker on the phone lines, which if you both make your confirmations will take us straight down to the final three. Um, don't forget as well, jewelry makers, you've got your beautiful, it will be day today, so you've got your beautiful bumblebee charms coming up. You could have one of those rosebuds. 
You could have one of the bumblebees yes. nestled in there too, um, which I think would go gorgeously. Wendy, well done, you've got yours. County Tyrone's there, maker on the phone lines and also a maker on, uh, so in total, if everybody checks out, I've got one left. The, uh, the connector with the, the amber oh, yeah. would look beautiful in those. Amazing. And again, you've got the story, haven't you? Well, they're rosebud pearls, the flowers. Yes. and oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, okay, shall we do Burmese honey jadeite? Wow. Totally natural. This is a gorgeous strand. That's very similar to the... Um, the the ones, quartzite the jade, quart yeah. Ones, yeah. Gosh, they're gorgeous. I didn't think we had any more of this left. I thought this was all gone from this location totally natural <laughs> will be day it's perfect to actually because it has got that sort of beeswax color again this is totally natural jewelry makers not treated yellow comes under the red umbrella if that makes sense in the jade world um and some time ago probably about a year or so ago we actually said okay we can't buy any more red or yellow jadeites and we've been offered the heat treated variety that's more expensive so we kind of drew a line in the sand um that was then now we have i thought this had all gone mm -hmm. i did not realize that we had any burmese yellow jadeite within our vault type a grade now we've got six it's a full 38 centimeter strand which again is very unusual um first one of these has gone straight away congratulations and again i look i'm not sitting here saying 2249 pounds isn't the considered amount That's of money yes. it, it it is reflective though and i have to say that would be a great price for natural type a jadeite burmese jadeite in this rare color now first one's gone oh ross you had you, you had like a fruity tone then it's like, I'm going to do something extra special with <laughs> he these. He did say that. He did, didn't he? He sounded a bit fruity. He says, it hasn't been on air for ages. They've been under lock and key. A full 38 centimetre strand. And your first price crash is the launch. Oh. That's amazing. Wow. First strand of this length. Again, shorter. Yeah, maybe. But that's still no reflection of the true value or worth. Ross is feeling fruity for World Bee Day. Amazing. With the pearls that are coming up a little bit later on, jewellery makers. But with Yvonne's amazing projects, every single pound and penny. I, I'm excited and I don't even know where this is going to, but I can just tell by Ross's tone. That it's going to be an unbelievable. It's going to be a deal. good one. <laughs> I, I I didn't think that there was any Burmese type A honey jade I left within our vault. I think that I thought that those days had gone. Um, I thought they'd all sold out. And of course, it's irreplaceable because the mines closed. Are you ready? One of the best priced jadeites we've ever done, says producer Ross. It's it's not just difficult to get. It's 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 nigh on impossible, isn't it now? And here's Ross taking the final six, even lower than the launch. Well done, Anna. You've got yours. Certified, na oh wow. goodness, certified natural type A Burmese jadeite in one of the rarest colours. And I think the only strand we've got, that's less than, that's a pound a carrot. A pound a carrot where else get it while you can because there's no more this is probably the final strand i didn't even know we had this one um tracy's there in northumberland susan's there maker and maker i had six i had six available look at the split pay that's crazy yeah 28 i noticed that's that 28 crazy. pounds elaine in devon's joining us as well oh, but it's beautiful in devon at the moment oh yes oh well done, Elaine. Not leaving anything to chance. Checking out nice and early. Well done to Maker as well. Uh, well done to you, Tracy, on the phone lines. By my calculations, I've got two, if that's right. Lorna, you're there as well, waiting to be answered. Stay with, uh, stay with our call centre team. Rupal, you've just got yours. Well done. Yeah, make sure you speak to our call centre team. Look at the quality of the colours that you're seeing here. Again, I don't know everything that's within our vault, obviously, but um, I had, I, I'd concluded the fact that this was all gone. 
you know, because it was like, okay, we can't get any more natural type, type A anyway. Might be able to get type B, might be able to get type C, but it was more expensive than the type A variety. This is not type B or type C. It is totally and utterly natural. And you've got it at a deal that's lower than the original launch. Perfect with your World B uh, theme today. Perfect with the amber and the pearls that are coming your way as well. Um, but yeah, of course, type A grade is what really we want. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, you've got to aspire to the best. Uh, aspire to the best yes, and the most yeah. valuable, you know, the, the, the heirloom variety yeah. that you would pass on to future generations. I've got one left. One. Who's going to get that last one? I've got Heather there, Argyle and Butte there. I've got Susan there. And I've got a maker who wants two. I don't have two. I've got one left. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Look at that quality. And again, it's natural. It's not dyed. It's not polymer impregnated. It's not even heat treated. That is totally natural. Honey Burmese jadeite, type A grade. The last one. Congratulations. Gosh, where's that time gone? Um, shall we get a bit buzzy? Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? I tell you what, we call this in a uh, jewelry maker, you're going to see a sting. Um, I, Adam said, did you get your fingernails done, especially for World B Day? No, I didn't, but it is very apt. That's so pretty. It is very apt. No, I didn't. I just fancied a little flower, that's all. So when I went and had my nails done on Friday, that's what that she did that by hand. I know, they're so clever, Very clever, they? very clever. Now, of course, uh, World B Day, and if you go to pretty much every jewelry brand yeah you'll find an influence no i can't say every but a lot of the jewelry brands brands are using bees aren't they an awful lot gucci you get bees in gucci jewelry gucci, gucci sunglasses with little bumblebees yeah. bees on the side monroe alex monroe absolutely there that's that's an iconic piece isn't it yeah. the the, the bumblebee really necklace is, yeah. um you're talking for the silver bumblebee alex monroe necklace you're talking about 130 pounds mm -hmm. Um, if you want it in gold, you're talking about 6,000. Because I know Holly Willoughby's got one in gold. Has she? Yeah. Because he does a gold-plated as well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, I've got the yeah. gold-plated yeah, Alex nice. Munro, which yeah. I absolutely love. But like I said, it's about £130 mm -hmm. for that, Nick. Oh, that's the gold-plated one, yes. is it? Yes. Um, if you go to somewhere like Lola Rose, again, bumblebees. Mm -hmm. Um trying to think of all the other, there's another uh, yeah. one, uh, Lily there are Rose. so many and then there's they that many. can't bring them to mind when you want them, Olivia Burton, again, bumblebees, there's countless that I could mention, um, Pandora, absolutely, yeah. um, all choosing to put bumblebees in their design, and I think, you know, not only are they very endearing, they are. you know, the little, they, they are, they're little workers, aren't they're they, they're symbol of Manchester as well, aren't they? That's right. I think That's they are. right. Very good. A very good point. But also, they're very endearing, aren't they, creatures? Lovely. Yeah. Um, and I do think you know all of these jewelry brands. You know, T H Baker. There you go. You can get a little sterling silver, gold plated sterling silver pendant there for one hundred and seventy nine pounds. It's raising awareness as well. It is raising awareness. And jewelry uh, inspires jewelry. So if you see one trend in one jeweler's yeah. and it's taken off, you'll see, most likely see it in other designers as well. Um, a little charm here, a bumblebee charm, 180 pounds. Very sweet. Look at the detailing Look as well. Look at the wings on that. Yeah, beautiful. You get two of your bumblebees. I love how intricate these are as well. Oh, lots of markings on there, lots Beautiful, of engraving. Aren't they? Can you see there's the drill hole? Oh, they go that way. Yeah. So they go so they'll be in flight. We have 258 of these. You get the two and they are solid 925 sterling silver. I do think these will be a sellout. Yeah, I like them going that way, don't you? you yeah. Know, you'll, it, it inspires you to do very different designs rather than hang, have them hanging down. Hanging down. Well, mm. you can have them as part of your yes, design, can't really you? Yes, really lovely. 
Um, if you want them hanging down, just pop a head pin through. Yeah, it's that easily, simple. Yeah. Now, we're already at 49.99 with the popularity of our beautiful bees. And, of course, um, they have been labelled, haven't they, as the most um, important species on our planet, bees. Have they? The most important species because yeah, they literally... Surprised. Yeah, without bees... Yeah. We can't pollinate and and uh, food. I, yeah. I'm wording it terribly. And they're, they're, um, yeah. they're quite and they did get a time when they were quite endangered as well. I people think were very worried much more about protected now. Yeah, people um, were very worried about the low numbers. Yes. Now already lots of multi buyers getting involved. We're at ten pounds per little buzzy bee. They are also really sweet species. I love yeah. bees. They look quite chunky from here. Little but yeah. And there's so many different varieties of bees. Who knew that? Oh, there really? There, there's. Can you Google that for me, Roscoe? How many different varieties of bees there are? Because you've got your honey bees, your bumblebees. There's so yeah. many different yeah, varieties I didn't think of, of them. It like that. Yeah. We're going to bring them to you in celebration of your bees. You've got yeah, so many different varieties, and we're going to bring them to you at an amazing price tag this Monday morning. Perfect for your summer attire wardrobe, yeah. isn't it? And I bet if you do sell or retail your jewellery. And if you start incorporating bees, I bet they'd be very popular. Yeah. Um, there are approximately 20,000 different types of bee species. I oh, you weren't joking, were you? I knew you? there was a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> There's 250 different bumblebee species. Wow. Nine honeybee species. In Britain, we've got 270 species. So, so cool. Does that include like wasps? No. Are wasps not in under bees? No. Aren't they? Oh, I thought they were. No. Okay. I always think it's quite, um, a, a quite, it's not relaxing, that's the wrong word, because you have to get, have all the gear on. But beekeeping sounds a really um, countryfied oh, hobby, it does. doesn't it? Yeah, lovely. Uh, to, to, to pick out those... Um, David Beckham keeps bees yeah, now, doesn't he? Yeah, just to pick out the, that honeycombs dripping amazing. with honey. Oh, I can imagine that. It's just so amazing. And, and, and around us, you know, they haven't... You know, like the council has to trim all yeah, the sides of the road. they leave them. Is uh, it the, no mo may? Yes, yeah. that's right. No mo may. Yeah. Um, so everything's really long. And yeah. I love it like that. You've got all the buttercups. Yeah. And, of course, it's great for yeah. the environment, we, we isn't it? We should never get rid of that. It's a lovely time to leave the wildflowers and everything Absolutely. Growing. We're at 14.99. Did I mention we've got a massive quantity of these? In celebration of World Bee Day, and of course, raising all of our awareness um, on these beautiful insects that are so, so, so paramount to our environment, aren't they? Um, but not only that, they're very endearing. Again, I always say it, but if you want to smile, just look at a little bumblebee asleep in, yeah. a, in a flower. It's adorable. Um, Carol's got two, Five's got four. So actually, Carol, you've got four bumblebees. Yes. on their way uh five you've got eight of your bees coming your way if that makes sense and they are lovely summer summer jewelry items aren't they i mean yeah. everybody's taking off their coats and scarves and things now they want to show off their jewelry beautiful oh yeah you could have like literally a swarm couldn't oh. you you could have a, a hive of bees in on, yeah. on a stretchy on bracelet a stretchy, yes Team it alongside as well. Uh, um, your early bird and of course Yvonne's beautiful projects that are coming up. That's the thing. This hour works with the eight, with the nine o'clock hour works with the ten o'clock hour and so on. Um, now we've got a big quantity in total. Two hundred and fifty of these available jewelry makers. Solid nine two five sterling silver, and we're under ten pounds. Oh, I'm getting some of these, Roscoe. I'm most definitely going to be getting some of these. Nice Just, jewelry for little girls as yeah. well. You see, something like that would take the fear of bees away from children. Yeah, my, my Tiggy is frightened of bees. Yeah. And I keep saying to her, it's like, they're, they're good. Bees are really good. Yeah, maybe a bit of bee jewellery. A bit of bee jewellery. just a, I bought, situation Along now. those lines, I bought her a little bee cuddly toy. Oh, did you? And yeah, yeah so far that's not working. But I'm like, bee, <laughs> bees are good. They don't want to hurt you. Because they don't, do they? Of course they? they don't. No, they don't go on. Not like wasps, they chase you. No, wasps they? are a little bit more aggressive yeah. and hornets. Yeah. Um, 
I'm like, oh. yeah, like, like the Hornet. I'm like, Ooh. Yeah. I, I understand the fear of those. They look a little bit scary. Whereas yeah. bumblebees and buzzy bees, they're really cute. Um, oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, David, Marie Claire, Paula, Gail, Neil and Linda, uh, June, Claire, Alison, Elizabeth, Sharon, Carol, Irene, hello to you, Jenny, Cornwall. Um, again, I, I bet you if you do sell or gift your jewellery, the a little bee de charm is yeah. going to be very pop. They will, f they'll fly off, won't oh, they? Oh, nice one. <laughs> your customers will be buzzing. Sorry, you can't have bee charms without any bee <laughs> but they're, they're not biting no away. sorry yeah, they're just like that you're ignoring me in the gallery um one more price crash coming your way purely because of the quantity here jewelry makers are oh, you going to be absolutely buzzing about this price crash right ross do you yeah. like that yeah very good <laughs> um <laughs> Adam's just said, we try not to react because we've been stung before. <laughs> Adam's got an allotment, so you see lots of bees, don't you, Adam? Um, lots and lots of bees. £9.99, pence, going even lower, purely because of the quantity, jewellery makers. You know, you can put a little decorative round bead, or you can go for a bee. I know which I prefer. Me too. Yeah. yeah and don't forget, too. your deal of the day is sticking to the bumblebee theme. Um, so you've got like little honeycomb connectors. You've got a beautiful pendant. Again, all of these will work together. Um, I told you a story once when I when I walked past Pandora, um, local to me, and I always admire. I think they've got the most successful marketing Pandora. Oh, definitely. You've got to say, yes. They're very, very expensive. Clever. Very, very clever. Very clever. Yeah. Um, and I saw a bee bracelet, and I was like, oh, I like that. Seven ninety nine. That gets you the two bees. You couldn't go in Pandora and pick up one bumblebee charm for seven ninety nine. No, definitely. No not. way on earth. Yeah, there was this bumblebee bracelet, and the links were like honeycombs. It was gold plated oh, silver, lovely. and it had little. I don't know if it was real amber, but had little uh, a bee charms on there. And I and I was brave enough to ask the question. I said, <laughs> "How much is that bracelet? It's absolutely gorgeous." She was like five hundred pounds. So I was like. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and off I trotted. Five hundred pounds. It's not an impulse buy, that is it? No, no. And obviously, I sort of vacated the premises. Um, but again, take inspiration. And I have to tell you, a lot of the components we're bringing you today is very similar. Genuine solid sterling silver. We had just over two hundred and fifty of these. Half the stock, Ross. Ha more than more than half the stock's gone. Kerry's got four. Carol's got four. Fife has got five. Janet's got three. Robert's got three. Yeah, I'm not surprised these are popular. I mean, they're very sweet. And again, if it's good enough for Gucci. That's good enough for us. It's good enough for me. <laughs> um, or Alex Munro, or Lily Rose, all of the above. Right, 60 seconds to close your early bird jewelry makers. Uh, not just this item, everything that we have brought you thus far. If you want to get hold of that type A Burmese honey jadeite, there's one available, I can tell you, jewelry makers. There's literally one left. So, for example, imagine, imagine, in fact, I'm going to read, re reach for a few. Let's get your rosebud pearls alongside these, shall we? Let's get... that honey jadeite alongside these. 30 seconds and we're going to be closing out this hour, Jewelry Makers. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. What a lovely kit. Beautiful. Add your deal of the day connectors in there. Um, dreams come true. Well done, everyone. Uh, so in 17 seconds again, we're closing out this hour. We've still got loads to bring you. Yvonne's projects are absolutely unbelievable. Add to this your beautiful Amazonite strand. We've got the amazing quartzite jade coming your way with gorgeous designs, of course, from Yvonne. We'll see you after this. Hi everyone, Yvonne here. I'll be back in the studio on Monday the 20th of May. Um, in the nine o'clock hour, we'll be bringing you some beeswax quartzite jade. We've got them in six mil and eight mil and they come along with little bee charms. So um, here's one of my um, pieces that I've made out of my project. I've also done a little bit of seed beading, which is unusual for me. It's a very, very simple seed beading. I'm going to show you how I did that just to show you how simple it is. Um, we also get a rose gold little bee charm, uh, which I put in 
yet another hexagon because I think it goes beautifully with the bee charms. In the 12 o'clock hour, we bring in some beautiful square pearls. Yeah, how unusual is that? Now, I haven't finished my projects with these yet, but this is how far I've got. Uh, now, the pearls come along with a three strand sterling silver box clasp um, so I've got to do another strand of pearls on there but I wanted to do three different different strands so uh, as you can see it's coming along nicely so I'll bring that with me on Monday and let you see um, the finished article so to speak so look forward to seeing you then hope you can join us bye for now how would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Hello, I'm super excited for our show on the 21st of May. I've got some amazing kits and I'm really excited to share some fun demos with you. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got some beautiful strawberry quartz that come with um, silver spacers and also some of this, look at this gorgeous frosted quartz that comes with gold spacers. Those are both at 9 a.m. And then for the masterclass at 12, I'm so excited beautiful gallery wire and amazing labradorite cabs. I can't wait to show you some fun demos and I'll see you then, bye. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Welcome back, everybody. Um, Yvonne's just highlighted something to me. Will B day? B day. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it's in your it's in your head now, isn't it? <laughs> I hadn't put the connection together. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> B day. Um, okay. Now we have your arms night. That's coming up at the top of this hour. But first, can we just take a moment? to fully appreciate Yvonne. These are stunning. Oh, thank you. 
I love this. <laughs> I'm going to demo that. It's Are so you? honestly, it's so simple. Um, to to call it seed beading is actually a bit pretentious. I think. No, it is. <laughs> it does it involve seed beads? It, yes, it involves there you seed go, beads. Then. Yes. Look at that, Yvonne. That honestly, yeah, it's pretty. That's the kind of piece of jewellery that I can imagine in a museum somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. So beautiful. And and the fact that you have got your honey quartzite jade, which is totally natural. Yeah, and I, I didn't separate out the colours. I just picked them randomly. And I, I think they work quite well like that. So quartzite jade can come in a few different colours. You can actually get it in white. You can get it in red yellow greenish colors as well i love the fact that your projects and by the way you've got a choice of sizes and a choice yes. of colors i love the fact that these are all your honey tones yeah it's so beautiful aren't they and they do go lovely with the amber that you've got on today as oh, well most definitely now you have a choice yeah. of either eight mils which comes with your silver findings um, or you've got the six mils, which come with your gold plated silver. So it's all down to personal preference. Um, in total, let me just double check this. I, I knew it without looking. These were bound to be limited edition. Are they? And that's because the fact it is quartzite jade. Quartzite jade, um, not us, but newly actually uh, um, described as a variety of jade in the same way that jadeite and nephrite are completely different gemstones chemically. They come under the jade umbrella again. Um, in the East, they're now labeling this location actually as a variety of jade. Um, it forms in like a quartzite effectively, but this location they're actually branding and titling as jade. So this is not treated. It's not enhanced in any way, shape or form. It is totally natural and you get you know, you can see why it's it's gained that sort of, I don't know, title, I suppose, for want of a better description, because it actually has certainly like, if you think about the Burmese jade that we've just shown you in the previous hour, mm -hmm. you'd struggle to tell the two apart, wouldn't you? You really would, Visually. yes. Um, I know chemically they are different. Anyway, this is a totally natural gemstone that is incredibly in demand at the moment within the East. Now, regular viewers, you know that we actually have some fantastic collections um, all around the world and all different varieties of gemstones. But I think our connections in the jade world um, over the past few years has dramatically improved. Um, we are talking to the likes of um, Stanley Yu, um, to with the likes of I've gone blank Adam and <laughs> Roland Schlussel. Uh, Roland Schlussel, Bernard, of course. If it wasn't for individuals like this, whose life have been around this mm -hmm. gemstone, um, different well, varieties of They're experts of jades, in their field, 100%, then we wouldn't have the knowledge that we do, and we certainly wouldn't be able to bring you the gems that we do. There are 40 available of each of these projects. Um, and they do come with Yvonne's amazing instructions as well, um, which, it's quite a chunky one, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so quite, nice information a, quite a in few there. Uh, steps on there, yes. Wow, so to create that beautiful piece of jewellery, this comes with your project. So we're going to start with the six, the eight mil. So, I mean, look at this. Have you ombre that? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. That was random too. Oh, it's no. so gorgeous, Yvonne. And I may, I, again, the hexagons come in, come in, um, coming into play. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a few weeks ago, Claire McDonald had yeah. some stenciling, stainless steel stenciling Oh yeah, formula. I remember. And I, you, I, I bought those because I think they're very, very useful items. Uh, I can do a lot with those. And I made the hexagon f uh, formed round one of those. It does make sense. Yes, it, it does make it sense. It does make sense. And there's lots and lots of different shapes in them as well. I don't know if there's any available stuff. Beautiful. We have got lots of bee influence in today. Yeah, the little bee show. there. Um, the bee, I um, I took off the loop and did a bit of filing um, where, where it's been joined on. And also the bees come flat, so I've actually um, just scooched up his wings a little bit as well. Ah, so he's <laughs> so in a flight. Little, little bit of movement there. He's in yes. flight. <laughs> well, let's start by this strand. And let me just double check before I say this out loud. Oh, eight millimeters. So these are some of the biggest rounds we've actually had in your courtside, Jade, aren't they? Now, um, look at these beautiful colours that, again, are solely Mother Nature. 
You know, a piece of beeswax, you can see all those colours. You in really piece can. Of beeswax, you? And, and again, if we put our jade hats on, remember it's translucency, yeah. colour, um, that we reference in terms of its actual, qu the quality of the jade itself. You know, it's not about the four C's. It's not necessarily about the carrot weight. It's not about the cut. It's not about the clarity. It's translucency. Um, and you can see that beautiful translucency. Again, no enhancement to this. They're not dyed um, in any way, shape or form. Most quartzite actually is dyed, but this isn't just any quartzite. It's quartzite jade. Um, not only do you get your eight millimeter full 38 centimeter strand, you get your beading thread. You get a pair of your shepherd hooks. You get head pins. You get a lobster claw. You get bead caps. And you also get your crimps and your crimp covers. It's a really nice little um, little packs, aren't they? Those gorgeous. I mean, Lots of got... essential things in there. Yeah, if you've if you've never made jewelry before, yeah. this is everything that you need, isn't it? Yes, you could you could make a necklace without buying anything without else. Without anything at all. else, yeah, you could. Uh, even down to the fact that you get the instructions as well. Absolutely, with this and um, you wouldn't even need to get a needle because the beading thread. I haven't oh, used yeah. the beading thread, but that doesn't need a needle that'll go straight through the bead yeah perfect um and again just to share with you um what is quartzite jade because i know that there is still much confusion um about uh, and you know we relay uh, relay the messages that we are finding like i said from the gentleman previously we spoke about your uh, bernard your stanley you um sally Hure is another one that we could mention but the new york times recently wrote um about your quartzite jade and they were saying beyond green jade and within that piece that first necklace is this very gemstone um, but they go on to say golden silk jade is mostly golden yellow and has a radish silk pattern inside so it's called golden silk jade of which the internal structure of high quality golden silk jade is delicate it can uh, reach the pure texture of chalcedony um, and that photograph is pretty much what, what, what I'm seeing on this strand. Do you agree? Um, so the high quality golden silk jade combines the warmth of Hessian jade, the color of, uh, um, I can't pronounce that, Hessian jade, uh, Tin Wang, um, the hardness of jadeite and the flexibility of Sushan stone. And the price is growing fast, so it is favored by the majority of merchants and consumers. And again, there's in that photograph, that's not Burmese that we're looking at, it's not Kotan, it's exactly this, gold and, uh, gold and silk jade. Um, and they go on to say in 2013, jade uh, passed the Xinjiang regional uh, local standards and in 2016 passed the quartz jade classification and naming standard um, it is a new type of jade variety still in its embryonic development stage around 2010 the jade um, has just entered pe people's field of vision and the price at this time is still low and now a high quality brightly colored transparent texture of the jade often reaches thousands of one per piece Therefore, the golden silk jade with excellent texture and bright colors has certain ornamental and collecting value. They're talking about this very variety, jewelry makers. Um, so new lean, this is in the east. They are now, this location is referred to as a variety of jade. And again, even the big auction houses are doing exactly that too. Yes. So yellow field is the most treasured of all soapstone from the Sushan region. Um, the color of... Uh, Tianwan uh, stones vary from greyish to golden yellow and is often uh, suffused with red net like markings known as radish veins and can be seen in the present boulder. So, a very rare, you can see it there, um, sold at auction. What's the price realised? 4,000. Sorry. 4.2 million in 2008. Hong Kong dollars, of course. Goodness me. Oh. But we are talking about the very same gemstone jewellery makers. And again, we have opportunities like this because of the likes of Bernard, Sally Hewer, uh, Stanley Yu, that because of our connections there. So in its embryonic stage, that is why you're seeing the prices uh, that we bring them to you currently. It's not sustainable, like I said, with the interest uh, and the recognition of this new variety as those words spread globally. It's obvious that the price per carat will absolutely skyrocket too. Um, we have 
We are quite possibly, it's a big statement this, but I think we're one, quite possibly one of the only people in the West that actually uh, brings this uh -huh. variety of yeah. jade um, to their audience. So yeah, not many people will have heard of quartzite jade and that's because it is very, very, very new to the jade world. Now, the graphics are about to appear. If you want to get hold um, of your beautiful eight mils, we've got six mils as well, now is the time. But remember, I've only got 40. It is always going to be a limited quantity. Immediately, these are going. Can you imagine if we were there when Kotan Jade was discovered? 10,000 years ago. Oh, wow. That's basically <laughs> where we are right now. Yes. Um, can you imagine if we were there when, um, Burmese jade. And you've got to remember, overcoming that hurdle of acceptance, I suppose, was there with, with your Burmese jade too. Because you remember, yeah. we, the Chinese had only ever known nephrite jade. Of course they had, so yes. So when Burmese jade yes. was discovered, yeah. it was that whole acceptance there too. And, and to be honest, when um, people outside the industry think of jade, they think of nephrite jade, don't they? Of course, they? Yeah. 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 So that was the original jade. Yes. Do you remember how many times have you heard me say that? The original jade is nephrite. Yes. But then Burmese jade, which gemologically is very different to nephrite. Gemologically, yeah. in the same way that quartzite jade is different again. £499. You've got your split payment. I don't know if I've seen 8 mil quartzite jade rounds before. It's a beautiful spectrum of colour. It's color. a fabulous strand wonderful warm honey tones that necklace is absolutely incredible Yvonne oh thank you you get the instructions to make this very piece of jewelry as well and if you have any questions for Yvonne feel free to text in we are live and it is very honestly it's very simple really because <laughs> yes. it looks so incredibly no, detailed now even if we were to stop <coughs> here Excuse you've me. got to remember we've just shown you a variety that sold at auction for obscene amounts of money that's over four hundred thousand pounds I mean, I don't know how big it is, but it's £400,000. It's a lot, isn't it? Um, for a boulder that I can't even wear, effectively. <laughs> no. We're at £499, but not stopping there. Definitely worthwhile, jewelry makers. My recommendation would be to get your certificate of authenticity because it will say quartzite jade show you the province it will talk about the fact that it's not treated it's totally natural most quartzite or other varieties of quartzite well not other it's not the same but quartzite usually is dyed this is not just any quartzite this is quartzite jade we're at 149 goodness me Ross that's incredible would we see Burmese jade at 149 in these colors would we see Kotan jade at 149 well, you're not even going to see your quartzite jade at 149 because we're not even stopping there. In 60 seconds, jewelry makers, we're going to go even lower. Um, I've got the six mil strand to bring you as well. Can we shop ahead on that one or no? You can, it's available. So if you would prefer to get the six mils um, or maybe it's the precious metal color that you're choosing, um, shop ahead on that one. And again, any questions that you have for Yvonne, feel free to text Definitely, in. Definitely, yes. It's not often we get the chance, jewellery makers, to actually purchase a gemstone in its embryonic stage. Does that make sense? You know, because that's where we are right now with this situation. I get it. I totally get it. You've got people, some people are resistant to the fact it's not a variety of jade. I do get it. But it's it's not us making that statement. That's actually the East making that statement. And I, I assume the same hurdles and challenges were met when Jadeite was actually added to the jade title. We're at 149 and going even lower. Hazel and Pauline and Andrew and Christine and Alison, um, London. We've got people on the phone line as well i can't see all of your names as of yet but i know you're there there was only 40 available opportunities what a beautiful color and a full strand of the newest variety of jade goodness me 99 pounds and 99 pence only seriously that's such that's an incredible like price tag it's, it's incredible isn't it and it's so beautiful as well isn't it and people jade. don't always want bright yellow no. jewelry it's a sunshine without being in your face it's, it's a true. very natural color isn't it yeah you know on our vt that we just had there you've got those fields of sunflowers yes it's that in a it strand, is. isn't it it really is because yes. there's a slight reddish see the center of the sunflower yeah. you've got those kind of reddish light colors coming through yeah. oh that's gorgeous 
absolutely beautiful. £99.99, and pence. the phone lines have lit up. I've only got 40 available. Wow. But with a small quantity like that, usually the price tag's a little bit higher. We'll always endeavour to bring you the best possible saving. There is a huge benefit to being able to purchase a gemstone in its embryonic state, if that makes sense. It's an, it's an old stone, don't get me wrong, in terms of its formation. Mm -hmm. However, in terms of its title, does that make sense? We are in that embryonic state. Another one of the benefits, or the main benefit really, to have gaining access to a gemstone which is newly being published and discussed, particularly in the East, is the fact that you can purchase it at an affordable price tag. But remember what that article said, at present it's affordable, but that is rapidly changing. Incredibly, we are going lower, jewelry makers, for a, a, a 38 centimeter strand of eight mil rounds totally natural as with all varieties of jade i would always recommend getting your certificate of authenticity definitely yes because you can pay a huge premium for that laboratory mm -hmm. search if you're if you're selling your jewelry on uh, yeah it's essential i would have thought yeah to say that it's natural that it's not dyed and it is what it is 99.99 but not stopping there sarah hazel pauline gloucestershire new customers getting involved to get a full 38 centimeter strand the color of summer isn't it yeah oh definitely it really really is in in a very gentle oh. way too yes yeah like you said not a it's not a, it's not in your face is it at all that's gorgeous isn't it and i think we're all definitely feeling that the summer has we're finally de appeared definitely feeling it now good luck everybody make sure you're checking out your baskets 99 pounds and 99 pence but going even lower For World B Day, <laughs> seventy nine ninety nine wow. again, and that's the eight mil as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, for the strand alone, I would definitely expect it to be in the three figure price tag. Make sure you are checking out, especially if you want the multiples. I can see some of you have in your baskets, and again, don't forget, you get this beautiful. The instructions, this beautiful necklace written by yours truly, <laughs> um, lovely Yvonne jewelry makers. How stunning is that? Now, seriously, does that necklace look like it's going to be a seventy nine ninety nine piece no, of jewellery? No, no. Definitely not. Make sure you're checking them out. Well done, everybody. Keep on dialing through. I can see you all there. Let's bring you then. I think this is. I think this is going to fly. I think this one's going to be the most popular. I don't know why, but I think. Well, I do know why. I think people are going to want to literally do like for like, Yvonne, for your piece of jewellery. Yes, I use the six mil in this one. So, first price crash. Again, beading thread. Let me grab the tweezers. You get your gold-plated lobster claw. Such a useful little essentials kit, isn't it? So, having the clasping and everything. Yeah. You get your head pins. You get... Oh, come on. Your lever backs, you do get two, obviously. One, two. You get your crimp covers times two. You get your crimps times two. I'm, I'm buying you time, jewelry makers, to join us on the phone lines. You get four of your bead caps. Aren't they beautiful? I used those on the earrings. Oh, did you? The earrings. Oh, yes. The earrings somewhere. And then finally, let me put those out. You get the strand. Now the strand, six millimeter. Oh, look at those, on. <laughs> six millimeter, our number one most popular size of rounds in natural beeswax quartzite jade. Plus you get the instructions. First price crash, we're already in double figures. I think this is gonna be the one that sells out the fastest. 
Because if I'm that's what I'm thinking, I literally want to recreate your really? necklace. Really? Yeah, that's beautiful. so kind of you. Thank you. Those wonderful warm honey tones yeah. that form naturally in this gem. There are peaches in there as well. Oh, yes. Peach colours. Peach. Look, at, look at this little colour here. At the top. Oh, isn't that yeah. the Pantone colour of the year, Peach? Peach it is. Fuzzy yes, Peach. It is. And what peach gemstones do you get? Very few. Not many, do you? Um, we're going even lower, jewellery makers. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Again, if you have any questions about this beautiful, beautiful necklace, um, do text in. We would love to hear from you this morning. You've got your split payments there as well. Um, in its infancy, beautiful quartzite jade. It's not dyed. It's not type B. It's not type C. It's totally and utterly natural. And today, not $99.99, for your six mil rounds, £69.99. Mm -hmm. I don't know many varieties of jade that you can get for those kind of prices, even in the dyed variety. Such a popular size, six millimetre yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. I can do it a lot, lot with six you know, millimetre. Even if you just turn them into simple stretchy right. bracelets. There's you nothing know? wrong with those, is no, there? No, exactly. Especially if you've got some of the bumblebee charms um, that are coming up as well. We've got connectors as well. They'll all go hand in hand. At the beginning of the show, I mentioned that. Your yeah. early bird goes with um, Yvonne's projects, goes with the deal of the day and so on. Yeah, it does it all. It's a good mix and match. Ma well, mix and match we show, what isn't you meant. it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Can't get the words out. Well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Your I knew you would. I knew this would be the one that would be super, super, super popular. Um, okay, the Amers Night, which also would go gorgeously with these projects, don't you think? Yeah. That's coming up at the top of this hour. We've got a hundred of those available, and we will match the same unbelievable price tag. So. Um, it's beautiful, this strand. Yvonne, you've worked with this, haven't you? Yes, and I absolutely love it. I worked with it in my last show, and, and I got so many pieces out yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm sure. It goes uh, a long way. Yeah. But look at that again. Quartzite honey jade alongside this. Yes, please. Um, okay, take it away, Yvonne. It's okay. Right. As I say, it's really simple. I feel embarrassed to call it seed beading. Um, but um, I don't know if everybody else works the same as me, but I wasn't sure what, I knew I wanted to put gold seed beads with it, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to incorporate mm -hmm. incorporate everything together. So what I did was I started off by getting some, these are six, uh, 11 O seed beads, and, and this, this is a simple uh, ladder weave. Uh, and what you can do is I attached my to chain again that's because I didn't know what I was going to do with the end project so I left a long piece of chain on there um, so that I could make my decision at the end but you know if you know what you're going to do you could add it straight to a clasp or straight to a jump ring now the ladder weave is very simply um, thread your uh, beading thread onto two needles one on each end of your thread uh, and then what I did was tie that thread it through the chain and tie it in the middle of the of the two um, needles with the beading thread and then simply pick up one seed bead on each needle like that let those drop down then take another seed bead, pop your needle through that, and then take the other needle. So basically, you're taking one seed bead and you're going through it both ways with your two needles. So then let's push that through. Can you see me? Yeah. So then you pull, pull those. probably a bit long thread for, for a demonstration but uh, but it won't take me long to show you this so there we are just pull them and they all fall into place oh. and it makes like a little triangle and put them all together and and you can, yes they do yeah, Adam's look saying yeah they're animal. looking like good bees, bees. Um, so basically it's simple as that I'll, I'll just do it one one more time um, well, and then I'll go on to the beads so one on each needle, yeah. slide them down, pick up one bead on one of the needles, oh, did I get one? No. And basically you go through this one bead with both needles in opposite directions. 
pop that down go through and very satisfying to watch this yeah and th and that is as as same as say i ended up with with a, a long length of this and then i thought now now what do i do with it so as you can see it builds up ever so quickly and it's very very simple so i ended up with a, a long strand of that still not knowing what i was going to do so then i decided to work with it this way smooth these loose beads out of the way so then i decided i must really bring the beads along horizontally um, so let's pop those up there out of the way of course i finished mine all off i didn't have all this loose thread around so um, you would you would finish it off before you start this next bit or if you're a real seed beezer <laughs> then you probably would work your way back and add the beads as you go uh, but i did mine separately because um, that was the way it, it all happened on the day so now i've got one piece of beading thread i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna cut that off a little bit because it's too long for a demonstration so let's cut that off and what i did was i threaded through i threaded through the first bead can you see me there mm -hmm. What I want to do is to bring my bead round. You see, you've got these sticking out here. You've got a long row in the middle. Then you've got beads sticking out each side. Like turrets. Yes. Yeah, so what I want to do is bring my bead round that second one. So what I did was go in through the first one. Up through the middle one. So basically, I'm just working my way along till I get to the bead I want to work on. Go through that one. There we go. So basically, I'm working my way down. One more. So there I am. I'm back. I'm, I'm as far along now that I want to to go because I'm going to be working on this second sticky out bead here and all I did was take six seed beads as I say these are 11 O's saying I'm not a seed beader it's quite brave to do this <laughs> but I think you are Yvonne I, if you're working with seed beads yeah it doesn't have to be the most complex well, yeah especially when it's as effective as this well so I've got six seed beads one of my six millimeter beads and take another six beads and that's how every single droplet so it's it's the same all the way along now so we've got uh, two four five one more six seed beads on there so then i'm going to go i'm going to go back through this seed bead here this second one that we're aiming for and if i pull it slowly you'll see how they're all formed yes and it's as easy as that so um i I, I won't bore you by go I'm going all I'm going to be doing is re-threading now so what I did was I went through all of that again to make it more secure and then once I'd done that I then worked my way along uh, the path come back down I have two be if you look at the picture I, or or the necklace I've got two seed beads between each drop yeah so i'd go all the way around that again to secure it work my way along basically to the third one because i'm going to have two in the middle and do exactly the same yes, again see. six seed beads a six millimeter bead and six seed beads and um 
basically that's what you end up with so it is very very simple and and then of course with your purchase of this project you get these they, they literally are available on your um order history so you can print them off so if you're thinking oh i'm not going to remember that then you yeah. can just reference them back again um plus obviously you've got close-up photographs yes, so you can yeah. see um absolutely beautiful Yvonne. isn't it simple though amazing though look at that it literally looks like, like yeah. it's 18 karat gold yeah and got beautiful very simple jade but very body. effective i think Stop Stunning, 69.99 um, for the six millimeter quartzite with your gold plated findings. I think, we're, what was it, 79.99 for the eight mil? So it's all really down to your preference of size or your preference of precious metal. Um, again, being very, very, very popular. Now a gemstone that would go beautifully, I feel, with your quartzite jade. And also a gem that we sent to Yvonne for the original launch. We had 400 at that time. Yeah, we it was very, very popular. Yeah, we have the final 100 today. Now we've made no secret about this. There are two gems in particular that we believe for 2025, it's definitely gaining the traction that it deserves. One of them's Neon Appetite. We did a massive auction um, on, what day was it, Thursday, um, on Neon Appetite. The other is of course, beautiful Amazonite, a member of the Feldspar, but a member that stands out, I believe. I always reference Monica Veneda because it was actually Monica Veneda that really sort of put Amazonite in the limelight yes, for me definitely, anyway. Definitely. Um, and they've, she's, you know, very, their jewelry brand um, really champions this gemstone. So much so they've actually got a write up on their website. So um, Amazonite, the stone of hope. Amazonite is one of the many reasons we love gemstones so much. They come with rich histories, startling beautiful colours and a vast range of uses for everyday jewellery. And Amazonite is undoubtedly a leader of the pack. You know, that's the first thing in the paragraph that they say. I agree. Uh, but what is this gemstone? So uh, as part of the Feldspar group of minerals, or to be more specific, K-Feldspar in relation to the potassium content, Amazonite is a blue-green, we don't say semi-precious anymore, a uh, blue-green precious gemstone that has seemingly, seemingly been used for medicinal purposes as much as it has for jewellery pieces throughout history. Its potassium content is believed to bring physical benefits of stamina to the wearer, um, so it has been a favourite jewellery item to many civilizations. Um, they go on to say, as well as the physical benefits of owning and wearing Amazonite, it has something of a divine appearance to it. The blue-green variation of it often resembles the sky of the heavens, so it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith. Uh, this isn't only applicable to its spiritual qualities either. Its very appearance as a variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between the blues of cold winter and the greens of springtime, laden with life. No matter how cold the winter might be, there is always a springtime to look forward to. And the colour of Amazonite acts as a quite literal reminder of that. The hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner to see the full truth of all matters. So it inspires confidence in balanced arguments and helps us to achieve equilibrium in all walks of life. How beautiful is that? How so beautiful. Poetic, isn't it? It is. It? Yeah. You know, that just, just, you know, words can be so no. beautiful, especially when they're written like that. And it perfectly Absolutely. describes this amazing gemstone. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, it's found in a few different locations around the world. Um, it has been adorned by multiple different civilizations around the world. Um, and I think the next, this next paragraph talks about that. Beautiful blue-green Amazonite has been mined all over the world. Its name is somewhat misleading um, as it has led many people to believe that it originates from the Amazon River Basin in Brazil, but it actually hails um, in, the fur, in the most part from the Ilminsky Mountains in Western Russia. Deposits there have been so historically plentiful that the gemstone was distributed across Europe and perhaps even to Egypt in ancient times. Um, it is known to have been a favourite during Egyptian dynasties, not, uh, but not much is known about the Amazonite presence in those intercontinental trading routes, like how it got there yeah. effectively. Um, now, these days, obviously, that was its origin, but these days you can find it in different locations. Um, it is widely known, though, that uh, 
What is widely known though is the powerful impression that one of the finest gemstones of the world has left on countless civilizations. Amazonite might be a rare stone, but it influ its influence has spread to every corner of the globe to bring hope and healing to the masses through beautiful jewelry and adornments. Um, now, it goes without saying, it's one of our favorites here at Jewelry Maker. I think so much so that mm. you voted it as your number one. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not surprised. And again, I think 2025 is going to be another leapfrog in yeah. terms of its price. And it's hard It's hard to describe that there are a winter gemstones and summer gemstones, yeah. but that's definitely a but summer it is, gemstone. It? it would be yeah. fitting for both of those. Yeah. It isn't just us that are working and loving Amazonite. You know, Irene Neweth, I've shown this before. Jewelry makers, you could make that, couldn't you? Yeah. It's not actually a hard piece of jewelry to make. Um, £2,950. It's basically got a gold bolt ring clasp, that's basically it, um, in a necklace. Um, here's another one, 14 carat Amazonite cylinder gemstone necklace. You could make that jewelry makers without doubt, 606 pounds. Um, go to Monroe, Mozambique, Amazonite drops. It's all about the stone, isn't it? There's yeah. no there's no fancy gold no, it's work, not there's fancy no diamonds. Job, it? no. It's all about Amazonite and you're still talking 290 yeah. pounds for those. And they're also quite small. Um, Tiffany's and Co. Makes sense that Tiffany's and Co. are throwing their love behind this gemstone because, of course, it's the colour of their branding. Um, for that bracelet, which is, again, very simple to make, £530. It's, it's not in very gold. Very popular as well. Yeah, very popular. £530, that's in silver. That's in silver. Yep, loads of the big designers. Astley Clark, 18 karat gold plated for May, 350 pounds for those beautiful earrings. They are beautiful, you know. And I'm not saying they're wrong, by the way, in their prices. We are, definitely, with how low our prices actually are of this beautiful gemstone. Um, Misoma, just a slice, if you like, of your Amazonite. Um, what's that, 100 and, sorry? 139 pounds. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a three figure price tag. Uh, Monica Veneda, we've just mentioned, so you can get one of her lockets. Oh, so simple designs. Really aren't they? simple, mm. 360 pounds in the sale. In the sale. Or you can break that down into split payments too. Harrods, simple stretchy bracelets, only yours is actually a better quality. We found this description, and it's talking about a strand notice it's not a finished piece of jewelry it's talking about a strand. yes these jade beads have been dyed a light amazonite color they're not natural no sold as temporary strung 37 to 38 centimeters approximately they are dying jade to look like amazonite mm. now D that says a lot yeah doesn't it, it really does i um, mean that's unbelievable really isn't it can I just say the colour of your Amazonite that you have, or the 100 that we have available today, is not dyed, it's genuine Amazonite, and it's actually a better colour. Also, at the end of April this year, we discovered another designer is embracing Amazonite, and that designer, or maison, as they refer to themselves as, the Maison expands its colour blossom collection with Amazonite famed for its minty blue green hue, Louis Vuitton. Exclusive wow. reveal, Louis Vuitton unveils mesmerising Amazonite in limited edition colour blossom collection. Louis Vuitton introduces Amazonite to its iconic colour blossom collection. And there they are. You want to buy the bracelet? You're talking, talking two thousand and sixty oh, pounds. Wow. There's not a huge amount of Amazonite. There's not no, even a huge amount okay. of diamonds or gold. It's a very dainty bracelet. That two grand. Um, yeah, if you want the necklace version, two thousand two hundred and sixty pounds, please. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's mm -hmm. lovely. It's lovely. It's beautiful. If you want the full uh, sort of Alhambra-like length, thirty-one and a half thousand pounds, please. And it's Amazonite. Wow. You know, they can work with the finest gemstones yeah. in the world, Louis they Vuitton, choose. but they choose and lean towards this beautiful gemstone. Why? Because it's beautiful. You know, Louis Vuitton, let's be honest, they could go to they could go to Parade de Tourmaline if they wanted to. Mm. They'd probably have a Parade de Tourmaline budget, wouldn't they? Or their yeah. clientele certainly would. <laughs> um, but they actually chose Amazonite over that. That speaks volumes to me. We have 400 of these jewelry makers and we have 100 today. Just another little factor. 
How often do you see faceted Amazonite? Because that's what this strand it is. is. It is, yeah, and it catches the light beautifully. I bought this strand on the back of that Did show. Did Yeah, I love it. Did you buy it as well, Roscoe? And I get, I haven't decided whether they're going to be, mm. I, I did buy a few, but whether they're going to go in between pearls or whether it's going to be simple mm. stretchy bracelets. I made like, um, I, I put it with copper and put oh, copper gorgeous. leaves on it. Did a, a dangly sort of southwestern type. Yeah, amazing. What that about Deb's Capriccio bracelet? Absolutely, that absolutely, yes. Or tassels. We have a hundred. The phone lines will light up. It's our number one gemstone right now, without doubt. So pretty. Imagine one of your little bumblebee charms or that gorgeous yeah. pendant with the amber coming Can't up in a few wrong, moments time. Just that one pendant. How beautiful would that be? And again, you've got Irene Newis talking 3,000 pounds. All right, it's got gold. It's a tiny little bolt ring class that probably you could buy for about 50 quid. Um, you know, I know which I prefer. I know which one I would prefer. I'd rather actually have it teamed with amber and I'd rather actually have the quality that you're seeing here as well. Um, and obviously without the price tag. Now we had a hundred available, but already people, we can see you there waiting on the phone lines. Good luck to each and every single one of you. We launched this. Sorry, I'm no, very carry sorry on. To no, you carry on. Uh, that probably comes with the instructions too then. Oh yes, good point. Yes. To make another one of Yvonne's mm, amazing mm. pieces. The auction is live. Four millimeter faceted Amazonite rounds. First collector on the phone yeah, lines. I don't blame them. On the web, sorry, has bought four. Yeah. I don't blame you, Swansea. This is one of the best Amazonite prices that we've ever done and probably will ever do as well moving forward. How beautiful would this be with everything that we've brought you thus far and are bringing you today? With amber, amazing. With your quartzite jade, stunning. With the purple pearls that are coming up at midday, yes. incredible. It will go beautifully with everything. You know, I always think Amazonite is one of those gemstones, yes, I do wear a lot in summer, but also in the winter too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you're wearing your autumnal colours. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Your it's rusts such and your a browns will colour. go with that. And one of the rarest colours on the planet. Because mm -hmm. this is described as celeste blue. Celeste is heaven, basically, is as it? in yes, otherworldly. Yes, of course it is, yes. I have 100 available jewellery makers. Lots of the biggest designers are massively embracing the beauty that is Amazonite, and rightfully so. Um, there is no enhancement, no treatment to this whatsoever. It's all natural. People on the web multi-buying, I'm not surprised by that. We had a massive quantity, and it was a big star buy auction opportunity. You will not believe the price that we took. There's a very good reason why 300 of these went in one auction. You know, that's... Normally, if we buy th uh, 400, I don't know, depending, it would maybe last over a few auctions, maybe, um, I don't know, four, Ross, would you say? Yeah, maybe. But when we have something as beautiful as Amazonite, mm -hmm. two at best, two auctions at best. We are no way near done. We've got to remember 100, yeah, it's a good quantity, but also we need to manage the volumes on the phone lines and the traffic on our web and app. If we don't do that, we'll crash everything and then I won't be popular. Mm. We're going to do what? A huge price crash. The quality of the Amazonite. There's that Irene Neweth one we were talking about. That class probably costs about £50. Assuming. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, it is 18 karat gold. Yeah. About £50, I reckon. Probably even less. Your next price crash. but not your final price crash. Can't remember what it went to last time. I can't either, Yvonne. <laughs> oh! I, ah, uh, yes. We did not stop here. We are going lower. If you missed that show, you get the instructions as well. Yeah, it comes with instructions. You can see it on the graphics right now. There is no enhancement. It's totally natural. Swansea has gone from four to six. Don't blame me, Swansea. 
You're about to, you're about to honestly this if you weren't with us <coughs> during this auction when we first launched them, you won't believe the saving on this. The quality of the Amazonite is exceptional, faceted to perfection, which we rarely ever see on this beautiful gemstone. It is an otherworldly colour saturation that um, is totally and utterly natural. In 19 seconds, jewelry makers, we're gonna take it to that amazing launch price. There is a very good reason why 300 went on that launch. Yes, you, it makes you realise now. It's like reliving the last show, really, yeah. isn't it? You see them just flying. I out think now. I remember Yvonne. So difficult to get hold of. Not because it's not being mined. There's a few locations around the world. It's being mined. However, it's like Malachi. Everywhere wants it at the moment. Yeah. It is absolutely everywhere. Remember the icy Amazonite? night? David Germans bought the parcel. We can't get that now. We had five strands in total. Gone. It's gone. History. We cannot get it again. David German has bought the parcel from Peru. Wow. So that's so that that's gone. his now. That's, that's the that end of that. <laughs> Amazonite is everywhere. And you've got to remember. And by the way, he's charging a thousand pounds for one Amazonite in a tusk. I don't know how big that is, but I shouldn't imagine it's that big because wow. look at the links of the chain. Yes. <laughs> how about a barrel for 500 pounds but again if you look at the link of the chain you know that that's actually a very small Tiny piece of piece, amazonite don't yeah. you we're at 14 pounds and 99 pence and we didn't stop there wow i can't i can't even remember this you know i think i do i think i do we the final what 100 bargain, available for it? you today yeah it's unbelievable i think i remember as well if we only had a hundred of these on launch it wouldn't be at that price it'd be more we did buy 400 of these actually my jewelry will be out the side there but I, I wish i'd have brought it in now and showed you how much i got from the one strands oh, it was loads you had masses didn't you yeah Good luck, everybody. And that's the joy of a colour saturation that intense. You only need one bead. And you can see that beautiful yeah. colour from distances away. And I love to see the mixture of colours on there, don't you? Mm. And translucency. Yes. Good luck, everybody. We had 100 available. That's the final 100. Everybody, whether you were the first person, Swansea, to check out your basket or the very, very last... Good luck, everyone, because that wasn't the launch price. We are going to repeat that price tag, and I do think this is going to see two shows and two shows wow. only. I don't think this will see a third. Yeah, £12.99 wow. only for the gemstone firmly in the limelight at the moment. You know, and, and I love the fact that the world, high-end jewellery, is really embracing your mm -hmm. opaque gemstones now. Yeah, I like that as well. Van it's Cleef. not all about what what is considered the high class gems the well it's not just the, the big clean. five is it no it's, it's not just not, the big no, five it's, it's not just really diamonds. lovely to see the the or no they're not ordinary that's the wrong word but um what you'd class as very special gems yeah um it's nice to see to see these coming into their own i totally agree i totally agree i mean and so over multi you know civilizations we've celebrated this gemstones but maisons like i don't i'm gonna say it alhambra and louis yeah. vuitton and places like that they almost they didn't include those now you're seeing lots of the big designers yeah. using them yeah, and absolutely. rightfully so they're absolutely incredible from the 100 that we had left there isn't that many left within the vault. And they're making them high class in, the, in what they're doing, oh, gosh, really, absolutely. aren't they? It makes it challenging for us as your gemstone supplier. Of course it supplier. does, yes. Jewelry makers, we didn't stop at 12 99 No. I can't believe that. I don't know. Well. Because we had 400... <laughs> we were able to really put, uh, push the boundaries. Moving forward, A, I don't know if we could get 400 of them. B, faceted. C, this price. Amazonite is found in a few different places around the world. But whatever those locations are, they're sought after by the masses, the big jewellery brands. And it's going again. And they will pay those high prices. Yeah, yeah. of course they will. 
We're going lower. Look at the quality. Natural, natural, natural. Everybody can pay, will pay that final low. Swansea's got six. Carol's got two. Marie's got three. Barbara's got two. Yeah. Jacqueline's got two. Sandra's got two. Five's got two. Renfusha's got four. Just to emphasize, we went lower. If you don't know where we're taking this to, I guess I'm going to say it out loud and then, and then put 30 seconds on your screen. We took this under ten pounds. There, that's why that look purely because of the quantity. It's the only new strand that we have of Amazonite in the entire business, by the way. So get it whilst you can. Um, Roscoe, could I do an Amazonite showcase? No, he says no. <laughs> no. Every time we bring Amazonite to air, it's gone. Within a week, this has gone within a week. I'm looking, a new parcel. I'm looking at it sideways next to the um, the, Am the quartzite jade. Yeah. And it goes beautifully Stunning. together. You remember that this parcel lasted us a week. I don't envy the gemstone buyer's job. I really don't. A strand lasted a week. And there's so much work into that strand with the faceting and everything else. Nine pounds ninety nine. I can't believe it, and I certainly can't remember it went to that. Well, that's the price of the instructions on our sister yeah. channel, mm -hmm. and you're getting. Um, I can't say that out loud. Um, we had a hundred available today, but they will sell out today. I think it's going to literally see two shows, and that's it. Again, if you speak to our gemstone buyers and say well, they ask us quite regularly, what gemstones do you want us to buy? Amazonite is always top of the list. Always, always top of the list. But again, we have the same answers, don't we, Ross? It's really difficult to find. It's really difficult to actually get hold of. I'm not saying it's mined out. It's just it's it's in the limelight. It's that it's like the Hollywood A-lister that all the um, yeah. all the all, all the the silver screens want to include in their uh -huh. in their films. It's that gemstone. Um, double figures, multi buyers. Wiltshire's got four. Diane and Tim multi buying. Jacqueline, well done, multi buying. June multi buying. Um, already the core screen, I've got three full rows of names. It's a full 38 centimetre strand. Incredible. Whether you're using it for tassels, whether you're using it for what about the technique that you've just demonstrated? Easily. You could do that. Absolutely, the you could. Weave? Absolutely, you oh, could. Can it you looked that? lovely as a ladder weave. So imagine the, your arm's night in this ladder weave that Yvonne's just te demonstrated, and then putting your quartzite jade. Yeah, oh. it look lovely. Beautiful, that contrast of colour. Yeah. So from 400 to 100, and now to 29. There's way more than 29 of you with it in your basket, so it's first come, first serve, can't say. And that's assuming every single one of you wants one. You know, gotta be honest, there are, there are multi buyers getting sixes and fours and threes and everything in between so um well done everybody beautiful beautiful quality of amazonite not often do we actually see it uh, um, faceted as well um the gemstone that our viewers literally voted as their number one recently and i can absolutely see why i've always adored it um it's amazonite really it was it was the amazonite in your monica veneda jewelry that made me recognize that jewelry house that makes sense yes it does you yes. know because i just Perfect think you know sense. really simple designs but it was yeah. the choice of the gemstone um what was that sorry roscoe look at the quantity 16 but you can still do it don't get put off by dialing through no. thinking i'm going to miss out if you said you're over allocated um if you dial through press your option one You've got as much chance as anybody. If you add it to your basket and you check out straight away, you'll you'll leapfrog everybody that's in that in that queue. Uh, Maker's just done that, getting three. Sharon's just done that, getting two. Jean's just done that on the phone lines, getting yeah, two. Davinia's got system, three. Yeah. Shirley's got three. You get the general gist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have literally fourteen left now. So if you hear your name, Ma uh, Kerry in Manchester, Angus, Marie in Yorkshire, Julian Tyne and Ware. Christine in Bedfordshire, Jenny in Suffolk, Tracy in Lincolnshire, Ruth in Yorkshire, Lucy in Derbyshire, June in West Midlands, Jean in Glasgow, another Jean, Sheila in Kent. You need to be checking out your baskets. I apologise, Jean in Glasgow, you've done exactly that. Um, we're approaching the single figures from 400 that were originally launched, what, last week? Yes, it was last time I was in. 10 yeah. days ago. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So that's how long a strand of this quality lasts here at Jewelry Maker. 
I d I'll say it again. I don't envy our buying team. And just job. think how many beautiful pieces have been made out of the 300 oh. that were bought oh, in the gosh, first. Oh, yeah. Please send so. photographs into yeah. the Yeah. Oh, of yes, fame. please do. Um, I've got one more auction before we dive into the break. All about your beautiful bees. But this next strand, and I'm just going to borrow this bus for a second, would go beautifully with your Amazonite, actually. <gasps> it would. Why have I never thought it of that before? It absolutely would. Who, unless you see them together. You can't envisage it, but when you see them together, look at that. Oh. Super duper, isn't it? Yeah, how have we never put these that gemstones together? You know, some silver space beads and oh, mix those gorgeous. in. It'd be beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now, I can again confirm, regular, regular viewers already know this, but the Guatemalan jadeite mine is not mined out. It is still available. However, it is not being mined. And that's because recently archaeologists discovered an ancient Mayan mask, which basically um, said, right, okay, stop all mining while they actually... Mm -hmm investigate if you like because this is a civilization that we know very little about so it's a huge historical significance but remember we were also looking at the lost treasure of guatemala we knew it existed we'd seen pieces of olmec blue this variety of jade that was in the smithsonian museum and lots of explorers gemologists if you like had speculated about where in the world it had come from they tracked it down eventually to Guatemala, but where in Guatemala? It was a huge space of, of dense forestation. A couple called the Ridingers literally rediscovered this in the 1980s. But be under no illusion, the Guatemalan Olmec Jade Mine is significantly smaller than that of your Burmese and maybe even your Khotan. So the availability of this when it is in full operation mm -hmm. is going to be significantly less than most other varieties. This is type A, natural Guatemalan jade, the only place in the world that actually produces this beautiful blue jade. I have 10 available. Remember, whether it's Guatemalan, whether it's Burmese, whether it's Khotan, whether it's... Uh, um, British Columbia, whether it's quartzite, you talk about the, tr the, the quartzite jade, you talk about the translucency, and you talk about the fine crystal structure. It's not the same as diamonds. You don't use four Cs when you're talking about jades. It's about how that gemstone sort of has the ability to retain light and glow. I'll go, I'm going to stick, I'll go out on a whim here and say that's one of the best Olmec jade out strands mm. I've seen. It's unbelievable quality. It's a real, it's bluey green isn't yeah. it yeah there are 120 carats available the graphics sorry 120 carats i've got sorry n oh now nine available look at the quality of that old mech jade it's, it's fabulous when we talk about heirlooms we're, we're very fortunate aren't we jewelry makers that we work with these mm. amazing gems to create fabulous pieces of jewelry that we might not be able to afford if you were to go to i don't know louis vuitton david german any of those places we're working with the same caliber of gemstones well done elaine well done swansea and that takes us down the quantity down to eight but the reality is as well with a gem like this as rare and as valuable as this we're custodians of it, aren't we? These are pieces that we'll pass on to our future generations. And very, very few, make no doubt about this, very few people on, the, on our planet can say that they own such a rare gem. Remember, jadeite as a whole, of which this is a variety of, is one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones and also one of the world's top 10 most expensive gemstones. Mm. And only in this location does it form in that natural teal bluey green. So even here at £1,499, that's a, good, a great price for this gem. It's not where we're stopping, but it is a great price. I've got seven left. Karen, you've got yours. Well done, lovely. It's almost teal, isn't it? Yeah. Rare. Very, mm. very rare. Look at the quality. And again, I'm going to say it. I think that's one of the best Olmec strands we've seen. 
just the perfect color matching you know think what stanley said stanley stanley hugh said to um dave some months ago there's only one piece of jade jewelry that's more valuable than a jade bangle and that is a jade strand and that's because you don't it's you have to get more firstly and each and every single one of those beads needs to be perfectly matched. Here he is, Stanley Chu, saying, the only thing more valuable than a bangle is a match strand. This is the most expensive jewelry in the world. We have sold type A jade strands for over 10 million US dollars. And all right, Stanley's holding a Burmese jadeite strand there. That's imperial green Burmese jade. But what he's saying there is it's the match strand. He goes on to discuss Olmec jade, which is exactly what I have draped over the back of my hand. The Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. This material is the best investment because it's still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. A lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. This has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia as it is also listed as Fei Chi. That's the water content that was shown in that photograph, um, which was historically reserved exclusively owner only for Burmese jade. A piece like this, I mean, he's holding a strand, which I have to say is almost identical to what I have here in the studio. A piece like this would be priced at the top end of the necklace value top translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted color and a glassy texture. This is an exquisite piece. Such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. The problem is very few like this reach the market, too many fault lines, um, so are very expensive. Again, look at, fully absorb that translucency. Fully absorb the quality of the color. And that, by the way, is a jewelry maker necklace that we showed Stanley. That is exactly the same yeah. color, isn't it? Some of you might own that necklace. We showed Stanley that necklace and that was his, that was the conversation that followed. The next price crash jewelry makers for some of the finest glassy texture, amazing translucency, and it's totally natural. I can't believe I said the word next. Next. There's six of these left within the vault. Okay. It's a beautiful colour, absolutely stunning colour. And it ma it complements everybody, it doesn't really it? It really does, yeah. It's an amazing colour. We're going lower, and not just in a little way, jewellery makers. In a big way, says Ross in my ear. Again, I've got to keep, I know I keep repeating myself, but generally the quality of this jade, doesn't matter about whether it's Burmese, whether it's whether it's Khotan, whatever, the location, mm. country of origin should never actually determine your purchase of, to buy any gem. It should be about the beauty of the gemstone itself. And that's what, what Stanley's talking about. Jade is jade. There are 15 of you with it in your basket. Watch this disappear, because we're not just stopping at 199. It's absolutely unbelievable. The future is Guatemala, and I can't disagree with that. Look at the, but it's more limited. It's, you've got to remember Burmese jade had 800 years history. Kotan jade had 10,000 years, pretty much. It's much, much, much more exclusive. The final five, Swansea's got two, well done. I've got five of these left, so Karen and John, Jean, Cumbria, Yorkshire, Patricia and Marie. You can all do it, but you need to check out four. You know, if you were wearing that, it's the sort of, uh, it's a conversation starter, isn't it? Yeah. It's such an amazing colour that people will say to you, oh, that's a lovely colour. What is it? It is. Do you know, I was just thinking, you yeah. could do your necklace. Absolutely. Wouldn't that look lovely? Yeah with yeah. the actual um old neck jade gosh that would look incredible wouldn't it it's sold out well done if you are just tuning in we're going to give you a second chance to buy a really the type a okay and also on the back of yvonne's amazing projects too if you want to get hold of the Burmese type A yellow jade. And what we're going to remember, whatever, it's just origin, country of origin. 
I will match the amazing closeout deal that we did earlier on. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the last strand we've got full stop of type A grade. It's incredible, isn't it? Look at that, so worthy. Moving forward, we might get the type C, we might get the type C. Yeah. Uh, B, B or C. This isn't either of those. It's stunning, the colour. It is incredible. Type A is that I love those neutral quality. tones, don't you? Yeah. Now, on the launch, incredibly, we brought you this strand at that price. Today, we took it to an amazing closeout deal. 140 carats of your six mil type A Burmese jade, not treated in any way, shape or form. We can bring you different varieties of your yellow jades. We can bring you quartzite jade for sure. But if you want one of the original, if you want the history, if you want, if, mm. you, if you're thinking, okay, I want that 800 year history. Well, this is the only opportunity I can bring you then. There's no enhancement. So worth you getting your certificate of authenticity, jewelry makers, because you can pay absolute fortunes to get a laboratory cert. We've done that for you. So definitely, definitely worth get, getting hold of that piece of paper. A hundred, it's a pound a carat, it's a pound a carat, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> go, to, go to someone like Mason and Kay, and again, we're great friends with Mason and Kay. They're a fantastic uh, um, jewelers that specialize in jade. And you have a little look, firstly, how many yellow jade eye opportunities they have on their, uh, um, in their vault. Very few. Mm -hmm. If you do see, it'll be one or two beads. Not a full strand like this, I shouldn't imagine anyway. And if you did, it would be very, very, very expensive. The prices that we bring you, type A Burmese jade, well, all varieties of jade for, are absolutely astonishing. And that is the only strand that we have left. Moving forward, again, we'll endeavor, never say never in the world of gemstones. Um, we'll endeavor to bring you more. However, it is most, li most likely going to be your... Um, um, heat treated or dyed varieties well done everybody now That's lovely coming up after the break it's all about your lovely little buzzy bees um, i'm loving this pendant it's absolutely beautiful you've got this it's gorgeous incredible. drop of yeah, amber it's lovely. um i know yvonne's got her eye on this I as have. well I love oh, look it. at the bee on the top I on the know, it's amazing that's coming your way. I've also got connectors and we've also got some really gorgeous little honeycomb studs um, and the last opportunities of your Alhambra inspired amber necklace. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time. On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. I'm super excited for our show on the 21st of May. I've got some amazing kits and I'm really excited to share some fun demos with you. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got some beautiful strawberry quartz that come with um, silver spacers and also some of this, look at this gorgeous frosted quartz 
comes with gold spaces. Those are both at 9 a.m. And then for the masterclass at 12, I'm so excited. Beautiful gallery wire and amazing Labradorite cabs. I can't wait to show you some fun demos and I'll see you then. Bye. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Welcome back everybody. Now, World Bee Day, celebrating these wonderful little creatures that do so much. But also, a gemstone. Do you remember when we used to have Amber Days? Definitely. Do you remember when we used to have Amber Weekends? Yeah. Used to leave it clear because I love Amber. And, and me. Uh, used to bring some beautiful little animals and all sorts of things in Amber. Have you noticed we haven't had any of those no, recently? No, I've definitely noticed, yes. We haven't had lovely Marius on our screens. No. Our sister channel don't have as many showcases anymore. Oh, don't they? Um, and again, I know it's still being mined, but I think it's becoming more and more challenging. However, today, your deal of the day is all about your bees and the perfect gem to go alongside it, don't it you is. think? It definitely Because you think is. amber, you think honey. Yeah. And the fact, the consistency that this gemstone, all those millions of years ago, once was, like the consistency of honey. So amber, I mean, take a little look at each of your opportunities that's coming up as your deal of the day. We've got the most beautiful pendant, almost like a droplet of honey. And then set above and obviously on the surface you've got your little bee details so the bale is a bumblebee it or is. a bee itself then we've also got these beautiful connectors uh just down here hang on i'll reach it i'll reach for them so you can see both in the gold and also in the silver look how lovely they are And the, then the gold would have gone lovely with the um, every the everything today. Yeah. Everything today yeah. goes beautifully. Look at Do you this. know it's interesting because the the guys in the gallery have just said it complements amber. Do you, do you remember we never had it in gold? No, we didn't. And I and I I'm just going to put this one out there. I massively championed gold. You did. I remember you doing that. Because, because, <laughs> Adam say well done. No, because it does make sense, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And he was saying, it's, I get it. So gold wasn't as popular then as it is now. 
Um, but look how beautiful. I mean, these are studio samples, <laughs> Adam. I don't know. But it works though, doesn't it? It really does work together. Um, look at these here. <laughs> they're doing... You're taking the mickey. You Right, stop it, you two. But it's true. It really works, doesn't it? It Maybe works right incredibly to... well. Yeah. So you can get all of these. There you are. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful. They kind of be, but they don't have to be because it's a geometric <laughs> shape, says Adam. <laughs> and if you prefer the silver, we've got them in the silver as well. Now, also, at the top of this collection, we have the very last, in fact, let's bring them over here, shall we? Of your Van Cleef inspired collection that includes a gemstone they don't use, should, and that is your beautiful amber. So this is exclusive to it's us here at Jewelry Maker. Is it really? Yeah. It is incredible. It's amazing. I love the way they, the drop is two different sizes and two different yeah. lengths, lovely. That's the magic Alhambra that oh, uses it? different sizes. Oh, is yeah. It really? So again, that's a nod okay. towards the uh, Van Cleef and Arpels. Oh, okay. So what is this amazing gemstone that is amber? Firstly, it's what. Okay, sorry. Ross is just saying before you before you get into that L. Yeah. Everything is on. <coughs> <laughs> I made myself cough. Everything is on pre-order. So shop ahead if you're desperate to get hold of the studs, if you're desperate to get hold of the uh, connectors, or that beautiful pendant that I know Yvonne's definitely got yeah, her eye definitely. on. Yeah, um, definitely. Shop ahead. We're gonna uh, head. We're gonna start with this, yeah, with the pendant. Um, everything is on pre-order, and I can tell you we've got triple figure quantities of most, but not all. Not all. The connectors are more limited, jewelry makers, um, as is the Alhambra inspired. Every time Yvonne's right, yeah, she asked me this earlier on, didn't you, Yvonne? Yes, what, I did. Amber, whenever we get it, it's it's super popular. Yeah, it's in and it's gone. Especially if it's amber and bees. That connection. Perfect combination, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely perfect. So what is this amazing gem? Firstly, it's regarded as an organic gemstone. In the same way that we refer to pearls as an organic gemstone or something like your amylite is an organic gemstone. It does, it's not, um, it doesn't have a crystal structure. So in the same way, say, that diamonds would have or amazonite would have, for example. Um, but it's, it's formed from a living organism. In this case, trees, effectively. Yes, it's actually... not, it's, most of them come from rock, don't yes. they? This, this one's actually this... from trees itself. Yeah. So the GIA uh, say amber is nature's time capsule. This fossilized tree resin contains remnants of life on Earth millions of years ago. And look at that. Oh, which you How fascinating. Do you know, amber is one of the few gemstones that will get better with age. Yeah. And you can actually have a fragrance, but you can actually smell it. Oh, it's pine, isn't it? Yes. Now, before we go any further, the pendant that I showed you, and we, which we started, we're going to start your um, deal of the day with, we've got 150 available, but 22 have already gone on pre-order. So this is proving extremely, extremely popular. I'm not surprised. At least, yeah, a big percentage yeah. of each piece is already gone. That's the thing with amber, it's on and it's gone. I'm not surprised. So when we see this next photograph, imagine that suspended from your necklace, those beautiful, amazing patterns and textures that is life capsulated within this beautiful gem. And it could be flora, it could be fauna, anything that was literally present when this um, ancient variety of conifer tree produced this tree sap. So they produce sap to protect themselves, obviously, um, almost like secrete the sticky residence and over the years it has defied mother nature I'll go on to that in a little bit a little bit later on history amber is millions of years old and glowing with golden warmth treasured for its clear beauty and inviting color amber ranges from pale yellow to deep orange and occasionally even green red or blue 
Most often clear, amber contains, um, sorry, can have smoky swirls within it. Some ambers also contain insects or bits of flora. Uh, amber with these inclusions is highly desirable. Amber is an organic gemstone made from tree resin, then preserved for millions of years and turned to a stone. So just on that, I'm just going to stop there as well, because we are organic. Mm -hmm. When we move on, we will return to the earth. Yes. There isn't many things that exist on this planet that don't naturally decay. This gemstone has defied that process over millions of years. I find that absolutely amazing. Mm. You think everything that Amber has seen, and as a natural material, an organic material, hasn't actually returned to the earth. No, it hasn't decayed. No, has so it? So it's gone through ice ages. Yes. Movements of tectonic plates. A liquid, effectively, as it once was, yeah. has gone through a process called polymerization mm. and defied Mother Nature. Anyway, most of world's amber is mined in the region on the coasts of the Baltic and North Sea. When mined, uh, when mined in those regions, amber is sometimes called Baltic gold. Amber is also mined in the Dominican Republic as well. Contemporary folklore ascribes to amber for its ability to provide wisdom. It's associated with the uh, sacral chakra, uh, that is, the root of all sensual pleasure. Amber, amber objects that date to 3700 BC have been found in Estonia. In the Middle Ages in Europe, it was in high demand as rosary stones. Once upon a time, amber was called the nectar of the setting sun. Perhaps you are drawn to amber by its history. Perhaps its rich colour call you. Maybe folklore, uh, folkloric, sorry, claims appeal. Maybe you simply love the rich colours of the stone. No matter what draws you, your amber is here and it's waiting for you i That's love beautiful. that absolutely love those words um obviously with a gem as as old as this one um it comes with a lot of history be and beliefs attached to it surprisingly enough amber, amber comes in a variety of luxurious colors the most common color is uh is the same as its name implies a brownish honey honey color but there are in fact this is fascinating 256 identified shades of amber we could we narrow it down to seven just to freeze awesome. but yeah there's actually 256 different wow. colors of amber um, if you find blue amber, it is most likely Dominican, but Baltic amber um, has been treated to have that same deep blue effect. Naturally, as we know, um, this form of resin, we expect the colours to range from yellow, orange, burnt red to copper colours, and even sometimes cream or white. Some amber may be green or even violet, depending on the plant uh, material that was originally preserved in the piece. So those internal inclusions, not only do they make the beauty of the amber, but they also can affect the colour as well. Amber has usually uh, has been used in jewelry since at least 11,000 BCE. It was polished and carved to make jewelry according to ancient archaeological sites in England. Instead of wearing the precious gem, women um, in Rome rubbed it in their hands, um, such as someone might use a worry stone today. They believed that the continual contact with amber would promote a youthful appearance in their looks. Um, because of its healing properties, people in Lithuania still offer bead, beaded amber necklaces to newborn babies. Um, amber amulets were worn to enhance fertility in Rome. Uh, bands of amber rings were used as wedding, in wedding ceremonies to ensure an eternal bond and represent renewed fidelity in marriage today. Gorgeous story. It is proven that Baltic amber contains 3 to 8% of how do you say that? Succinic, is it? Succinic acid, which is widely used in contemporary medicine. Succinic acid improves immunity, thereby strengthening the body. During the Middle Ages, when uh, the plague swept across towns, killing their inhabitants, amber was used uh, as a fumigant to prevent the spread of the disease. It has been noted that men fumigating with the substance never perished from the disease. Aromatherapy uh, has become a popular use for amber as well. How amazing you know, is that? I didn't know half this stuff. It's so today. cool. <laughs> so, so cool. Scientists. There's more. We could talk about amber all day. Yeah. Scientists have been studying amber for centuries to learn more about extinct species. More than 1,000 extinct, extinct insect species have been discovered to date because of amber. 
How Pardon. cool is that? Amber has been found in ancient Egyptian tombs dating back to 3200 BCE and thought to have been brought over from the Baltic coast. There is much history that we can learn from Amber. So, and I've said this so many times before, Amber is not just significant gemologically. Mm -hmm. It is significant historically. It is significant paleontologically. It is significant biologically it is yeah so no wonder multiple scientists are actually embracing you know in interested it, yeah. in this stone apart from the metaphysical properties and healing potential amber is a unique gemstone with many physical characteristics it's an organic material composed of hardened resin produced by ancient trees millions of years ago do you know on that i remember a customer once saying to me it's it's just tree sap it's not I mean, this is millions of years ago that this gemstone was formed and the trees that produced it don't exist anymore. This is incredibly rare, not just a tree sap. That's a bit like saying diamonds are just calm. Is that true? <laughs> exactly. Um, inside the stone are, some uh, are sometimes found organic inclusions such as insects, plants, or pieces of other materials that were trapped while <laughs> still in resin. If you are lucky enough to see, and we've offered them to you before, you know, little insects that have been perfectly preserved. That's an incredibly valuable piece of jewellery. I love to see it in, uh, preserved in, in amber. The popularity of this gemstone, it goes without saying, hugely skyrocketed. Even though it's been around for literally, it's been embraced for hundreds of years. But introducing Jurassic Park, of course, with that yeah. famous amber piece and how the story actually manifested, the price of amber skyrocketed. But let's talk about bees a little bit more, shall we? Here is an amber pendant. It's not as nice as yours, I don't think. It's nice. I know which I'd choose. 179 pounds, and that's only prefer small. That one. Prefer so I prefer this one as well. Yeah. It's only small. <coughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 179 pounds. Matching earrings? 189 pounds. Bees and amber is is often a combination which just seems to work. And mm. and so many jewelers. How about your connector? Look at this one. Little honeycomb pendant. We could, we could take pounds. one of the loops off and you could uh, do that. Yeah. Everything is on pre-order, jewelry makers. We are going to start with this absolutely beautiful pendant. So you've got that bee, uh, which is actually the bale as well. The bee is the bale. Love that. So it's, if I turn it sideways for you, you can it's actually see. It's like a see. hidden bale, isn't it's it? It's a hidden bale. Can you see that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then you've got the bee nestled into the amber. Out of the 150 that we had, 50 have gone. I'm not surprised, surprised. at all, jewelry makers. The popularity of, of, of amber and the popularity of bees. Um, beautiful, it's a big pendant and I love that sort of organic-like shape. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna hold it up to the neckline if I can, Dan. It's like a huge droplet of honey, isn't it? Oh, and you've got all, oh, and you've got all of those beautiful inclusions as well inside, which is what you want when it comes to amber. The more inclusions, the more valuable your amber is effectively. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That's incredible. Oh, I, I want to buy some of these. Love it. How and giftable. And they're already made pieces of jewellery. Yep. You don't have to be a jewellery maker nope. to buy these. You can give. You can buy them, keep them, gift them. You can do what? You could turn these into earrings if you wanted to. You could to. change them if you were a jewellery maker, yes. I want to buy some of these, Ross. I mean, these would literally... Some, some would go into my present drawer, I think. How gorgeous are they? What about this? Because I know you've got the ability. Already a third of the stock has gone of these. I'm not surprised at all. What do we think oh, to that? Oh, they're incredible. Oh, I'm holding it back to front. With these, obviously in the silver. Imagine those in earrings. Superb. Gosh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They are. I love it. I do expect this to be an entire sellout, jewelry makers. Just beautiful. It's a large pendant. Again, all you need to do is just feed it directly onto the silver chain. Now, the 50 that went on pre-order um, were pre-ordering at this price, which we showed you on earlier on, didn't we? 
that's nice. I like it. It's nice. I wouldn't turn my nose up to it. Don't get me wrong, but I prefer this one. I prefer the colour of the amber as well. Yes. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a richer colour. Yeah. And remember I said earlier on this morning, amber will get physically better with age. Um, it's like a fine wine. Matures. It matures and intensifies. We're at one two nine, but that is not where you are. Clo we are closing. It's a it's a big piece of amber. This twenty seven millimeters. Would that be presents as well? Everything that we have brought you today. Imagine that suspended from the Amazonite that you saw a few moments ago. Imagine that suspended from Yvonne's beautiful court, uh, quartzite jade. Imagine that suspended from the the Olmec jade that you saw a few moments ago. 129 is already an absolutely amazing deal. Your next price crash. Oh, he's kept. Is that why you kept the prices from me? Because you were going to do literally under 50 pounds. Oh, did you not know this? No, 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 no. Oh. Sometimes Ross is, keeps, keeps oh. me on my toes. But because I, if you'd have asked me, that's a hundred pound piece of jewelry, and that's jewelry maker price. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness me! That's less than half that I was expecting, and there's still a purple clock ticking away. We had 150 jewelry makers, but I can tell you, over a third of the stock has already been allocated. Absolutely beautiful. I want to buy some of these. Oh, look. I mean, the price of the chain, take the price of the chain off. Yeah. Yeah, literally. I mean, how much would that be in an amber boutique? How much would it be? £100? Well, here we go. 100, 179. Yours is actually a bigger piece of amber. A bigger piece. In my opinion, a nice piece. I agree. <laughs> I agree. And it's genuine. Oh, look at Please that. be mindful as well. Amber, you can. Amber is often an imitated gemstone because they can use like resins, basically a fake resin um, or create man-made resin. They put gold leaf in there to replicate the flora and the fauna mm -hmm. inclusions within the gemstone. So it is actually an imitated gem. You are sourcing from jewelry makers. This is all laboratory certified. It comes direct from Marius. You've met Marius who is actually um, the mine owner. He's wonderful. And I'd love to see him back on your screen. He basically, he designs each and every single one of these pieces for you. And they tend to be jewelry makers exclusive to us. $34.99, the phone lines have gone crazy. I'm getting some of these and they're going in the Christmas drawer. Yeah, you know, you tend to see uh, amber with ammonites and amylites down on the coast, don't you? Yeah, you, you? do. Yeah. And you would no way see one of those pendants for $34.99. No, they're three figures, aren't they? All day long. No way. Where, where I grew up, and I can't think of an amber jewel boutique near me now, but where I grew up there was one, and they were so expensive. Mm -hmm. They had one display, glass display cabinet, but and, and I'm going back, what, 20 odd years? So expensive really, to really source. Really, really expensive. Not 34 pounds and 99 pence. You know, as it stands, one of their best sellers, five star reviews, £179. There are loads of you getting involved and loads of you wanting to multi buy. £34.99. I know, Margot, you are definitely be bonkers at that <laughs> price. I love it. Thank you. And we're still not Absolutely done, Margot. Absolutely right. Do you know that would look lovely on the Amazonite? Because yeah. you used to find that turquoise and amber oh, were sold together. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kicking myself for not bringing my phone in, you know. Because that would be... I'm, I'm kicking myself. Are these going to sell out, Roscoe? Yeah, he says. Oh, no, not going to get one. Uh, again, I'd probably... At this price, I'm happy, and I'd probably multi-buy. And there's two wonderful gifts. Who, because because we know amber as well, even without mm. any you know significant gem knowledge, people recognise amber, don't they? Yeah, and the quality of jewellery makers amber is like second to none. Yeah, truly. I can't believe we're going any lower. On World B Day, with this beautiful gemstone, a gem which has gone through a process called polymerisation. 
basically means it has defied mother nature it did not naturally decay like the tree itself would have done mm -hmm. this beautiful time capsule of ancient tree resin capturing life that existed at that time oh my goodness me i can't believe that seriously seriously can't believe that 179 pounds we're 150 pounds lower and i'll say it again this one's nicer do you agree yeah definitely i think it's bigger too i think it is more amber i think more amber better color and more better silver work just pretty i was yeah I mean, do you know, do you know, with, this might sound a bit frugal, but you could literally buy this and sell it on straight away, you couldn't could. you, without doing yeah, you anything? Could. Yeah, Triple the price, yeah. quadruple yeah, the you price. You wouldn't have any trouble making a profit on it at all. No, not that I think people will sell it. I think no. this is going to be one of those that lands on your doorsteps and I'll, I'll have good intentions of gifting it. I'll have very good intentions, but I know what will really happen. It'll probably just end up in my jewellery box. Um, and by the way, and the girls, like Willow loves Amber. Does she? It is one of those yeah. amazing gemstones. Fascinating, isn't yeah. it? And it's a show and tell for school, yeah. isn't it? Funny you should say that. When Willow, um, when she was in infant school, they do Dinosaur yes. Day. And I and I took in a similar show and tell, a piece of rough Amber that I got from Jewellery Maker and did the a, a little chat with the children yeah. about what nice. Amber's about. And it is, you can see their little imaginations. like yeah. And how interested they are because it's a fascinating stone if i was going to go and sit to i don't know a group of seven-year-olds about the crystal structures in a diamond and ruby I, they'd be lost they, they would, however yeah. amber's got that cool story um we have how many what are you doing russ can someone pass me my phone no, no. <laughs> that was a that was a bit sharp. I know. <laughs> he doesn't beat round the bush, does Adam? No. <laughs> Adam, but I want to buy what some of these. Um, we're going even lower. Every single one of you that's already confirmed, just put that on the chain. How beautiful is that? Oh, it's it? just incredible. Job done. I tell you what, I wouldn't. Um... I would be delighted if somebody handed me that as a gift. Oh my you? goodness, yeah. I mean, already, can I just say, you go into a florist, you're going to struggle to buy a decent yeah. bunch of flowers for £30. Look at the size of that beautiful droplet shape. I love that shape of amber as well, because it kind of, it conjures up the images of where how it formed. Oh, mm -hmm. the phone's ringing in the gallery, that's ominous. You know, it conjures up the images, thanks lovely, um, of how this gemstone formed, because it once was a liquid. It was a, a tree sap, effectively, that was produced by a gemstone that is now, that is now deplete, not deplete, extinct. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Shopping with you jewellery makers, because I can't, I can't. 24 oh, pounds of 99 pence. <clears throat> That's crazy. So I've got to wait for everything to kick in on oh, my phone you'd be lucky Elle <laughs> from 150 yeah the call screens have gone crazy I'm not surprised it's absolutely beautiful with the pearls that we've got coming up as well amber and pearls I love that combination yeah. that amber on its own absolutely with no accents with no pendant bale or anything like that the amount of work that's gone into the silver alone making the bale putting the bee on the front I mean, you couldn't sell you couldn't sell the bale and make you couldn't make it and sell it for twenty four ninety nine. No, exactly. I totally agree. Because the apps, the labour cost involved in doing that. Pay, se pay securely. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> pay I'm actually... securely. <laughs> I'm, I'm shopping with are you right you, now. Are you human? <laughs> um, yeah. What's what's what they normally say? Um, click the boxes with a motorbike. Yeah. Oh, no, Are what... you a robot? And I never know the answer. They're like, okay, how much of that motorbike though quantifies yes. that box? Absolutely. Is it just the tire? Do I still <laughs> click that box? And if you get it wrong, they put another one on, don't they? <laughs> yeah. What and um, um, what's it called? Uh, click the water fountains. Yeah. Righto. Um, there we go. Have I done it? Have I done it? I've done it. Yes. Got... Oh, 
Do you get yourself? Will you come up on there? I should do. I should do. Amazing. Oh, they're just absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Again, that's just a huge piece of amber with that beautiful rich cognac colour. All the inter... Just the little detail. Well done. You, you know, the, the bee on the front as well. Yeah. All that silver. I wonder how they've attached that. Probably on a peg, I should have uh, Yeah, I would have thought little so. Pe little peg on the, on the front. Yeah, I've got mine. I got two. Amazing. Oh, you got two, did you? I got Are you two. on there? Yeah, just by David in Cardiff and Shona in Aberdeenshire. Um, I am on there, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, again, present draw probably. Beautiful. We had 150. Can you believe the price is £24.99 pence only? Do you want to see how many we've got of that 150 left? Yes, please. Yvonne, if you miss out, you 33. can have the other one. <laughs> 33. I did buy two, yeah. I wasn't thinking a pair of earrings. I was actually thinking gifts. But I could make a pair of earrings. Couldn't I? Something like a... Uh... How about these? Make a pair of earrings and sell them for £190. Yeah, we could do that, Yvonne, couldn't we? Yes, it's no problem. You just basically use use the bale, attach it to yeah. your, in this case, lever backs. Yeah, absolutely, no no problem. Unbelievable. Easy. Well done, everybody. I'm going to be getting the stud earrings as well, just so you know. Oh, they were on pre-order, weren't they? They were on. Should we do the studs next? Going to start with the gold, and then we're going to move on to um, to the silver, the studs. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Eleanor in Worcestershire. That's me. That's me. Shopping with you on this one. Still got my phone in my hand. Look, um, the yellow gold stud earrings. So if you're loving these, they are the most limited. Are oh, they gorgeous? I've only got fifty of these though, so you will need to be really quick. Ooh, Check that's it out. Not your many, basket. Is it? Are you getting them? Yeah. 100%. I'm still on the B pendant though, so my phone needs to update, basically. Gold is just you though, isn't it? I yellow love gold. these. You're yellow gold girl, aren't you? So beautiful. Make sure you're checking out nice and early jewelry makers. These are the most limited of the collection. Ah, oh, celebrating will be. It just works, you know, again, you might automatically think of bees. You might also um, be thinking, right, okay, well, it's just, it's just a nice shape. It's a lovely little yeah. shape. Doesn't it look liquid-like in, in the centre there? Beautiful. <clears throat> Literally like golden nectar. Yeah, it doesn't have to be bee-related, does it? No. And it kind of retains the beautiful light as well. Um, again, combine order. Click to combine. There we go. Um, we've got them in the silver if you are a silver wearer. If that's your preference, maybe you've got multiple piercings so you could wear a yellow, gold and a silver as well and create almost like a honeycomb up the mm. ear. So pretty, aren't they? What a good idea. Now, the most limited. Are you ready? First price crash. Oh! <gasps> 19.99 a frenzy on the phone lines and on the web first price crash jewelry makers the first price crash we only have 15 of these sorry 50 beg your pardon five zero oh my goodness they're absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> like liquid honey in a beautiful prehistoric gemstone that forms over millions of years. Time capsules. But again, a gemstone that has identified a thousand different species. How cool is that? Mm. And the amber is warm and the gold makes it even warmer, yeah. doesn't it? Stunning. Um, I got two because I know if I don't get two, Willow will be devastated. If she sees me wearing these and I haven't bought her a pair of amber earrings, she'd be absolutely devastated. Does she have pierced it? She does. Pierced, pierced, yeah. And I know that she'd be loving these. Oh. Good and luck, everyone. They are not over the top for little girls, either, no, are they? No, simple stud earrings, aren't yeah. they? How on earth yeah. are we at 14 99 
for amber, genuine amber, not a resin, not an imitation amber. It's genuine Baltic amber in those beautiful. I still, I always still think the cognac's the most my favourite. It is my favourite too, definitely, without doubt. I like the other shades, but I, I, I love cognac. I quite like the honey one, yeah. but it would have to be mixed in with the yeah. cognac. Agreed. Stunning. We had 50. They're absolutely flying. Hello, Kathleen in Carmarthenshire, Tessa in Kent, Joyce in Lincolnshire, Buckinghamshire, Vera, Cheshire, Ivy in West Midlands, Susan, Renfusha, Anjum, uh, Dawn, London, Linda, Fiona, Tatiana. Loads of you getting involved. We only had 50. If you would prefer the, the silver, we've got a bigger quantity of the silver. Sorry? Oh, we have. Oh, loads. We have got a bigger yeah. quantity of the silver. Um, <clears throat> they will go crazy because I do get it. It silver is still the most popular. Um, these are pretty close to selling out, surely. Okay, so we found some amber stud earrings. I mean, they're nice. I like those. That's not a bad price. Well, they're is nice. It? This isn't a bad price. Forty-five pounds. No. Fair play. Do you know if you were if you were walking around the shops on the high street, you wouldn't. Um... You wouldn't put your nose up at that, Nobody would, you? would look at that and go, oh my goodness me, that's ridiculous. No, price. you wouldn't. But it's amber. Yeah. A gem that's millions of years old. Let's bring you the silver earrings next. But before I do, I want to show you another item that is extremely limited. We have the final few opportunities. Exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker. The Cognac Amber Baltic Amber Alhambra in magic Alhambra inspired necklace. We only have a few of these available, so again, it is Last Chance Saloon. Um, but if you love magic, Al if magic Alhambra, which is where they actually use, as, as Yvonne pointed out, they use some kind of asymmetry mm. uh, and also difference in sizes. That's the magic Alhambra. So um, the Princess of Wales wears a magic she Alhambra. Does, yes. um, not in amber, though, she wears it in Mother of Pearl. So this is exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker. I've got the final few opportunities of those. Amazing. Um, good luck Thanks. to each and every Beautiful. single one. I would shop ahead on those if you want to guarantee your success. Okay, are you ready for this? We've got a triple figure quantity. These are studio samples, Jewelry Makers, so don't worry. Um, little, sorry. Little butterflies. The big butterflies these are. Oh, are they? Really, yeah, really, really, really big backs. Oh, okay. So that's, they're nice that's and secure. Best. Yeah, because they can tend to dig in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, if they're tiny too small. Ones, yeah. Look at those. Nice. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Look at how the light literally plays. It's such an attractive shape, isn't it? It's so wearable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very occasion? wearable, yes. Good luck, everybody. The graphics are live. We have a bigger quantity. We are well aware, while some of us prefer the yellow gold, a lot of us also uh, favour the silver too. Um, I'd wear both, to be honest, because you've got the warmth in the, in, in the amber as well. Yes. So if you missed out on the yellow gold, this is an alternative. Graphics are live, so you can see, as Yvonne mentioned, you know, here we go. Look, look, look at the size of those butterfly backs. So there's a big amount oh, of sterling are, silver. They are big, yes. Yeah. Butterfly backs on their own can cost a you know quite a high price tag, can't they? All that investment of the sterling silver, obviously you do get the pairs, just I've got one of them in my ear. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are at 19 pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers. Already the phone lines, the web have gone crazy. Again, this is something for the present drawer, I'm thinking. Beautiful. Are you ready? For the connection of the shape with your beautiful um, amber. I mean, it is. Think back to that. I think back to that bracelet that caught my attention. It was probably about a year or two ago, actually. I walked past um, Pandora. I don't know if it was genuine amber. I didn't get that far as asking, to be honest. I heard the £500 <laughs> price tag and skedaddled. Um, but yeah, you know, when you walk past and you think, oh my goodness me, that's such a Just beautiful piece of jewellery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I went in and they must have been doing like a bee collection. Um, and I didn't know this wasn't 
the design, the arrangement of that bracelet, so uh, uh, obviously one of the assistants had actually put together, but it, it was stunning. And it was basically just a simple bracelet with honey, bees, yeah, charms, nice. these kind of shapes. It's 500 pounds. 500 pounds which and is we've, quite we've a had lot of loads of me. things today that we could make one of those with haven't yeah we? definitely <clears throat> now we are at 14 pounds and 99 pence just a gorgeous pair yeah. of classic stud earrings we're not stopping there jewelry makers genuinely i do not know anywhere else on this planet that will bring you genuine certified baltic amber and silver at these prices if you even went to poland i think the price goes up the price goes up absolutely <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a larimar it's more expensive yeah if you go there in solid sterling silver 50 pounds for those stud earrings and oh, they're nice too 50 pounds we're at 14.99 and going even lower i actually prefer the shape though of ours i like our shape Hexagon's a good shape, isn't it? It's a good shape. You know, as a child, when you're learning shapes, I reckon mm. a hexagon would be a favourite of mine. Yeah, when the little the baby, well, little babies, really, when yeah. they are learning shapes, yeah. and they push in shapes and yeah. with their little fat hands. They go, yeah. <laughs> little sausage fingers. <laughs> so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> you just see them push, it's a good trying shape. to get a hexagon in. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a very aesthetic, it's a very aesthetic shape. Twelve... Oh my goodness me. Ross, if that was just solid sterling silver at 12.99, um, let alone a gemstone, which is literally multiple millions of years, hundreds of millions of years old. You know, they actually don't know. They, know, um, they don't know how old it can be. Obviously there's various different degrees, but they couldn't put a, uh, they can't put a bench on its age. Not an exact, not an exact time, one. Okay. So it could be, we could be talking a hundred million years. We could be talking two hundred million so years. So it's be three hundred million years. Quite, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, multiple different species have actually been cap uh, have been um, identified within this amazing gemstone. Um, but not just in terms of the actual identification, but also in terms of mm -hmm. the timeline of those species too. It's so significant this gem, and it's. You know, yeah, dinosaur tail, frogs have been found, flora, mosquitoes, The, the recent of course. one was a feathered one, I think, A feather, wasn't yeah. It? yeah. A feather, because didn't they actually and say... And it was tiny, tiny. Many, didn't I read recently, and don't take this as gospel, because I am not an expert at all on this, but <laughs> Adam's like, here we go. <laughs> um, but they don't they suggest that dinosaurs might not have actually been scaly, but might have had feathers? Yeah. And it, they discovered yeah. that in amber. Yeah. There you go. So amber's what? No, you were. You are feathers. right. You are right. There you go. You are beautiful dinosaur tail found preserved yeah. in amber. And that's very very recently. Amazing. So all this time, really, the T Rex is fluffy. Cute even. <laughs> He's not so scary at all. <laughs> all these are like yeah yeah. Think of it. Think of your dinosaurs. Mm. Oh, fluffy tri triceratops. Yeah, nice. Amazing. <laughs> and then we, we discovered this because of this amazing gemstone. £12.99. You know, no matter what age, I, I think everybody gets excited by amber. It is one Absolutely. of those gemstones that sparks excitement and conversation mm -hmm. as well. And it's one of those gems that I think you notice from miles away. Um, I was stood in a queue once of a, um, a supermarket. And you know, it's just funny how little things happen in your life and you remember them um in a queue and this lady was stood in front of me i don't know this lady from adam um but i just clocked that she was wearing an amber ring and i remember just looking at this amber ring mm. i don't know this lady and i probably wouldn't have made that recognition if it was no. a diamond i wouldn't have no. made that recognition if it was any other gemstone but with amber i did yeah it's because it's outstanding yeah I just clocked it and it, for some reason it's kind of stayed in my memory. Beautiful. We had 150 jewelry makers, loads of you getting involved. Well done to you all. Um, now, again, remember, we have the last remaining opportunities of your Inspired by Magic Alhambra, but commissioned instead of in something like your Mother of Pearl or your Onyx, commissioned 
to my knowledge for the only time in beautiful Baltic amber. It's an amazing piece of jewelry that's complete. It even comes, if I just turn it round, with a piece of amber yeah. at the back, the extender chain, so you can wear it at different lengths. It's a complete piece of jewelry. You can reconfigure it if you want. I mean, look at the grand weight of the chain oh, itself. Oh, I wouldn't touch it at all. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I'd keep it as is. Um, and even down to the different colors. We spoke about the 256 different colors of amber. You've got the different colors within this amazing piece. But I will tell you, there's less than 50 of those available. Sophisticated, isn't it? So it? sophisticated. Um, okay, now coming up in the 11 o'clock hour as well, I need to show you these pearls because they're coming up in the next hour. Can you imagine? Let's see if I can hold it with my tweezers. Now I've got 80 available and they have proven to be extremely popular. I'm not surprised. Imagine that. Oh, look at that. Obviously, look at how beautiful it is. You position it so that. And it's just knotting, isn't it? Yeah. You or wouldn't even, don't even have to knot beading it. Beading even. Yeah. You could put tiny ambers between the yeah. pearls, couldn't you? There's nothing saying you can't remove one of those jump rings. And if I just flip the direction. Definitely not. If I, if I was to remove that jump ring just there, why not wear it as a pendant? We saw one similar, didn't we? We did, on, yeah. Earlier on. You could do that. Again, gold plated, 925 sterling silver. This is proving extremely popular on pre-order. I can absolutely understand why. I've got 80 available though, jewelry makers. Look at the detailing of you. Sorry, how many? Only 50. 80 of the pearls, I beg your pardon. Look at those beautiful bumblebees at work. Little honeybees. But look how the play of light again. It's a gemstone that almost can retain uh, beautiful light. Is it, they didn't have to put two bees on there. They could have got no. away with one. No, and I love the fact that you've got these honeycombs that are just waiting to be yeah. filled with nectar. Amazing, in celebration of World Bee Day, you have your beehive connector that could be a pendant, it could go on a slider brace, it could be a pair of earrings, it could be whichever you wish. A connector does so much more than connect, if that makes sense. It does. Beautiful. It can do, it can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay, this is limited limited in its availability and i do think it's probably going to be one of the most popular because of the potential i mean again if i flip this round and i attach remove one of the jump rings whichever it might be if i cover that one over say um now imagine those as a pair, a pair of earrings a pair of earrings would be fabulous yeah because they're not over they're not over the top they wouldn't be massive no. on your on your ears would they wouldn't be too heavy Ah, great shout, Adam. <laughs> Adam just said, how about using one of your little studs through the connector so they're interchangeable? I, it will, I, I think it will, Ads. Let's give it a try. Oh, my words. What a great call. If not, just pop it on a shepherd hook. But I think you're onto something here, Adam. Not only is he the most amazing uh, director, he also can make jewellery. Um, That's you... really clever. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that. Okay, we the had 50. As well with with the movement. Genius, Adam. <laughs> loving that. Okay. We had 50 available. £39.99. pence. But it is not your price, says Ross. Minute clock. Shall we do something ridiculous on the detail? It's not easy either, I have to point out. The reason why amber is most frequently actually in a cabochon because it's not an easy gemstone to cut. Um, if you imagine how gemstones are cut, it's on a cutting wheel. So where you get oh, like, yeah. and they can burn. It can actually burn. So amber, that's why amber is very, really fast. It does get hot when you've got, very the hot. got them on the machinery, yeah. And if you burn it, then, yeah, obviously you're going to damage the amber. So that's why you really actually see it in its faceted form. Not saying never, but rare. Um, so to actually achieve that cut alone, we're going even lower. And you did just say a price in my ear, didn't you, Ross? 
How about under £20, jewelry makers? There's a big amount of sterling silver, both front and reverse, which I'll flip it round in a second. In 13 seconds, we're taking it to an under £20 price tag. Hopefully, you've taken the initiative to shop ahead on the silver. Would you team them together? Would you mix them up? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, do they, li do they link? Oh, look. Everyone's you can connect them together. On. How inspired. £19.99. Oh, yeah, you could tessellate them together. I mean, you don't have to go for the jewel colours. If you wanted it to be all one yellow gold piece beautiful. or silver piece. <laughs> Turn it into a beautiful bracelet, cuff. Solder them together. No, because of the, the, oh, because of the, the, amber. the amber. Yeah. yeah. Wire up them together? Definitely right. Wire up. There you De go. As, yeah, as long as you don't put any heat on them, definitely. <clears throat> 19 pounds and 99 pence. The silver one is coming up. Do shop ahead. There's only 50 of the gold. Sally in Cambridgeshire, Wiltshire, London, Renfewshire, and Marion in Middlesex, and Anna in Essex, and Shona multi buying, and Linda and Irene and Kathleen and Kathleen and Tina and Christina. I can't keep up. Um, we only had 50 of these. Beautiful. A connector does so much more than connect, doesn't it? Yeah, I think we said earlier it can be whatever you yeah. as you say you can make a bracelet with it, make earrings with it. You can have it as as the connector as it is meant to be originally, um, but you can make a pendant with it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I'm trying to work out how you could make a ring with it, but that would be a little bit more difficult. If you wire wrapped it, you could make a, a yeah, ring with it. Why not? You? It's going to sit nice and flat against the hand, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, unlikely to catch on anything, but I think, again, Amber, with those strands of pearls that we've got yeah. coming up later on. Well done. Now, one last look at this amazing Van Cleef-inspired beautiful necklace. The only one that we've ever actually commissioned in your Amber. Um, I, I can tell you there's less than 50 of these remaining. Um, it's absolutely beautiful again. You've got the variation, so from your... Um, and Actually, I've just realised this is back to front. One second. Um, let me flip it round. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong, regardless of which way you look at it. But here we go. There we go. There you go. Can you see? Amazing. So we were looking at the back and we were still admiring it. So you've got, um, we've got less than 50 of those available. A huge investment in silver. It's one auction away. With the pearls that are coming up as well, this would be absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, we had eight, 50 of the gold. I have 120 of the silver. It's brand new. I'd probably flip that round, but look at how gorgeous that is in amongst your pearls. Now, we can... I love that give you an, a, a, a really special deal on this. It's brand new, it's a premiere, it's never been on your screens previously before. But, we need to see you there. Ross says, I need your help to do it. Hang on, you went under 20 pounds on. That's already really special. First price crash. straight away under 20 pounds we will go lower but we need your help how low depends on how many people we see on the phone lines and on the web the gold almost sold out at 19.99 i'm not surprised this what is meant to be 17.99 that's unbelievable isn't oh, it that's a bargain ross wants to take it lower though because we've got more than double the quantity of the yellow gold silver gosh okay a minute clock you know what to do jewelry makers you need just need to show ross a little bit of love pick it put it in your basket <laughs> pick up the phone lines you don't have to check it out just yet just show him you're there because that gives him the um, ammunition if you like to take to justify a lower price tag we have got over double the quantity of the silver than what we did of the yellow gold silver good luck everybody the more of you that are there the lower we can take this price tag we had a, a triple figure quantity of these. Look They'll the tessellate. Look how the detail on the bee shows, doesn't it? On the little wings. How they're different as well. And Do you notice? Their little antenna. There's Aren't two different they? bees. 
We were speaking of the difference. How many? How many did you say? How many different? Two hundred and odd, I think, in this country. He said. Two hundred in this country, he, or two thousands. Two hundred and odd, I think he said, in this country. Different species in yeah. this country. Thousands. All thousands over. worldwide. Was it tens of thousands, Ross? That's crazy, isn't it? Okay, says Ross. He says, I want to go lower, but there's not enough people there. It's still a fantastic price, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's beautiful Baltic amber, genuine Baltic amber, in an amazing design, in celebration of World B Day. We want to go lower, though, we really do. Because we've got the quantity there to justify it. Another minute, and if there is enough of you there, we will go lower. That's still a fantastic price. You know, never mind outside these four walls, and we've shown you some fabulous pieces elsewhere, haven't we? Which are all, generally speaking, usually three figures, aren't they? But comparing with ourselves, amber like this wouldn't have been 17 99 five years ago. No way. Do you remember? The last time I remember Marius being here, and it might have been in between, and I might have just missed him, but I remember Marius being on our shows, wasn't it in around sort of the pandemic time? It was, actually. I think it was. And, and we, <coughs> we wouldn't have had amber like this at less than £50 then, would we? Do you remember? Because our amber strands, which were much shorter, used to be sort of closer to the three figures than they would be 50 Yes, they did. Super busy, loads of you there. We've got a triple figure quantity of this beautiful sterling silver connector. Connector, earrings, asymmetrically, ring. Tessellate them together, beautiful. Like a jigsaw. <gasps> I see that and I think out loud. It's no wonder people don't or, like would have that. Yeah, is it real amber? 14.99. It does make you think twice, doesn't it? That's yeah. I, I assure you. If we, yeah, if we weren't so trustworthy. Yeah, yeah, I assure you, certified, genuine cognac amber. Make sure you're checking out if you are Sarah, June, Heather, Teresa, Maureen, Shona, uh, Jerry, Michelle, Beverly, Gillian, Renfusha, Lynn, and you disappear off the bottom of my screen so I can't see everybody. Um, Maker in Northamptonshire, Eileen, you can still do it. Don't let this put you off dialing through jewelry makers, the list of rows of names. Um, we had a big quantity of these. I'm not surprised. A lot of you are choosing to multi-buy. Um, have a little look if you just tuned in. Um, have a little look at our website because we've brought you some beautiful brand new premiere pieces all celebrating B-Day. Um, and of course, the joy that is um, Amber. Arguably, let's be honest, because I don't know. Let's see, uh, diamonds. What can diamonds say they've recognised? Has a diamond identified over a thousand species? Well, not it personally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's done other stuff, I get that. But, you know, I just find amber so fascinating. It is. It's, it, it's educational, isn't it? Yes. Very much um, so. Director Adam's sticking up for diamonds and other gems. says, so you don't need to. I love all those gems. But this one has got... This one has got... So, such a story. Like I said, it's, yeah. it sparks excitement. It's... It's the, the opposite to diamonds, isn't it? You don't want the inclusions in diamonds. No. You, you do want the inclusions in You do want the in inclusions amber. in your amber. Just absolutely amazing. I'm going to leave that one with you because there's loads of you with it in your basket. And now, it's been on pre-order. There are 50. Or, oh, okay, there were 50. Seven have already gone on pre-order. Um... In the world, which I know there are other amber jewellers, wonderful ones, some of which we've shown you today. This was specially commissioned for jewellery maker, so it's a one of a kind, mm. it's exclusive, from Marius and his team as part of our birthday celebrations. Here's a little, I'm speculating here, but could this be the only Baltic amber Magic Alhambra inspired piece of jewellery out there. I wonder if it is. This is 
one of our amazing pieces that we had specially commissioned to celebrate your 14 years here at Jewelry Maker. I have the final few and I think they'll all sell out today. It's, it's a stunning necklace and it's up next. Now I know we've spoken about amber, um, this amazing organic gemstone that forms over millions and millions and millions of years ago and preserves life. This wonderful time capsule. But let's talk about just quickly the Alhambra, even more so than that, the magic Alhambra. There is a difference. Like many maisons actually have different collections, so they'll have the one collection, the Panther a collection in Cartier, for example. Um, has been around for, I think, pretty much 100 years. But there's different designs, different mm. pieces within that. Um, at Van Cleef and Arpels, they have the classic Alhambra, of which you see the same shape, the same motif, all the way around, or just one. The magic Alhambra, which is the newest line, actually plays with those sizes and with those shapes. So you actually get smaller mixed with uh, larger, larger pieces um, and it's asymmetrical so this is actually from Van Cleef and Arpel's website so this is mother of pearl um, in 18 karat gold um, but again it's a design that's incredibly popular amongst many different celebrities and royalty um, our very own princess of Wales I think has this exact necklace to be truthful. And oh, wears is it, it the exact yeah. one? And wears it quite frequently. Yeah, she wears the earrings too, yes. doesn't she? The Alhambra collection brings good fortune in many forms. Inspired by the four-leaf clover, um, the Alhambra uh, Palace in uh, Grenada, uh, Granada, sorry, uh, Spain, uh, the iconic Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra features one of the house's design pillars. Beautiful. And you've got to remember, you know, this design, the Alhambra idea, the four leaf clover idea has been around for multiple decades. You know, this is one of the most successful, our most iconic, I think that's the apt word, um, jewelry designs of our generation. It's celebrated over 50 years. Created in 2006 by Van Cleef and Arpels, the magic Alhambra, the original one was many years before that. Uh, jewellery creations gathers different sized Alhambra motifs coming together in a joyful dance. Inspired by the clover leaf, the asymmetric design uh, features different associations of materials. So you can mix it up. You can get, for example, um, uh, tiger's eye with, with your mother of pearl, with your red onyx, with your carnelian, with your, yeah, that's the thing, malachite. They actually play with the gemstones as well. So we've taken inspiration from one of the most respected jewellery houses in the world. Here at Jewellery Maker, we work directly with some of the leading gemstone miners, Marius being one of them, and he's wonderful. He's a lovely he's guy, He's a wonderful he? gentleman, yeah, very charismatic, um, actually very shy. Very gentle Yes, chap, yeah, yeah. For, for such an Im imposing mm. chap in the best way, very tall. Anyway, we went to Marius directly and said, look, this is the Alhambra, the four leaf clover is huge here at Jewelry Maker. For our 14th birthday, we would like to do a version um, or be inspired by the magic Alhambra, but we bring it with amber. And not just cognac amber, we want to mix it with different colors. So by the way, if you do want to get a magic Alhambra necklace with the six motifs, um, then it's going to cost you 11,000 pounds. And that, for, 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 our, for Van Cleef and Arpels, is actually quite affordable. Blimey. But don't worry, it includes your tax. <laughs> so £11,000, and that includes Mother of Pearl um, and Chalcedony, all set in white gold. Now, probably the most famous wearer of the Magic Alhambra, I think you'd all agree, is Her Royal Highness. The Princess of Wales. She's a beautiful lady, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And she wears it repeatedly as well. She does, actually. Yeah. Now, again, inspired by the Maison that is Van Cleef, but exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker, 
is possibly the only Alhambra design with amber. That photograph, it literally looks like she's glowing, doesn't it? Mm. Directly onto the actual necklace itself. Is it the brake light? Might be. But look at that. Gorgeous. Now we have less than 50 of these available. The asymmetry, how it falls on the neckline. The detailing of just one simple, one simple um, amber at the, at the reverse. And if I just pivot this round towards you jewelry makers, because we're not all the same size. You even have the two inch extender at the back. So if you wear your necklace a little bit longer or shorter, then you can absolutely choose. It also depends on your neckline too, doesn't it? The dress Definitely. you're wearing. That's true, the yes. outfit that you're actually wearing. But the quality of this, the investment of the sterling silver, I mean, look on the side profile. I know it's quite a strange angle, but the, that's all sterling silver, precious metal that is framed around an incredibly challenging shape in any gemstone, but in particular in something that um, an organic gem like amber. If I, if I hold this out, look at the quality of that amber. Whoa, look at the shine on that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is the same on the back as the front. Yeah. It's just, it's just as beautiful. But look at all that silver that's wrapping it there. Yeah. And that's just one of your motifs. I love this. I love that, actually. Good luck, jewellery makers. We are about to open the auction. Can I get a white bust a second? Only because I want to show you, and you can't like, quite see on the white, on the black background. It's the different colours. So you get the cognac, you get the yellow, you get the cherry. All in this one amazing piece. Now we're about to open the auctions, jewellery makers. This is specially commissioned for, um, for jewellery maker. This is not, to our knowledge anyway, we can't find this anywhere else. But extremely limited as part of our 14th birthday celebrations. Isn't it gorgeous? That asymmetry in the same way that encompasses uh, the magic Alhambra in all its origin loving that all the play of the colors i've only got 50 available though jewelry makers good luck to each and every single one of you it's so gorgeous isn't it sorry al well, it's cognac it's cherry and what's the other so one? so you've got lemon amber lemon lemon amber that's your classic cognac yeah then if we work up the top's cherry that's your cherry Cherry almost looks black, but it's not. Yes. It's actually a very deep colour if you think cola bottles. And then you've got your lemon and your cognac up here as well. Which are also asymmetric. Aren't also they? asymmetric. Chain, yeah. Beautiful. So you're getting, you're ticking many boxes on the actual colour of it too. It was commissioned especially for you uh, here at Jewellery Maker as part of our birthday celebrations. Um, I don't know how many was ever made in the world, do you know? Really? So a hundred of these were made. How, you, you go to somewhere like Louis Vuitton, where you might buy a necklace for £31,000. Yeah. More than 100 will be made, I can guarantee that. You go to somewhere like Rolex, and you spend the tens of thousands of pounds that their watches can be, their timepieces. And can you believe it? You can't just go into Rolex and buy one anymore. You're vetted first now. You're vetted. You're kidding. Yeah. You have to be part. It's like a club, effectively. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it is ridiculous. I don't get it either. But you, there will be more than 100 of those watches, most likely. Even their limited edition ones tend to be four-figure yeah. quantities. You are one of 100 people on this planet that potentially own oh, this necklace. Is How amazing, amazing is that? That is amazing. Should pay extra for that. Yeah. The necklace is 18 inches, but you can extend it to 20 because you've got the additional two inches at the back. If you want it shorter than being jewellery makers, there's nothing stopping you making, you know, shortening the length, moving your class. Take, yeah, take Super, you can do that, no problem. 
But yeah, between 18 and 20 inches with the extender chain, if that makes sense. How much would something like this be in a boutique jewellers? I the, the thing is, I genuinely cannot compare this with anywhere else because I've never seen it anywhere no, else. No, and it, if I saw it in a window, I don't. I think I'd be a bit nervous about going yeah, into ask how much. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, I can't afford that. Yeah. Already collectors getting involved. Well done. Already an amazing price, especially when you consider that, you know, the magic Alhambra that we showed earlier on was what, £11,000? I know it's in gold, it's not a huge amount of gold though. £11,000. One of their most successful collections. You think Van Cleef and Arpels, you think Four Leaf Clover, don't you? Yeah? Definitely. You think Gucci, you think about either Bumblebees or the interlocking yeah. Gs. You think Chanel, you think the, uh, you know, the Cs, the double C. Van Cleef, it's all about four leaf clovers. The next price crash, jewelry makers. I generally don't know what this is going to. But even if we were to stop here, I think that's an, an amazing price. Look at the quality of that piece of jewellery. Seriously, if you saw that in a glossy... Uh, if you saw that in a glossy magazine, would anybody imagine it was less than £500? No. Definitely not. I don't think it looks a single penny lower than four figures. Mm. At the very least. It's very special. And the exclusivity. Now I can see a lot of you thinking about it, but maybe like me, you could just can't put a price to it. Your next price crash is still not the final closing price. Okay, I'm I'm with you. I I don't know what this goes to. The next price is not your final price, with all the different colours with the movement and that classic nod towards your magic Alhambra. Not your final price. What? There's a huge amount of sterling silver in this. We had a hundred specially, yeah, specially commissioned for your 14th birthday. Now, when you think about it, a hundred, it's a good amount, but it's still limited globally, isn't it? When you think about nationwide have i got that right what they would be oh gosh that's got think yeah oh, how amazing that is, is that so pretty so so pretty that's gorgeous and talk about turning some heads that's going to get some yeah. comments isn't it how amazing good luck to you all jewelry makers we had a hundred in the world We've got the final few opportunities for you today as well. All that sterling silver and the detailing. One of your birthday pieces. 199 is not your closing price. Gosh, that is gorgeous, that piece of jewellery. Even if you sold it on, not that I think you'd want to part with it. Crazy. That's so actually bit, crazy. Could, would you say it's a little bit art deco? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. You know, well, the, I think I think when the first a uh, four-leaf clover was actually born, it was early 1900s. Oh, was it? So yeah. it was around the Art Deco period. Yeah, I mean, the Alhambra they say is celebrated 55 years, but actually, the motif itself is probably way older than that. Way, way older than that. Hmm. If this was in a boutique in in London, I don't know where it might be, Hatton Garden, oh, whatever. I wouldn't dare put a price on. And if some, if that, I don't, I don't know, seven and a half grand next to it. That's 50 times the price they're at right now. But nobody would think, oh, nobody would think that was an extortionate price for this design. No, it would not. No. Or the gemstone itself. Look at the split payment. £149 or alternatively £37 and what was it, 25? 25 pence um, on your split pay. Beautiful. 
37.25 I've only got and again this is super exclusive it's highly unlikely you know the fact that Marius has actually agreed to make something like this you know it, it, again I have to reference the fact that it's very difficult uh, very 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 difficult to cut and carve um, you know four leaf clover I mean they're normally rounded shapes or cabochons aren't they because it can physically burn yeah. amber um, so to actually use a cutting wheel and to carve it into the f uh, perfect four leaf clover it was such a simple geometric shape though it has to be precise and then of course to frame in all that sterling silver um amazing get it home it's mesmerically beautiful i'm so tempted to join you on this pardon so so tempted to join you we on this very opportunity lucky to have the tie up with marius aren't we we are extremely lucky there's 19 left in the world something that took a long time to make as part of the 14th birthday. What? I, I, do you know, I kind of, I was waiting for you to say that, Ross. <laughs> he was like, Elle, Aww. that's not even the final price. Do you not know the price of this one No, either? I haven't got a clue what this no. goes to. I didn't, I didn't manage to watch the launch of this. No, I haven't seen this one before. I mean, already, I was happy at 199. I thought that was incredible. That was incredible. To be taking this any lower, I mean, Brucey bonus. Well done, everybody. Lucy, London, Cheshire, Janice, Sally, Jenny, Margie. Um, I've got 12 left. Lorraine, Susan, Ruth, Kathleen, Devon, Moy, Beverly, Barbara, Pauline, Maker, Karen. I've got 12 left in the vault. That Actually, 12 left full stop because we're not recommissioning this. It is a one-time deal. A one-time... Look at how gorgeous that is. You know, sometimes when you look and appreciate a design, you just go, yeah, that's amazing. That is literally amazing. You can get your interest fee split, uh, split payments as well. I don't know anywhere else in the world that will actually bring you anything remotely like this, of this quality, in a genuine gemstone at anywhere near 129. You can go to Van Cleef if you want. It will be an 18 karat gold and it will feature chalcedony. I mean, you can get different varieties. It won't have amber, but it's 11 grand. I don't know about you, but a I, haven't got, a no. I haven't got a spare 11 grand. Definitely not got a spare 11 grand. 129 or even better, 32 pounds, 25 pence. Oh. I can probably do that per month. Yeah, I could cope with that. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and you might be thinking, oh, well, you're going to keep it, aren't you, for four months and only then can I actually... No, 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 you'll get it in yeah. a few days. So get you can be wearing enjoy this. Enjoy it. Get it and enjoy it. How amazing. The only Magic Out Alhambra necklace that we've ever brought to air, inspired by, I should say. Um, extremely limited edition. We only ever commissioned in a limited quantity, and I've got the final few for you today. Well done, Kathleen. Well done, Liz. Well done to you, Maker Getting Two. Well done to you, Oxfordshire. Check out your baskets, everyone. Maker, Lorraine, Kathleen, good luck to you. Oh, you've got yours, Kathleen. Oh, hang on. I've got Kathleen in Carmarthenshire, and I've got Kathleen in Monmouthshire as well. Um, Make sure you're checking out your basket. Pauline, Barbara, Beverly, Moy, new customers. I'm tempted by this, you know. I am Are you too. tempted too? It is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't believe I missed this first time no, round. Oh yeah, well, I knew I knew it had arrived. I'd heard the conversation with just how long it took to make. Ah, okay. Um, and it's the cutting, obviously, of the actual mm. gemstone itself. But yeah, I'm with you. Just that. Really, it could be a really simple outfit, like a white shirt or something oh, like that. Look at me! I mean, they are masters of their art, aren't they? Yeah. And at Marius's workshop, truly are. Well done, everybody. The f quantity that we have remaining. Oh, I'm so tempted to join you on this, and I wouldn't do anything to it. I'd literally just keep it as oh, is. Oh, I wouldn't alter a thing. And you know, when we're looking at it here, it looks far. You, on that recording, you can't see these yeah so it actually sits that little bit longer beautiful in the same way that van cleef and arpels do do you notice how those two are asymmetric as well yeah. these two here they are asymmetric asymmetric to van cleef and as well so if you are barbara in west midlands beverly in northamptonshire moy in essex devon 
Kathleen in Monmouthshire, Lorraine in Essex, Maker, Oxfordshire, another mate, uh, Audrey in Lanarkshire, Linda in Shropshire, Gloria in Staffordshire, Mary in Cambridgeshire, or Deborah in West Midlands. And those are the names I can see. You have a full 30 day money back guarantee. Not that I think for one second you'll use that. Um, oh. If you're thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know, wait till you get at home. It's even more spectacular in person. There's a huge amount of sterling silver invested into this. It's also, to our knowledge, the only um, amber piece like it. Just to highlight a point, we've been showing that one that's £11,000. Let's show you a more affordable Van Cleef and Arpels piece. From the vintage collection, one, two thousand five hundred and ninety pounds. Wow. Yours, hundred and twenty-nine. I've got the final six. I don't think you'll see never mind just on Van Cleef, I don't think you'll see this anywhere else. You know, you're I bet there's amber boutiques up and down the UK. Oh, there will be, but they won't. But they won't they have won't something have this. like this. Yeah. And if, they're watch if there's boutiques watching right now going, oh, yes, I need what that in our collection. <laughs> because it's everywhere, isn't it? It is, yes. The is Alhambra, now. the four-leaf clover design is absolutely everywhere. Yeah. I have four available opportunities. Yeah, there was an article recently published and it says, are Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets worth £3,750? Well, firstly, I think that's a bit unfair because jewellery, um, jewellery, jewellers' jewellery, I should say, is normally about between 300 and 400% markup. So it's not just Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, jewellery expert claims cult piece <laughs> love loved that. by Molly May and Amanda Holden costs only £800 to make. I love that last line. Only costs £800 to make. <laughs> only? <coughs> £129. Goodness me, jewelry makers. We're 129 pounds. Exactly, exactly. But no, but I think that's quite unfair because all jeweler, jewelers, it's three to four hundred percent minimum. So actually, it's not just Van Cleef. But again, only 800 quid to make it. Now, I've only got three of them left. 60 seconds and I'm going to have to move on from this jewellery makers. I'll tell you what, there's, there's definitely three people here in the studio that will take those final three. Definitely. Definitely. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Um, good luck. Margaret, well done. Deborah, well done. Elizabeth, well done. Carol, well done. Kathleen, well done. Liz, well done. Moy, well done. Karen, well done. Maker getting two. Wow. Ruth, well done. Mar uh, Margie, Inbridge M, well done. Jenny, well done. Sally, well done. Janice, well done. Cheshire, well done. Uh, London, well done. Lucy, and those are names I can see. Um, I know there's more. You disappear off the bottom of the screen. Um, I've only got two of them left. Who's going to get those final two? Is it going to be Yorkshire, Cumbria, Mary, Gloria, Audrey, Linda, Lorraine, Kathleen, Devon, Moy, Beverly? Is it going to be Eleanor in Worcestershire who's here in the studio? Um, is it going to be Yvonne? Is it going to be Ross? <laughs> Could be any of those. There's one left. We're going to have to battle it out then, you know. Yeah. Um, good luck, everyone. Still got so much to bring you. Remember those purple pearls coming up as your masterclass. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday, the 31st of May at 10 a.m., Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom, you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below we will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Hello, I'm super excited for our show on the 21st of May. I've got some amazing kits and I'm really excited to share some fun demos with you. 
in the nine o'clock hour we've got some beautiful strawberry quartz that come with um, silver spacers and also some of this look at this gorgeous frosted quartz that comes with gold spacers those are both at 9 a.m and then for the master class at 12 i'm so excited beautiful gallery wire and amazing labradorite cabs i can't wait to show you some fun demos and i'll see you then bye Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Oh, welcome back everybody so I've got one left of that beautiful necklace one. Oh, I'm so tempted to join you on that so tempted if it's still there it'll be mine when I we do leave it, here do it Yvonne yeah. I've got to be honest I, I booked my our holiday yesterday so I can't really oh, afford it yeah. Yeah. oh lovely holiday jewellery though oh well don't <laughs> She's enabling I'm me en now, aren't you? I'm encouraging you. <laughs> now, I looked up and I was like, goodness me, it's quarter to 12. And I can't believe it. Where it's gone so quickly. Gone? Now, and oh my goodness me, have you got the most incredible hour and 15 minutes. Um, first, you've got these beautiful pearls, which are coming up as well. We've got a big quantity of those. And they come, the price that we take these to, I like five years ago, on in all no, honesty. Yeah, really. I can't. I can't believe it's happening. But can I also focus on the fact that Yvonne's projects? I we were just discussing in the break, weren't we, Yvonne? Yes, we were. And I said at the beginning of the show, Yvonne, that might be one of my favourite pieces well, of jewellery made so nice here of at Jewellery Maker. That's nice of you to say that. I, I mean it. Look at how beautiful that is, Yvonne. That's incredible. <laughs> Well, can you add? I just like <laughs> I can see you wearing it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, I. Where do I go first? The pearl world has never been in the situation that it is no. right now. It's a very sad situation. It is. Unless you've got very deep pockets, pearls have never yeah. been more expensive than they are right now. Which in turn will push up the cost of or the value of your pearls that you already own absolutely and and you know what I've, I've said this before about certain gemstones 
the depletion of a gemstone is not a bad thing if you own it. <laughs> yes, Do you exactly. know what I mean? It's the same as pearls. The, pr the increase in price uh, or price of pearls is not a bad thing if you already own them and you haven't got to buy them. Mm -hmm. However, we are very different here at Jewelry Maker to anywhere else in the world. You don't just get wholesale prices. You get wholesale prices from five, six years ago. And let me explain. We will travel all around the world to get pearls for you. We've had our pearl buyers join us on air and they've all said quite openly, look, I can't buy South Sea pearls. I can't buy Tahitian pearls. Can't buy um, Uruquoias anymore. We can't get freshwater pearls because the Chinese, their, their economy is booming. Won't, they, they won't export them because there's no point. Mm -hmm. They can actually come around a higher price in, on home ground. So we, we can't gain access to freshwater pearls. But what we can do, jewelry makers, thank goodness, is when we were able, and we did kind of predict a little bit of a change in the market um, during COVID, because obviously we knew that the, the harvesters wouldn't be able to get out to the, the, the harvest itself. So we bought big. The only reason oh, you are right. seeing them on screen right now is because we bought big during COVID. So you preempted the preempted problem. it. Yeah. We didn't preempt the whole social media thing. No. We didn't preempt the whole Tahitian pearl thing. We did preempt a price increase yeah. in pearls. I will say this out loud, and, and genuinely I mean it. The Biwa pearls, when was the last time you saw Biwa pearls? We Look used to have them on a lot. Yeah, we? used to. Yeah. And the pearl pendant, I kid you not, are generally some of the most inexpensive pearls that we've ever brought to air. I don't understand the price that they're going to today. I tell you what, because we have, we have got the most amazing quantity. See this beautiful, large drop pearl? Natural. This beautiful sterling silver slider necklace with a big investment of precious metal. That right there, people won't just get one or two. I'll just put it that way. Really? It's, it's, people will not just get one or two of those. Because, you know, like, like, like I just bought multiple on the amber. I'd yes. be like, oh, okay, okay, well, I'll buy one for me and I'll definitely be buying some for my nearest and dearest. That is, for the pearl alone, it's ridiculous. For the silver alone, it's definitely ridiculous because that's one of the biggest gram weights. That's a, a good chain. That's yeah, it's got a, what good do you reckon, about chain. four grams? What do you think? I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm not very, I was going to say, I'm not very good at guessing the gram, gram that's weight. That's got to be a heavyweight chain. It's a really attractive chain, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a belcher chain. And then you've got the slider as well. Yeah, it is. So you can adjust it. Is a slider, it. isn't it? And then you've got the peg bale there for you to attach your pearl. I thought so. Oh, look at that spot on. Four grams of silver. <laughs> uh, for the chain alone, Ross, the price of this is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Do you, see, do you agree with what I'm saying? People won't just get one. And right now, it's on pre order. Uh, again, I've had the good fortune of presenting to you for 12 years, and I think that's these are one of the best deals. There's only 40 of the Biwa one, though. There's only 40. Look at that array of colours, and it's natural. You haven't got long to wait for those, but I would shop ahead. Look at the end result. I, I generally <laughs> think that's my favourite piece of jewellery that I've seen on Jewellery Maker. I generally love that. I love it. You're so kind. Thank you. Oh, it's gorgeous. That could be on a red carpet. Okay. We, we go, <laughs> we tend to, to go down the knot in and be root mm. with, with them. And I thought, well, I'm, I like working in metal, obviously. And I thought, well, it's, um, I'm just going to put metal with them today. But, but Yvonne, if that was in the jewellers that I used to work uh -huh. at, it would be thousands. Would it really? 100% it would have been. Wow. And so easy to wear. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Coming up, use this time to pre-order on those. I did also mention 
that we have a massive quantity auction on potato pearls. Do you, again, I know I sound like a broken record here, but when was the last time you had a pearl day, jewelry makers? Can you remember? Nope. Pre-COVID, wasn't it? Long time before COVID. We used to do bridal weekends. Can't do them anymore. We did, yes, we did. Bridal weekends were mostly pearls, yeah, weren't they? they? Were, yeah. Mostly. Can't Forgot do them that. anymore. Again, we kind of foresaw the price increase with pearls because, you know, when, when the pandemic hit, obviously not only could people not just go to work, um, it meant places like miners had to stop going to mines that's fine if you're walking away from a gem that will stay perfectly safe in in the ground but when you're talking about something that is physically harvested and it needs those harvesters to actually look after the oysters look after mm -hmm. make sure they're rotated make sure the barnacles are chipped off they literally were lost to the sea and it can take it can take a good few years to recover from that which obviously then follows with the price mm -hmm. increase so we did foresee that however However, when you foresee something like that, you can usually buy accordingly. Yes. And I have to say our team are pretty good at spotting those kind of potential blips. Okay, so actually, pearls might go up in price. It did that, and then some. How about if I told you then, Jewelry Makers, when I first started presenting here at Jewelry Maker, You'll have seen pearls at the price that we're taking it to. 12 years ago. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at the quality of these pearls. <gasps> okay. Okay. Not those. Put them on a class. Three figures. Yeah. First price crash jewelry oh. makers. First. Not our closing price. We are going to do between sixty nine ninety nine and your closing price. We're going to give you three price crashes. Three. I've got seventy seven of these available. Again, the quality of the pearls, the luster of the pearls, the fact they are pearls. Here's your first. Your one of three. Oh gosh, you didn't just do a cheeky. 10% or anything like that, did you? It wasn't £5, so. Under £50. Okay. Second price crash. It's been a great B day. <laughs> oh, it's been such a beautiful hour uh, we, uh, show, isn't it? Like the Amazon night with these. Yeah. With the bees with these, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Adam's a fan of B day. <laughs> We're at thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, and that's what that was. Price crash two. We've promised another one, jewelry makers. Wow! I have seventy-seven available. This is why you might be thinking, regular viewers. We've got a wonderful, loyal customer base who often stay with us when they, you know, when they start making jewelry or when they discover the channel. They'll stay with us for for years, and we're so appreciative of that. That's why our team works so tirelessly to bring you and bring it, continue to bring them to you at the best possible prices. Pearls are a real challenge for our team at the moment. I can tell you, jewelry makers, if you've been shopping with us for a long period of time, you'll be agreeing with me. Thirty-four ninety-nine for pearls like this. We used to do prices like that, didn't we? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. ten years ago. Yeah, we did. Today, we're going lower. This is your third price crash and final price crash. I can't believe we're going even lower. How much would that be in a jeweler's on the high street? Add a zero to that price on your screen. I think so. Three, four, 349 pounds, I think would be a great price on a high street. That's less than it says on my staff. <laughs> it's less than it says on my staff I sheet, and I was more than happy. I was expecting that to be 29.99, I think you were too. What on earth, Ross? 19. I love that size too. Yeah. Hi, Christine. Wow. Unbelievable. Bought a strand. Thanks. I'm You're not welcome, surprised. Christine. 19 .99. You're very, very welcome, my lovely. 
it's oh my goodness me and again it doesn't take me to say it you know that these are prices from years ago don't you for pearls the situation of pearls i've never seen pearls as expensive as they are right now i've never seen the situation that happens with uh, that's happening with pearls right now any at any time previously 20 quid for genuine culture pearls not synthetic even shell pearls are hugely expensive now mm. clothing store yeah. Pearls, you would well, they're not well, I was going to say they're not pearls that's true uh, but you'd pay that much for them do you know I was um in in that clothing brand the other day um my dad used to call it hum oh yes H&M <laughs> dad yeah. used to say oh, oh hum. hum um yeah hum. and they had imitation pearl earrings lovely and I actually picked them up because I was like Fantastic. I like those much. they were more than once on yeah. the screens right now and they were fake pearls plastic yeah. pearls effectively and they have people swarming around those yeah. stands of jewellery. Base metal that will yeah. probably only last a few wears. Yeah. Seriously, we're at gen genuine culture pearls and we're at 20 pounds. Michelle, Cumbria, Heather, hello to you, Jacqueline, Valerie, Christine, Patricia, Denise, Lynn, Sharon, Hazel, uh, Susan. Uh, hello, Tanya, saying, woohoo, got mine. <laughs> Going to put them with the Amazonite. Yes, that's yeah. perfect. Gorgeous. Yeah. That would be gorgeous. Because hello, Dawn. I the, can't see that. The size of the Amazonite will go well with yeah, that size. Gorgeous. Pearl. Yeah, gorgeous. Dawn is saying, um, you cannot have too many. So I've got one, thanks. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Well, Brilliant. Well, listen, Coco Chanel well said, done. every woman deserves yeah. ropes and ropes of pearls. So who are we to argue? Who right, was Dawn? it who wore pearls down to the ground recently? Oh, Sarah on... Jessica Parker. Yeah. Mm. At the Met Gala Ball. Yes. She actually was one of the more sensibly dressed, wasn't uh, she? Because mm. you see some right... Yeah. But yeah, you do. They were some of them very shocking. Yeah, but she actually still looked very elegant, she didn't did. she? But yeah, pearls to the floor. To the ground. Wow. Wow. Nice. There we go. Uh, I mean, I don't need any persuading, but if you go to Coco Chanel, she said a woman d needs ropes and ropes of pearls. Okay. If she says it, then yeah. I'm with Must her. Must be true. Must be true. But, you know, you would assume also that you need a huge price uh, budget to actually afford ropes and ropes of pearls, Coco. Um, not the case if you shop with jewellery maker. Well done, everybody. We had just under 100 of these. Again, they're absolutely flying. Susan, Sandra, Anita, Christine, Tina, Kay, Alison, Cheshire, Michelle. Hello, Shemala. Hello to you, Catherine and Melanie. I've still got what? 20 left? Out of the 80 we had? Oh, it's okay, because I'll be getting a few of those yes. as well. <laughs> I'm going to sort of channel my inner Sarah they've Jessica got, they've Parker. They've got to last you for the next few years when we can't get yeah, any. Exactly. Well, with gemstones, that uh, you know that so many things affect the value and the price of a gemstone. Supply yeah. is the first thing. Well, we know the supply is probably at its worst for pearls mm. um, and it's, since Mickey Moto started the culturing process. Um, trend. Pearls have never been more fashionable. No, they haven't. Never. Not just for ladies either. Gents. No, I was just going to say that. The gents are wearing well. So as soon as you've got supply issues, yeah. it's one of the biggest trends. The price is absolutely going to skyrocket. And also, once they start coming back, there's going to be so many people wanting to get their hands up them mm. that that's going to push the price up in itself. Yeah. Plus, there's going to be a long wait to get your hands absolutely. on pearls once they start coming back. 1999 sorry i go all squeaky when i get excited <laughs> well done everybody julie diane hello to you cardiff alan susan G uh, G uh jean sorry he helen um there's 10 left so i'll leave those with you make sure you're checking out your basket congratulations now earlier on today i knew you were going to say this ross said he brought a strand of amazing Type A Olmec Jadeite and it sold out immediately. We've got how many? We actually ran out of time. So we weren't able to play this strand then. Oh. This wasn't in the... B I beg your pardon. So Ross is just saying, no, 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 Al. We didn't have it. When that one sold out, Ross took the initiative to phone our amazing warehouse team and he said, I knew of this strand. Got it sent over to be included in today's show. 
So it's adding live as we speak right now. Okay, again, we've brought you some amazing shapes and carvings in your Guatemalan Taipei Jade, haven't we? But have you ever seen a Taipei Guatemalan Olmec Jade in this shape before? Never seen that shape before. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. As soon as Lauren brought it out, uh, it, was, it was eye catching. Yeah, I love this. That would go nice with those pearls you've just had. Oh, beautiful on. with the pearls. It would go amazing with mm, the would. with with the um, Amazonite that we had yeah. earlier on. It'd be beautiful with your projects coming up in the yeah. next hour. Can you imagine? Because actually, with your Biwa pearls that are coming up with the Vaughn, you get flashes of greens. Can you, you see do, that? Yeah. How beautiful would that be? Oh, please tell me there's quantity, Ross. How many? Fifty. I agree. Adam's just said I think it's going to be a sellout. Because again, remember when we're talking about Jade, it's not about the four C's, like with your diamonds, your sapphire, your rubies. Um, it's not about the carrot weight, the cut, the clarity, the colour. When it comes to your uh, um, your Jade, whether it's Guatemalan, whether it's Burmese, whether it's Kotan, whether it's uh, um, Canadian, whichever it might be, you are looking for a fine crystal structure which will give you a, 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 a beautiful translucency. Colour is secondary. Now I know one of the most recognised features of your Guatemalan jade is the fact that it has this beautiful, very distinctive blue that is only found in this location. The lost, but that strand, look at the translucency. One of the most translucent Guatemalan jade strands ever, we're saying. Yeah, I agree. Is this brand new? I've never seen this before. It's amazing. Okay. But it's limited. All jade will be limited. Yes. Are you ready? I think this will sell out today. So dainty, isn't it? Gorgeous. I, I love that size. I'm not surprised you're already getting involved on this one. Again, worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. And again, I need to mention the fact that Guatemalan Jade is not currently being mined. It's not mined out. There is still opportunities. It's extremely limited, far smaller scale operation than that that you find in Burma or in Khotan. Again, it's really important I emphasize that. It's not being mined because recently uh, um, archaeologists actually discovered or miners discovered mm -hmm. it and obviously it's a, an ancient mayan mask um which then has basically seized the mining operation as they look into this even further so there it is stunning jade mask found inside a tomb of a mysterious mayan king and as you can imagine it's like a civilization that we know very very little about you know they guarded yes. this variety of jade until the civilization died out so that's how revered um your beautiful guatemalan jade actually is um, and you can see they're quite a primitive mask, obviously, but they it's didn't very have the isn't it? they didn't have the same uh, um, tools that we do today, obviously. No, they would have made their tools. To made do that, it all, wouldn't they? Incredible, absolutely incredible. So again, the rediscovery of this beautiful, beautiful gemstone, the lost treasure of Guatemala. And I will say again, this is one probably one of the finest strands. Remember what Stanley uh, Chu said. Stanley is like an authority, if you like, in the jade world. Um, and previously, he's only really ever dealt with uh, your Burmese jade. He used to be a wholesaler until obviously the Burmese mine closed. And he was like, hang on a minute. We are better off actually opening our own retailers. So that's precisely what he did. Um, and he said, the, uh, so obviously when he talks about whether it's Kotan, Burmese, whether it's Guatemalan, whichever, he says the only thing more valuable than a bangle is a matched strand. This is the most expensive jewelry in the world. We have sold type A jade strands for over 10 million US dollars. Um, I mean, what he's holding right there is Burmese Imperial. But he goes on to say, the Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade um, and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eye of the market. Top jade is top jade. He's talking about the location there. Um, this material is the best investment because it's still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. 
Do you know, it's not just Stanley. I'm just going to interrupt myself right now. Richard <laughs> Wise, um, who wrote Secrets of the Gem Trade. Richard Wise actually said, if you see a gem that you love and you can afford it, buy it. Because the reality is, moving forward, more often than not, it increases in price so much that we can't afford it then. Yeah. So if you see a gemstone that you love and you can afford it, buy it. Those are the words of Richard Wise. Anyway, Stanley Chu goes on to say, a lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. Um, this has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. Um, the acceptance is now certified here in Asia as it is also listed as Fei Chi, which is like the water translucency, um, which was historically reserved exclusively only for Burmese jade. Fei Chi is translucent jade. And that's what that photograph is. But again, this is Fei Chi. The translucency was the first thing I noticed when I picked up this strand. The first thing I noticed. Now, how many do we have of these? 50. It's already getting snapped up by collectors. Yes, the Chinese trade is relocating to, this lo uh, to Guatemala. However, they are not unearthing a single carat weight of this gemstone as it stands because archaeologists have actually banned mining until obviously they check there's no other historical, uh, historically significant pieces unearthed. Already collectors getting involved. This is Fei Chi, a perfectly matched, remember Stanley Chu's, who's like an authority, he's far more, he, obviously, I love Jade, I'm nowhere near as educated as he is on Jade, but he actually said he's grown up with Jade. His family know jade. There is nothing more valuable than a, a bangle. Sorry, one thing more valuable than a bangle, and that is a matched strand. It is perfectly matched, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Do you agree? Yeah. We're at £499. Your next price crash is not your final price. A beautiful shape. They're described as drums, but they're like little... Like little tubes. Yeah, little soft tubes. Yeah. Not your price. Good luck every... Not! Not! So obviously I know nothing about this the deal that you're going to be getting today because this was quite an impromptu yeah. addition to today's show um, because obviously we had the first Dolmex strand that sold out. Oh my goodness, Ross, this is beautiful. But look at how perfectly translucency matched each and every single one of those Olmec jades is and color matching again you don't have to take my word for it I'm nowhere near qualified enough as, Chan as Stanley Chu is one thing is more valuable than a jade bangle he says and that is a matched strand he goes on to say a piece like this and it's a piece that we'd actually photographed and actually shown a piece like this would be uh, priced at the top end necklace value. Top translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted color and glassy texture. Just take that paragraph. Translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted color and glassy texture. You've got it in this strand. You're not paying 99.99. £79.99, pence, a gemstone that is not being mined. Not saying deplete, it isn't deplete. Very small scale operation though in comparison to all other locations of jade. Um, this is an exquisite piece. Such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. The problem is very few like this reach the market. Too many fault lines, so are very expensive. He could literally be describing what's on your screens right now, couldn't he? Could literally, oh be describing what is on your screens. I had, how many did you say? Fit, uh, over half the stock's gone oh, already. Oh wow, that's quick. Angela in Surrey, Nicolette in Surrey, Alan in Bedfordshire, Karen in Fife, Maker in Swansea, Suzanne in Essex, uh, Renata, multi buying, well done in Tyne and Ware, Geraldine in Surrey, Gloucestershire, Helen, Angela, Gloucestershire, Julie, new customers, Kent, Elaine in Devon, Nadine in Gloucestershire, Judith, I can't, I can't keep up with you. Um, what's the split pay? 20 quid, says Roth. 
<laughs> There's 14 of them left. Oh, they've soon gone, haven't they? I'm not surprised. No. Again, Stanley Chu could literally be describing this, couldn't he? If I read it again, a piece yeah. like this would be priced at the top end of the necklace value. Top translucency, yeah. check. Pollen inclusions, check. Mm. Coverage of colour, absolutely. Um, and glassy texture. A lot, a lot of Chinese jade miners are now uh, mining in Central America. This has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia. Um, as it also, it's also listed as Fei Chi. That's the water translucency. Remember, jade is always about. Have uh, you heard snow reference, ice reference, yes. water reference? It's the translucency, Fei Chi being the finest, um, which was historically reserved exclusively only for Burma. There's only 10 of these left jewelry makers, so again, make sure you do check them out. You can use your 0% interest split payment. Margaret, Patricia, Elaine, Julie, Angela, and Helen. June, Margaret, Cornwall, Gloucestershire. Gosh, I mean, we're in single figure opportunities. This was literally added during the show um well done i'm gonna leave the final what is it nine um nine just there we've got your wall of fame coming up jewelry makers and arguably and i'm gen generally gonna say this out loud one of the biggest deals on natural purple pearls ever and i mean that one of the biggest pearl deals wow. on natural purple pearls ever they're on pre-orders. We've got big quantity of them. Well, certainly of the pendant we do. Um, honestly, Yvonne's jewelry is stunning. I can't wait <laughs> to join her. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. I've got five of these left now, wow. jewelry makers. So make sure you're checking out your basket. And 36 of you have it in your basket. So I wish you all the very best of luck. Um, don't go anywhere. Yvonne's amazing purple pearls are up after this. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Hello, I'm super excited for our show on the 21st of May. I've got some amazing kits and I'm really excited to share some fun demos with you. In the nine o'clock hour, we've got some beautiful strawberry quartz that come with um, silver spacers and also some of this, look at this gorgeous frosted quartz that comes with gold spacers. Those are both at 9 a.m. And then for the masterclass at 12, I'm so excited beautiful gallery wire and amazing labradorite caps. I can't wait to show you some fun demos and I'll see you then, bye. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, 
all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. So we at 20 past 12. Where is today Gosh, gone? Gosh, that's gone quick. It has. Well, time flies when you're having There's fun. There's still so much to do. So much to do. I, I, from one pearl lover to another, you are, are and I genuinely hand on heart mean this. This is probably one of the best purple pearl deals you'll ever see. Both of them. Both of them. I don't know the price. I'm not going to tell you because no, I, I know. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, me too. And your jewellery, Yvonne. Oh. Thank you. It's so kind of you. So gorgeous. Right, take it away though, because oh, we've got some beautiful jewellery right, to show just look. here. Okay, well that's nice. Very look nice. Look at that. See who that's from. Nice clasp too. Oh, that's 368 and it's from Jude Ryan, oh. um, who says, Hello JM, a simple make this week. My friend asked me to make a black and gold necklace using her old decorative clasp. It is a nice clasp too. Yeah, gorgeous. I raided my stash and found these smooth onyx rounds and gold spacers I bought years ago and had not found a project for. Proof that there will always be a project suitable for whatever you have in your stash. Oh, good luck, Jude. Love oh, that, beautiful. Jude. I always think beautiful. you've got um, you've got uh, like a Hollywood name as well, Jude. Yeah, Ryan. it is, isn't it? Um, Five hundred and sixty-nine is from Deborah Davis. This, this is very pretty, a lovely suite. Uh, here with uh, this week's offering for the Wall of Fame. During the birthday celebrations, I bought these uh, three 925 uh, caged cultured pearls and made them into a simple 925 necklace and the earring set. Thanks again for all the bargains. Deborah, that's beautiful. That's a nice suite, isn't it? Loving those. You're 569. Excellent. And I have 570 Barbara Hewitt. Uh, very short and sweet. Wall of Fame, hi to all, just a quick make this week. Fireball Pearl with, sil with silver topaz, oh, bail, that should Very say. Nice. All from JM, best to all. Very beautiful. nice, loving beautiful. that. Um, wow, I've got a beautiful piece of jewellery from Alison Perry. Hello to you, Alison, you're number 571. Hi all at Jewellery Maker, this week's entry is a long line necklace I made using a sea bead soup. Uh, pyrite white pearls um, from Jewelry Maker and a few other pearls I used from an old necklace. Good luck to us all. That's gorgeous, Alison. Loving that. It's Very gorgeous. wearable for the summer. Don't they take lovely photos yeah. too? These. Oh, this is a lovely one, and it's from Norma. Uh, you're five seven two, Norma. Hi all. Here is this week's Wall of Fame necklace made with 8 and 10 millimeter smoky quartz with size 8 and 11 seed beads everything's from jm i need more smoky quartz please my stash is running low as always good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at jm beautiful she's right we do need more smoky quartz we do we? we had some the other day but we did gone. yeah gone um amazing amazing pearl pendant here from debs richardson hello debs you're number 573 hi all please find attached my entry for this week's wall of fame it's a necklace made with a south sea pearl i bought from jewelry maker many moons ago teamed with a pearl bale and a sterling silver chain also jewelry maker presented in a jewelry maker gift box hope you like it and good luck to all waffers it's all jewelry maker That's and it's gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous debs loving that south sea pearls eh uh, 573 and I've got some lovely chain mail here uh, 574 and it's Valerie Ferguson hi all at JM 
can I please enter this Byzantine weave chain mail bracelet to the wall of fame this week? It's made with four millimeter inner diameter red, silver and rose gold plated jump rings. All components are from JM. It is very light and comfortable to wear. Big thank you to all at JM and as always, good luck to my fellow woffers. And Amazing. Good luck to you, Valerie, Beautiful. too. Last but by no means least, we have Elsa Wood. Hello to you, Elsa. You're number 575. Um, that's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Uh, morning, all. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Pearls, pearls, pearls. <laughs> With stylized silver stars made uh, by me from offcuts of wire. Uh -huh. All from Jewelry Maker. I love those, How Elsa. How are you? That's awesome amazing they're really lovely, amazing they? amazing loving those good luck everybody what oh, amazing what, talents what you all are what a really really nice wall of fame way yes and a way of using your offcuts too. yeah loving that sold them all together yeah. beautiful now i don't know if i've mentioned um but i genuinely think this is probably the best purple pearl deal you'll ever see genuinely because firstly i need to point out these are natural pearls so you can bleach and dye a pearl. Yeah. That's no problem. However, it's not as rare as a naturally coloured pearl. No, they're so pretty with all the like rainbow colours, aren't they? Oh, gorgeous. And I remember our Deb saying, um, saying, you know, oh well, I liked it when you referred to purple pearls as the impossible pearl. Let me explain what I mean by that. So for a pearl to form, especially of these sizes, it usually, I'm not saying always, but it usually, if they if they're aiming for these sizes, it's going to be one pearl per mollus. Mm -hmm. So, i.e., they put the nucleus bead in. If they're doing little ones, they might put quite a few nucleus yeah. beads in there. If they're doing larger pearls, then it most likely will be one because there's only so much space in a in an oyster or a mollusk, whatever uh, it is that's that's culturing them. But it's not a guarantee. I mean, they will always aim for uh, um, a certain size, whichever it is, a certain shape. However, it's not a guarantee, or a certain color maybe, mm -hmm. that that nucleus bead will stay exactly where it's put. Because you've got to remember motion of the ocean or wherever it is they're forming, it might move or relocate. It might be rejected by the yeah. oyster itself. Now, where an oyster shell holds most of its color is not in the the center of the actual oyster itself it's on the circumference so if you have a pearl that has like a purple mother of pearl mm -hmm. shell the concentration of that color will be on the circumference of it where if you imagine just here's my oyster yeah as it's closed i taper down that's a pretty shallow part it's of the shell itself the, at the edge yes now quite possibly why they are b were shaped because it tapers down. Ah. Because they taper down. Is so they would right? actually. Just, mm. I, I, yeah, I can't say for certain. No, it makes but, sense. But they form along the circumference. Yes. That's why they've got these strong colours. And shallower because that's why the purple pearls tell, tend to be a different shape or slightly smaller, maybe. But these are more slender. So that would yeah, make I sense if they'd have nestled that. against yeah. the, uh, Absolutely. the exterior. Absolutely. Do you know another reason how I know that these are totally natural? The crinkling. The crinkling. <laughs> and the just full spectrum of colour oh, that you the see the on these. colours are just fabulous. I, when I was making my piece, uh, or my pieces of jewellery over there, of course it was beautiful weather, and I was sitting oh. in the sunshine, and the, the colours coming off them were just incredible. They're amazing. Mm. Look at those. Yvonne, these, these pieces are absolutely gorgeous. When was the last no, time, ages. genuine question, when was the last time? I've got 40 available. Can we, a quarter of the stock has gone on pre-order. Look, I'm not cherry picking here, jewelry makers. I could literally work my way. Seriously, look at these pearls. And that's all natural. Have you noticed, I haven't even told you about the other components. I will, I promise. It's everything though. It's the shape, the colour, the size. They're just beautiful, aren't they? It, they're incredible. They're absolutely mm. incredible. It's, it's easy to... And every single one is different. Yep. Natural. Purple pearls. 
with this beautiful Biwa shape. Amazing. I have 40, or had. When was the last time that we actually had a strand like this, or a shape like this? A long time. And I also, saying as they are so natural, they're quite uniform in size, aren't yeah. they? Unbelievable. I, and, and shape, I suppose, I'm, I'm meaning as well. Yvonne, I'll say it again. I, I, <laughs> I absolutely love that necklace. I think Thank it's absolutely you. gorgeous. I wanted to make something for a change. Do you know it gives pearls like a, a sort of quite a, like a rock. Uh, do you think so? Yeah, I love it because we chick. often, yeah, but we often see pearls, don't we, in your traditional yeah, knotting? Well, yeah, we do, yeah, don't we? Yeah, you do. But what if yeah. you're not like yeah. a traditional person and you yeah. want to show a little bit of edge? Because there's still a, the, there's still a little bit of twin set and pearls isn't there that, yeah. that goes goes on well they are certainly not don't fit in that category i love them and I, also i've made those two pieces okay i have put a lot of silver mostly jump rings though to be fair mm. put a lot of silver in there and i've made a bracelet and a necklace and i've still got seven pearls left so you could oh gosh you could make another sweet couldn't you yeah because there's hardly any in that bracelet wow absolutely gorgeous jewelry makers a quarter of the stock has gone let's bring your graphics live um heads up you will probably want to add the pendant as well because this auction you don't just get the strand it will sell out i'm so certain of this ross when i saw that when i when i actually saw this deal i was like that's one of the best natural purple pearl deals that i've ever seen and and it's got that beautiful beautiful I've clasp. I've barely mentioned it. the clasp. I know I? that clasp is so lovely. It's a box clasp, and the detail on it is is just incredible. I really really love it, and it's it's still allowed me to. It it hasn't bunched all the three rows off, although they're quite heavy strands. They're, they're not bunching up. They are sitting nicely yeah. with, with the... Do um, you know what I mean? Sometimes if, if you put full pearls right next to the clasp, they bunch up. Amazing. But yeah, that is sometimes a they do bunch, they don't do, they? They do, you've got to put little all. beads or seed beads um, to get them away from the clasp so that they sit nicely. But um, I've, I've just continued the design right on up until the... Um, the box clasp and it's not bunched up at all it's lay beautiful all that silver oh Yvonne it's amazing it's absolutely amazing first price crash do you know what this is giving me like I'm, I'm kind of thinking I don't want to say the design that I'm thinking because she wouldn't use genuine uh, genuine pearls. okay but you know how like Vivian Westwood has got that kind of edgy vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's giving me those vibes, but I know she wouldn't actually make it in that Not with, with natural proper pearls. pearls no. Whereas yours actually is. Look at that. I mean, if that was any boutique, what I, I said it earlier on. That's that's four figures and then. Some. It is very unusual to use pearls in a design like that. I, I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. That, just a simple black vest, pair of jeans, yeah. leather jacket, yeah. cool. Leather jacket just as so well. Just so cool. Yeah. You've got a, f a full rock chick. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Next price crash. They're insane, those pearls. Look, you've got greens, purples, golds, pinks. Next price crash. I meant it when I said this is one of the best purple pearl deals I've ever seen. I meant it. And when was the last time you saw that Biwa shape? These beautiful, sort of slender rectangles. They used to be really regular on the on the programs. Used to be. Didn't it? Yeah. Do, do you know? Do you know that like, Biwa and Keshi pearls were once upon a time yeah. actually discarded? I know because they were misshapen. Well, class to be misshapen. Yeah, they used to throw them I back into them. the ocean. And and your Baroque pearls they used to be thrown back. That's such a waste. I know. They're like amazing little They've stowaways. Got character, a lottery ticket. Yes. Because you know what, with those with those sort of ripples, with those beautiful anomalies comes iridescence and more colour and more magic and highlighting the fact that they are genuine. We're at 199 jewellery makers. I have 40 though, so this is more limited, as we can imagine with the situation of pearls right now. Good I luck everyone. I love that texture, don't you? Stunning. 
Have we got another pearl strand like this? No. I knew it. The only one we have. That's why I got excited the moment I saw these. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh my goodness me. Glad I did them justice then. You certainly did. The amount of people that have just doubled their order now. I'm not surprised. Oh, well, how long will it be before we can get another strand like that? I dread to think. Probably years. Because mm. these are usually formed in freshwater pearls. Yeah. Um, and they're not exporting those, so who knows? Never, I, can't, I couldn't say, give you a definitive answer, but... It'll be a while, I think. It will be a long time. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, look at those. Every single one. I love that. Look at that. Every single one. Unique. Look at that. That's got a pearl on it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's lovely when you look at them individually, isn't it? And it's all natural. Yeah. Good luck at £149. Sarah, Swansea, Karen getting two, Jenny, Lauren, Jean in Worcestershire, Marion, Oxfordshire, Conway, Angela. I've got Wilma, Kerry, Lynn, Jean, Lorraine, Carolyn, uh, Maker, Helen, and uh, Carolyn Five. Lots of you want a multi buy on this. Look at that. Seriously, if that pearl Gold. was on a chain, would it be single? You know, serious question. That on a let's say nine carat gold the gold yeah the that would bring the color out even more wouldn't it would it be one four nine no yeah i think it'd be more and that's one single pearl i have 15 left oh wow and that was never your price I, 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 I meant it when I said, and I've been going on about this all morning, haven't I? Actually, I haven't shut up about it. Genuinely, one of the best purple pearl deals you'll ever see. I'm going to count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. 23. Can we do the maths, Ross? 149 divided by 23. £6.50 per pearl, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a natural purple pearl and you get yep. the clasp. Don't forget the clasp. Beautiful. How much would that cost on its own? Um, A lot. I mean, box clasps are expensive. £20? Pounds? They must, must Here at be. Jewelry Maker? Must be. They're so expensive, box clasps. Well, there's a lot of engineering that goes yeah, there into is. it, isn't there? Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of, uh, if you made that by hand, <gasps> there's quite a, a lengthy amount of time it would take you to do it. Folds of Nacre. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good luck, everyone. I had 40. Good luck. I meant it when I said it. Oh. <laughs> We were actually meant to be stopping at 129, by the way. Um, we've basically taken it down to 115 because that's £5 per pearl. So if you do sell on or you do gift, yeah. you can work out basically, you know, sort of your profit lines. It was already absolutely unbelievable. And again, I can confirm, jewelry makers, this is the only purple pearl, natural purple pearl strand that we actually have like this shape. Five pounds In... of pearl. Oh gosh, I can't find it. There, This one? They've all got cobalt blues. Five There's pounds. There's one on its own there, if that's any help. Yeah. Without being on the oh. pan. Sea foam. You've got beautiful paraba-like colours. You've got. Pra oh what? my goodness me. The quantity that we have remaining, ten. That's five pounds yeah. right here. Five pounds. Pair of earrings, tenner. Yeah, but you obviously <laughs> wouldn't sell it for that, no, would you? She wouldn't. You obviously wouldn't buy them for that. No. I told you it was one of the best purple pearl deals. Yeah, honestly, it has probably been. I, I like. I'm definitely going back to Ivy House. Yes, since definitely. Since we saw B were pearls, um, which was pre-pandemic, which would make sense. So I reckon it's probably. What do you reckon? Oh. Three, five six years oh, that long ago i generally think Ooh, it maybe. has been yes, thank you 
At mm. least four. We know that, at least four. I've got three left. Good luck. And again, with your purchase, you do get the instructions to make that necklace. Right, this is insane. Again, we've got just under 300 of these. Oh, they've got a lot of these. Yeah. Triple A grade. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Triple A grade. Natural, not dyed pearl. Metallic. One of the hottest trends at the moment, as well as a ripple pearl. You're getting that. Can I borrow a bust a minute, Dan? A tall one, similar to what Avon's is on. For the pearl on its own, what we take this to, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But then the fact I've got four grams worth of sterling silver invested into this chain, which is adjustable as well. Unbelievable. Thank you. Um, Yvonne, I'm going to shock you today with this. I think. Or rather, Ross's. That's a very substantial chain on its own. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because and I love those adjustable chains. Like, it, you call them slider chains, don't you? Yeah. Um, I, I just think they are so useful. So if I look, it does go, it's that little bit longer. Shall I, I tell you what, let's open it a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's elegance, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Mm. That is lovely. You, do, you can literally just pop this over the top of the head. Okay, four grams of sterling silver. First, we've got almost 300 of these available. Now you get four grams worth in the necklace and then you get, let me just hold it, see if I can hold it within tweezers because it's an absolutely huge pearl. It's a beautiful pearl as well. Um, so I almost don't want to hide it. Now your first price crash, jewelry makers, where we are not closing. This is, this is why I've been saying all morning, gosh, that's one of the best natural purple pearl deers I've ever seen. You get both. Look at the size of that pearl. That's incredible. We're not closing here. That's ridiculous. After all you've just said. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. We've shown you places like Yoko of London. Yeah. Yoko of London, you're talking five figures for their purple pearls. Five figures. This is not your price. We've got 300 available. If you've admired pearls, in particular ripple pearls, or your metallic pearls, or the large pearls, the peregrina drop-shaped pearls, if you love purple as a colour, and you've never been able to budget it, if it's been out of your um, your price point, I think today we're going to change all of that. Mm. Can I make a little... Um, I'm speculating. Can I make a suggestion? Russ, I think with that quantity, this was purchased for our birthday and it didn't land in time. Do you reckon? Yeah, I could have done, couldn't it? I, I'm just speculating there, yeah. but I think that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, seeing as we're so close to the birthday. There's a lot of multi-bias too. There you go. That's all you need to do. Wow. Glue your beautiful, natural riffle pearl, if you wish. Leave it overnight. Overnight, you've just made yourself a very high-end piece of jewellery. One that you can almost wear, that because that mechanism just here slides upwards, so you could wear it almost like a lariat style. Not closing here, jewellery makers. I'm going to be adding this to my order. It's crazy. Every, every outfit, that, that will suit, won't it? Because you can have it whatever length you want. Yeah. That's insane. Because that is often a problem when you pick up a necklace, isn't it? It's, oh, but it won't go with that neckline. Yeah. Or, or, um, if, if you can adjust it, you, I mean, it'll go with just anything. And it's over the top of the head. You literally just pop it over the top of the head. Slide wherever it is. Yeah. I, I So smooth, isn't it? I mean, you could go right the way up to, I've probably done that too far, but that's £20 for the pearl, which is madness, and £20 for a four gram sterling silver slider chain. I mean, I've just slid that up there. If you saw that in somewhere like Yoko of London, you're not seeing £39.99, are you? That's that's awesome, mm, and that's why I've been saying, jewelry makers, this is probably one of the best purple pearl deals mm -hmm. I've ever seen. 
Beautiful. Unbelievable. Loads of multi buyers getting involved. Sarah in Middlesex, Ox Oxfordshire. Karen's got three. Conway, Susan, Cheshire. Angela's got two. Teresa's got two. Alison, Geraldine's got three. Cheryl, Norma, Michelle, Alan, West Midlands. Um, Agnes, new customers, Wilma, Kent, Oxfordshire, Sophie, Gloucestershire, Suzanne, Vanessa, Angela. For the pearl, I mean, just look at it this yeah. way. If you saw this pearl, if I was sat here chatting about a natural ripple pearl in a white box and it was 99.99, nobody would, nobody would bat an eyelid, would you? You'd be all be thinking, yeah, that seems fair. It's a natural pearl. It's also absolutely huge. It's got full of those beautiful iridescent colors. Um, Great presents, aren't they? Amazing. We're at £39.99. And, and that was not your closing price. Do you know what they'd be good for? Um, bridesmaids, if you're oh, going to give them, wow. Because you'll have all all, si all heights of um, yeah. of bridesmaids and you can adjust those as necessary. You've got little ones or grown up ones. I don't know how many how many bridesmaids get gifted get gifted pearls of this quality. Genuine, natural, no, purple pearls. You're Triple probably A grade right, pearls. Yeah. But you know what? Today but you it could is afford bridesmaid to. prices. Yeah, yeah. You could afford to. This is why from the very get go this morning, from honestly about seven o'clock this morning, I've been saying that's the best purple pearl deal I have ever seen. Genuinely, and I stand by that statement. Um, this was not your closing price. I reckon there's people who bought one who are gonna be up up in those quantities, people who've got twos and threes that are gonna be up in those quantities for the gram weight of chain alone, for that sterling silver slider chain alone um, at $39.99. Yeah. <clears throat> Let alone the fact that you get this really beautiful ripple pearl with all those spectrums of colors. Good luck. We had 300 just under, believe it or not, already flying out i think this was a birthday deal it would make sense doesn't it, it 300 of yeah, them and i just think it didn't land in time so yeah. now we're getting to enjoy it as part of b-day 29 i know it's a funny <laughs> word isn't it at 29.99 jewelry makers for the chain alone that's 15 pounds each what yeah and you, you would for that pay, pearl. You would pay fifteen pounds for a chain that's a slider like that. Oh my goodness! All day long, there's four grams of sterling silver in there. Yes, you work. You you. Um, I was going to say you worked it out, but you knew that straight up. I feel. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> well done, everybody. We had three hundred. They are flying now. I'm not surprised. What an amazing no, deal that is. Whether you choose to use them together pounds. or whether you go, actually, Elle, you know what? I'm going to save that purple pearl for something else. I'm going to use it with one of my diamond peg bales. Um, or, um, Elle, you know what? I'm going to use that necklace with um, a jade or, or, or a carving, whichever it is. It's yeah. entirely up to you. Um, already a third of the stock has gone, jewelry makers. Look at the quality of that pearl. It's full metallic luster, isn't it? Margaret's got two, Angela's got two, Cheryl's got two, Tessa's got two, Bernadette's got two, Angela's got three, Cheshire's got three, uh, sorry, two. Um, Sarah, J Kate, I can't keep up with you. Fiona, Heather, Agnes, West Midlands. The only way, sorry? Oh, this is a 99, but 99.99 would be awesome. Because I, again, look at Yoko of London, you're talking five figures for their natural purple pearls. Awesome, 99.99 would be an incredible deal. Again, I, I think you'd all agree, our sister channel would probably be bringing it to you at 99.99. I mean, that's a finished piece of jewelry, a finished piece. You've got to obviously create your designs. You're at 29.99 now, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's a two second job, isn't it? To yeah, even I can make that piece of jewelry. <laughs> and that's saying something. Yeah, a bit of high, dab of high post cement. Well done. And don't forget, you get as well the Pearl Project. So Yvonne's amazing instructions um, with each of these purchases. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Yvonne, I'll say it again. I'm absolutely you in love with your extremely necklaces. extremely kind. Thank uh, you. Your necklace and bracelet. So here it is. You're very, very kind. Thank take you. It, take it away with okay. your demonstration. And there's that gorgeous bracelet. Okay. Too. So as you can see, it's mostly metal. So um, I included six millimeter jump rings and I, a lot, all the chain is made just by jo joining together six millimeter jump rings. They're unbelievable. Yeah, and um, 
the circles and the longer length links are made from one millimeter wire i'm going to show you and if you've only got a torch and a hammer this is a beginner thing and it, i know you'd probably think that doesn't look beginner i've put beginner on here it's beginner you can make these or you know even you can make it even more beginner you can buy those larger jump rings if you prefer and then it's literally an assembly job so what I've got is my one millimeter wire. Uh, then you want a, a mandrel of some description. Mm. I've you I <coughs> use these uh, out of the dapping block. Oh yeah. Um, because because obviously they're the same width all the, all the way around. So um, what I did was I just I'll sh I'll show you. The, oh by the, by the way, these do most of these do have a size. Um, they have it in the normally in the block and stamped on the side and just for your reference I've made a, an 18 mil okay. so um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll just make I'll just make a couple of these uh, for demo purposes um, obviously for the necklace itself I made I made a, a coil and, uh, okay. and cut them like that but then all you need is your is your flush cutters and take off get there's a there's a flush side and a, a the opposite side and you get it's a point it leaves a pointy edge on the opposite side so you you take off snip off that bit yeah there we are we've got that one snip off that there we go I'll do this as quick as I can because as I say the last bit is is very quick anyway because it's just assembly then you turn the ring over and where you've got the pointy side you get your get your flush cutters I'll just do the one get your flush cutters and cut them like this now obviously I'm rushing this probably isn't isn't going to work brilliantly but you then maneuver these as you would a jump ring to get a nice tight flush um, I, I haven't completely got a nice tight flush there and if if you feel you need to you can take a little needle, needle file to each end and each end and and just smooth it now i i will show you quickly that's not going to join because i haven't got a tight join haven't got enough time but um i often use flux and silver pallions which we sell um but uh you can as i say for beginners as well just a little dab of solder paste like that I do Get love this part. It's good, isn't it? Uh, let's see if we can. <coughs> don't know if we can make it fizz. So, what you want to do is is start heating at the opposite side of the solder paste of any solder and heat the ring before you start. What you don't want to do is burn the solder before before. It, the rest of the ring is hot enough. This is going to be a big blob of solder, but at least you'll see it. Ooh, there you, I love there it. There you go. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Um, that's not too bad at all, is it? It's got needs a bit of cleaning up. I don't know if we can get the. Uh... Yes. Yes. Love the sizzle. So uh, I'll just leave that to one side now uh, and put all that away because that needs. That was what, another thing I wanted to say to you. I would put that in pickle, but if you are a beginner and you don't have any pickle, it doesn't matter. Use a bit of wire wool or a brass brush. We sell these brass brushes. Oh, they, are, they are cheap as chips and they are brilliant. Mm. That is actually cold. Uh, all you need to do is, uh, you can you see that it polishes up really nice. So for this, these tiny little pieces, you do not need to invest in pickle that's you you can do that when you move further on sorry so what I'm going to do is bring these in so we've say we've got our rings made which we have here for the round rings I put put one on or put them on there's my hammer just put them on on your steel block Give them a tap, and it sort of gives like a really nice 
faceted the, the light faceted edge that the light bounces off don't know if can you see that can yeah, you see that can, it's yeah. made that faceted Texturing, edge yeah. Uh, yeah and uh, turn it over and do the other side so it, it like facets it and it flattens it like that and of course because you've had the heat on it you've softened you've softened it as well so then you put it on your ring mandrel or whatever you've got handy it as I say this is this can be for beginners I've got loads of gear but you don't have to have for this uh, and then get your little uh, nylon mallet or your rawhide mallet just round it up really so so we'll call that one done and then for the long one let me put these out of the way I'm going to clutter everywhere up for the long one what you need is a pair of round nose pliers mm. <laughs> uh, oh actually i won't do that one because i've just hit it with the hammer it'll be harder um, so one of the others that you've made uh, before you hit it with the hammer just put it on your <laughs> just put it on your round nose pliers oh my goodness <laughs> not really um you would put the, i mean you can put it right at the bottom you can uh, you can maneuver the shape however you like it that's not absolutely right i do have to say but you know just i haven't got got the time to work with it but then i'll swap and here's one i made earlier Yay! and that, that's what you can end up with and of course they're all different sizes around those players so you can play around with that and then i won't bother showing you how to um what have we no we haven't got time for that but um we hit what i did with the pearls so go back to the most important bit of the of the kit um i did wrapped loops on those so for those i used 0.6 i used i used sterling silver sorry you can't see what i'm yeah, doing i go. used put sterling silver wire um did two wrapped loops on there let's get rid of that tatty wire and then it literally is assembling whatever design you want um, these are my jump rings uh, you all know how to open open and close a jump ring you can put them together you can put it out on your board where's my other rings gone here they are there we go or you can put 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 a, a jump ring there you can put that there yeah. I chose I chose to do three three different strands I let I let the the design go on each strand I did them all individually Love and it. put them together but it is once you've made your circles it is literally just assembling and at the end of the day that's what you end up oh, with it's gorgeous <laughs> Yvonne, and don't forget your purchase also comes with Yvonne's um, amazing instructions now Yvonne as we have you here we also have one of your pre oh Oops, sorry we have one of your now. previous projects that we couldn't not oh yeah you wear. see they come ready made so you don't yeah. even have to make those so he if you were thinking oh, okay i don't sold them yeah. i want to yeah, recreate yeah, yeah. this and you've got the jump rings in your stash yeah then look here you go solid sterling silver with your oval a lynx you will not believe the pearls that come with this the beautiful oh my goodness me so you don't have to put the large large circular rings in oh, wait, you can just on. do the long the long ones you've got in the kit there how oh, about look. mixing them all together? <laughs> Is that too much? Am I, in, no. am I being overly indulgent no. here? It's the last auction of it the day. It can't be too much, can it? No. <laughs> can you imagine mixing them together? Oh, they're beautiful. Ah, uh, I mean, it just first auction of the uh, last auction of the day. Sorry, not first. You're going to be able to get the two strands that I have just shown for less. Well, that's ridiculous because they should be more than that. They should be more than that. How about if I said really for almost like a buy one, get one free price? I've got 10 available. You can get these for less than 300 pounds today. That's incredible. It's amazing. 
I have 10 available opportunities. You get all that sterling silver with advance. This is one, and, and you'll get the instructions this, Yeah, so you as get well. two lots of instructions if you buy. Oh both my both. goodness, 42 pounds and 25 pence. I've only got 10 available though. And in, look at the quality of those pearls. Oh my goodness, Do you, look at the little folds. They, I loved working that. I loved working with that kit. It's very rare you get those um, paperclip links in your in your uh, projects. Yeah, and they're big as well. They're they are. Solid, aren't they, they are. Yeah, they are nice um, chunky ones, aren't they? Yeah, already sold and yeah. everything. Yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. And um, well done, everybody. That fitted Wilma. in really well so with me perfect. doing these things. Absolutely perfect. But we've only got five left. So Wilma, Swansea, Lauren, Maker, and um, there's obviously names on the phone as i can't see we're on a bit of a delay and i can't see multi buyers um with it in their baskets 42 pound 25 pence on split pay that's incredible absolutely incredible if you want to get the single pearl that we did show you earlier on with that amazing sterling silver chain we had 300 of those which is just madness um there's the necklace and then you get that large beautiful drop pearl that's um, that is very large, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, uh, like twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, seriously, that. for the pearl, but also for the necklace, the slider necklace as well, jewelry makers. So you get both. Um, unbelievable! Told you it was a pretty special hour. Ah, oh, it's Told been a you. lovely. It's been a lovely day, hasn't it? Hasn't it? I'm going to go home now and uh, see what's left <laughs> that mm. I can see what purchase. you can buy. Yeah. I know I'm the same. Now, coming up tomorrow, I'm with you tomorrow morning as well. Um, at 8 o'clock, we've got your rainbow plastic findings tower. So, amazing. 9 o'clock, you've got Trio of Quartz projects with lovely Ellie. Uh, 10 o'clock is all about your white ripple pearls. So, if we've whet your appetite for ripple pearls today, um, it's the white colour tomorrow. 11 o'clock is all about your Nan Hong selection. And then at 12 o'clock, you've got your floral gallery wire, which you saw Ellie's um, beautiful uh, labyrinth pieces. Yes, she did. That yes, she's so worked with that. It's absolutely beautiful gallery wire. I'll Gorgeous. be getting some of that, definitely. Will you? What a yes. day. Yeah. And you know what? It's been made even more special because we've had lovely Yvonne. Oh, thank you. Oh, That's do so you know kind when of you're you. back, darling? I'm back on the 4th of June. Not yeah. too long. So then. not too long away. Not too no, long. No, no, Can't no. wait for no, that. No, we day. all might have a little bit of a tan by then. Eh? Oh, we might. <laughs> we might. Well, I don't know about that. I, I go. I go a, a darker shade of blue. Oh, maybe not then. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, take care of on. It's been absolutely been wonderful lovely. Thank you very much. You. Make you. sure you're with us tomorrow morning. Join us for the lovely Ellie and enjoy the sunshine, jewelry makers. Bye. I'll see you bright and early.